All right, we are at it with top 48 at Big Cheese 4. How are we all doing, everyone in the chat? I hope we're all having a wonderful afternoon. It is now 12, 12, 13 Adelaide time. If you're in Victoria, that'll be 12, 43. We have a, a very interesting set coming up. We have Jacko versus Fumble. Now, I'm not sure who Fumble plays, but I know that Jacko is a cheeky Diddy Kong. So, I'm going to get some interesting things. I'm going to backfill for five minutes until your other Coco Tanker gets here. I'm going to fill the space. So you get, you guys get me for like a game or two. It's going to be very exciting. Now, Go ahead. guys, I've heard a rumor about Big Cheese 5. Now, I would like to preface this by saying I'm not, I'm not affiliated with SA Smash. But I heard for Big Cheese 5, if it happens, let me ask you a question. What's the first thing you think of when you think of cheese? South Australia. The smell, of course. Okay, sure. Yeah, yep, yeah. smell. <laughs> what is one thing Big Cheese is missing? The smell of cheese. Oh no! So we can go two two methods. This is what I'm. Uh, this is what I'm hearing. Of course, I'm not making any of this up. It's either going to be scented candles and nacho cheese, or what we do is we get some some real fancy smelly cheese, put it under the monitor, so that each each player gets the aromatherapy <laughs> of cheese. Now that's just a rumor. It could go either way. Look, Saturday. That sounds awesome. Sunday, I don't want to be in the venue. <laughs> <laughs> We're setting it up on Friday, so you know, you get the real walk. Oh, so Saturday I don't want to be in the video. Yeah, of course. Alright, coming on. Game 1, PS2. Makes the best games, yeah. That's the this, is, this is actually... I, I personally asked for this one on stream. Because I know Jacko has Nikes, obviously, in South Australia. Mm -hmm. And has Yoshi experience. And... On the flip, Fumble has Ryan and has, has other Diddy experience. Yeah, so, be... and they're, in terms of seating, they're both quite close. Like they're pretty pretty evenly seated. So I, I, I this this would actually be a really uh, like a really close game. Yeah, of course, it would be definitely interesting. I've never played against Ryan personally, but against Nike's, I know Nike's advantage state is something ferocious. So not sure how Fumble plays, but that's something Jacko may be aware of. It would be interesting to see what happens. Jacko is just impossible to hit at the moment. He took 70 and just said, alright, I'm going to start using all of my movement. And doesn't want to get touched. Yeah, a bit of a nightmare for Yoshi. If Diddy doesn't want to play into your shield, it can be definitely difficult to get into, you know, get some advantage there going. Because besides just banana, if Jacko starts using his uh, catch aerials with holding banana, Bear just becomes this huge walling tool. And you can't do any, like, you're a Diddy player, right? Okay. But you've got, you've got, like, weird, weird, like, tripping while they're in shield, like, shield pokey banana things, right? Yes. Does that work on Yoshi with his shield being un No, it actually doesn't. So, Yoshi's one of the characters that you can't force, uh, force trip. There are a few, and it depends on which side you're on, if you're doing a down toss. But Yoshi is fortunate in the sense that his egg shield just covers everything, and you don't need to worry about any of that nonsense. Yeah. And you just hold shield and be chilling for days. Yeah. So we've been seeing Jacko chasing around, looking for an opening. Unfortunately, misses the banana up smash, but he gets it that time. We 140, have that'll kill it. 140 is going to do it. I feel like Yoshi's really hard to get banana chops on. Though. He's always jumping, right? Yeah. And you're like, if you like down to an up smash and it's not completely true, he just armors through everything. Yeah, correct. I feel like that'll just be a pain. Yeah, something that actually goes unnoticed is Banana obviously will only trip if you're on the ground. And oh, Woo! that's going to do it. That was a cheeky little little jab lock there. That's a nice jab reset, yeah. I didn't, I didn't see that one coming at all. A little, little love tap from the Nair into death. That was yeah. only like 80 as well. Yeah, Yoshi's forward time is very powerful tool. Definitely, it's just going to play an up stops early. But we've seen here Jacko with a bit of a lead. 72%, still nothing to be scoffed at. He's playing very hit and run. He doesn't like, he doesn't want to be committing to anything. Those Yoshi hitboxes are like obnoxious to work with. Yeah. That's a nice little catch off later. Banana in hand definitely makes it a bit harder for Diddy to do things. One of your main tools just going. That is oh. not going to be dead. Doesn't opt to just F smash. Yeah, sometimes you don't want to, as Diddy player, you don't know if it's in front of action next, so you just want to play it safe. But uh, here we go, cleaning it up. Jacob with a strong lead here. Bumble trying to get in. Not much luck. If oh, Banana saved live, then auto drop saved is alive. Yep, pretty good. Close. There's a He's gonna be some percent. Went for a combo starter, that's cheeky. Yeah. Jacko knowing. I'm oh, sorry. I was, I was just gonna say, like, can you react to how fast they're mashing that? Does the egg, like, shake faster? 
Uh, I imagine it does. Um, <laughs> if it does, then it, I, I put that down to Fumble's awareness of seeing the egg and going, all right, so like, I'll go for the combo start trying to yeah. catch you like getting out of the egg. The unfortunate thing though with the egg is, I, and I may be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure if you you have more frame advantage, so you can just air dodge away, or if you land on the ground, um, you can talk shield. Getting a DI mix up on the down throw. Definitely not sure this late percent. Ooh, good catch. Well, he's got a way to pull. Got to find a way to pull this back. Start landing some more hits and stay a bit more in advantage state. But Jacko ending it out with a down, yeah, down set up smash. The tried and true. No banana needed. No banana. Very. I love that jumper, dude. Jacko's jumper is so cool. Oh man, it's actually so nice. Where did I got it from? Jacko, very dominating game one. Do a fumble can pull out. What not stage is fumble? What's special? Smaller stage? Yeah, I can I imagine. Center platform's always nice. Alright, but that's my one and done. Your co-commentator right. is here. Thank you for having awesome. me. It was a lovely time. I've lied to you so fast. Forever share in bracket? Yeah, he's in redemption. Ah, um, still playing. Um, yeah, I've got to play around two brackets and find commentators. And <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an experience. But yeah. yeah, people are being pretty easy to work with, so... That's good to hear. It's kind of chill. I don't mind being on a mic. I always enjoy this. It's like the one thing I do all the time, so I'm chilling with it. Yeah, it's nice. But hey, yeah. Look at that. So Fumble's picked a smaller stage. Uh, possibly to his detriment. I feel like being able to sit center stage as Diddy here with Banana in hand, you can command so much respect across like so, like what little of space there is. Similar to how Swordies are so good on this stage, right? Because it's like, you sit under that plat and you've just got this big fucking sword. Yeah, I imagine the fumble may be considering stopping Jacko from just fucking Banana. Because we do see a lot of Jacko just kind of running away, getting, like his head, a hit and run. And then going back, resetting, pulling Banana. So, perhaps that's what the fumble is chasing? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, um, maybe make it yeah, make it a little bit more brawly, a little bit more, you know, like don't, don't give him the space to pick banana, but Jacko with a lovely whiff punish, catching and landing from that Nair and sealing out a very early stock, only 50 only 50% of the board. Solid lead from Jacko in here. Oh, I love not overcommitting into Yoshi, that's the one thing you can't do. I think Jacko's experience is very much showing him. Bob is only relatively new-ish to Yoshi, like sure. In the in the grand scheme of things, like Jacko's been playing Ditto, Ditto since day one, sort of thing. Who Fumble used to use? Um, played. Oh, they've been through the characters over the years. I think their last character was Greninja. Oh, sure. And before that, might have been like Bowser Jr. or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, still relatively new, but you know, I, I I vibe with it. If you're playing what you enjoy, you know, who cares how much you switch around if you're just doing what you find what you find fun. Yeah. I vibe with it. Okay. Incredibly dominating. We've seen so many monkey flip grabs this game. After like all the punishing bears from last, really fumble easily. Oh, oh no! no. I still oh, got a jump. He's all right. Fine. Down tilt bear. Cheeky Jacko's combo. Running with this one. Though. This is a whole different ball game. He's just happy to scrap now. I wonder if it's just the confidence from winning game one. Oh, yeah, very well could be. Two stocks to lead. Two stocks ahead. It's gonna be a bit rough. Hey, look, look, we've seen the like explosive kill power of Yoshi in super early percent. This is still definitely very winnable. I like this egg toss usage now. Not committing off of stage, trying to hold stage presence and just... Just taking it easy, taking a breather. Annoying him with egg toss. Stopping, like, you know, 3%, stopping coming back. He's got to find an opening to kill, take the stock out before too much percent gets racked up, though. Yeah, Jacko moving around. There, there we go. Oh. Beautiful use of that banana against Diddy. That's going to seal out of stock now. You've only got to climb back one somehow. You know, and, uh, Yoshi combo, especially on Smash Bros. with a center platform, you can get a 0 to 70 super easy. And speaking of, here we go, big damage, 30%, not bad. I mean, if, if Fumble catches this Diddy off stage once, it's dead. It's oh, nuts. yeah. Like, you'll kill the Diddy so uh, well. Ironically, I found as Diddy, it's scariest being off stage below 40%, because if you get hit with a no knockback move, you just die. Yeah, it just drops the barrels, right? You don't actually go anywhere. And you, you, you just plummet to your doom, yeah. Jacko losing a bit of momentum here. Monkey Flip Kick gonna regain center stage. Yeah, and here we see, even though Jacko's in the lead, Fumble's just, you know, he's literally just controlling the center of the stage. 
Yeah, throwing Jacko from landing at all. Jacko in a bit of a pickle here. Yeah, Jacko is going from like 30 to 135 in the space of about 10 seconds. Yeah. And just because Fumble's been able to hold like center so well and just commander that like space that both of you need to be in. Yeah, and approaching first, you know, being approached in Smash is so different. And even though Jacko had such a big lead, Fumble's bringing it back, clawing it back. Only 100%. It's winnable. It's winnable. You get him off stage, like Fumble's starting to use those grabs a bit more. You don't really have combos with grabs with Yoshi. Yeah. But, you know, just, just, to, just to get that positioning, because he's finding himself hitting with a lot of shield like that. It's a well, Fumble took, what, 30% last stock, if that? Oh, that was good. Something like that. He needs, to, he needs to land here without taking too much. And then reversal's the way to do it. Uh -oh. Here's where the combo starts. Fumble's back in advantage. And uh oh, big damage. This Jacko's is game to lose. Oh my goodness. Jacko not opting to up smash out of shield. A great get off me option versus Yoshi. Oh, yeah. that's going to be it. Yeah. Unfortunately, that down tilt hits and that'll seal out the game. Oh, very it good. is. It is best of five. Best of all day. five. Okay. That's not the set going for Fumble. He's still got another game to run with here. Okay. Jacko needs to pull his head back in, making sure that these games don't invade him. Fumble considering where to go. Looks like perhaps a Visible character change. Visible thought. Vi visually <laughs> thinking. Visually <laughs> thinking. The cogs are turning. I do love music select. I love this mod pack. It's got so much cool stuff on it. Uni music being on it is incredible. I like every game I've played has had like Unis music, Melty Blood music, or Blazeby music. I'm like, we're just playing other fighting games. Yeah. <laughs> I also love how there's like so many hidden tracks that aren't in the main game. Like Sonic has what, 105 now? Yeah, there's like a hundred Final Fantasy songs. It's someone I, I walked in the other day and someone was playing like a Final Fantasy 13, like a super obscure like song that plays in one area of the game. And I was like, oh my god, like someone else knows this? Like That's so good. Remember when Final Fantasy only had two tracks? Oh my god. Oh what a nightmare. Sadness. And then with with Sephiroth we got another like five. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Game three. Smashing it out, Yoshi vs. Diddy Kong. A bit of a longer stage than Smashville. Yeah, very, very similar. Same, same layout, but this one gives a little bit more space, at least, and a little bit more. Even even those walls, like, I, I don't know if Yoshi has a wall jump. I'd assume not, basically. No, I don't imagine. But it, it gives, it, it opens up, like, wall clinging and all those little things for uh, Jacko, if he wants to, if he really gets into a pickle and needs to make use of those. So, yeah. little mechanics that can come in handy. I just realized, oh no, this was not Jacko's camera. No, no, this was Fumbles. Yeah. So I, I think Smashville would have been banned and Fumble just picked the next like closest thing. Yeah. Personally I don't like the stage much as Diddy. I, I feel like it has merits. It is essentially FD with a center platform, but yeah, I don't know, it just feels a bit awkward. It's just a little bit polarizing. It's the same same concept as Smashville. If you control that center area and you just kind of if you're not like on like in center stage, you're in disadvantage. Yeah. And it's kinda of just eh. But hey, it's a much more even game. Losing a stock to down air at like 140, that's fine. It's gonna happen. Yeah, that's that's fine. It's just, yeah, like this Diddy's in very much in kill percent. Yeah. I don't quite rate Jacko's holding banana at Legend Shield. It's not... Yoshi can get away with it, just with like a free jump or a drop down there. But, um, yeah. Fumble catching the landing, cleaning it up, making it a more even game. Much just close jumps to game through the dash tag. God, that's so crazy. Ooh, that's a cheeky little catch though. No access to Banana now. We're using Z-Drop aerials and everything. Keeping it away from this Diddy as long as he can. Beautiful roll read. Racking up percent. Jacko is panicking. These air dodges do not need to be done. Looks to me like, uh, like uh, Fumble's kind of um, warmed up a bit. You know, it looks like the nerves have been shaken off. Yeah, there's, there's, those on-stream nerves do have, especially at a major right? Like, oh, 100%. They, they kick in and I, I, I feel like, yeah, he's, he's definitely warmed up, but I think Fumble, Fumble might be one of those players. I don't know too much about, like, I've played some friendlies with them, but I don't know too much about them in tournament. Mm -hmm. But they might be one of those players that kind of take a couple games to, like, warm into what they're versing and click onto how to yeah. deal with things. And, you know, one of those reverse 3 0 monsters that you see all the time. And it, that, that could be very much Fumble's thing, but Fumble's item play is actually phenomenal right now. Yeah. They are catching this banana out of the air like nothing. Like, Jacko can't get his hands on it. Yeah, that's definitely true. I did appreciate how Jacko didn't actually chase up the banana that time. I mean, Yoshi got it, but he also got a free back air in. And oh, this might be it. No, unfortunately not. Lovely punish. Not going to kill Yoshi, a thick boy. He heavy as hell. There we go. I, I, I do appreciate that Jacko didn't get hit by the shield break from Yoshi, the down B. Uh, 
That feels bad. Because you're like, I, I know not to get shit burned by that. I feel like, I feel like, yeah, you think, you're like, I know not to get hit by that. Lovely back air. Baited out the, da the wake up there. That was, that was awesome. But yeah, yeah, I feel like you, you have the presence of mind not to get hit by it. But when you're in a tournament, you see it, you just freeze up. You're like, ah, oh, shielding is safe. You're like, you're like, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> yeah. This is the most even game we've had this set. Though. There's no real comeback needed. Both players kind of dying at the same percents where we're consistently around the same mark as each other. But Fumble's advantage state is actually a lot more impressive than Jacko's this game. It's almost like he's kind of worked out how Jacko wants to play. Yeah. One opening for Jacko is getting him more, but Fumble's keeping Jacko in those disadvantaged positions for a lot of time. And Yoshi's aerials do big damage. 13%, I think fresh is 30... Oh, well, sorry. Fair is 13% fresh. That's crazy. So it's, you know... Oh, no, oh that this might, might be it. it. No. Oh, only the forward air. That's all right. I don't think forward's much more to that percent, but... Oh, that's yeah, going to do it. That's Clean 3-0 from Jacko. Jacko playing mm, super well. That's definitely, it. definitely pulled that last game back. I was shaking in his boots a little bit there. A little bit stressed for that last game. Fumble was playing a lot better, uh, but unfortunately couldn't quite close it out. And that set's going to go to the way of South Australian Jacko. Yeah, it always feels weird. Oh my God. Forward. We have a really... Another one? My, my good friend Jamie, <laughs> the Yoshi. We just had fumble. <laughs> I don't know what Jamie's saying. <laughs> so we have another Yoshi on. <laughs> we're we're going to see Victoria's finest. Never bet against the men, you will lose. Oh, yeah. Um, so it's not if you make Jamie money, if he's side betting. It's if Jamie is going to make you win the set. Yeah. So, yeah, we have Slim Boy. Is it Slim Boy 17? Yeah, just Slim. Okay, just Slim. I, was gonna say, I just call him Jamie, so I don't know yeah, what number. Yeah. So, yeah, so we have Slim versus Atos, which will be... This is like the polar opposite for a Yoshi matchup, because this is a Falco. Ah, oh, Falco's going to be rough. It's like a... It's very... Like, like Falco's built on anti-airs, right? Like, you've got, what, four, three out of your four aerials are anti-airs? Yeah, and then also just like up air commands to up air. Yeah. Up tilt commands so much space oh, yeah. and huge damage. And Yoshi, even though he has those combo breakers, he is still a floaty. Yes, he and is, but it, it makes those those kill confirms on Falco really hard to land. Um, like when he can do, like if you're not perfectly in percent, Yoshi being able to like just jump out of up tilt back air makes, makes things really hard to like, stocks really hard to seal out. And you end up relying on like up smash reads and like harder. Harder things to land that you really shouldn't be having to rely on as Falco. Once you get to the stupid high percents against the Falco, yeah. it's like 170. It's like, he can't kill me. He's got to get a raw down tilt or like a raw up smash. Just... Yeah, he has to get a hard read to claim anything. And Yoshi's got that survivability, baby. He's a thick dinosaur. So there is going to be a bit of bias for me. I do love my Victorian Jamie. That's fine. Look, I'm the only representative for my state here, as always, so I can I can pick any state to run with. <laughs> Plus, Atos is a dear friend of mine, so I can be biased. Yeah. <laughs> Atos is a fella, you know. I've known him for uh, like seven years now. Oh, re damn! Yeah. Smash Four. Yeah. yeah. I've never played a, like a Megal. Well, not a Megal Mini. What Undertale? is it? Undertale. I've never played any of those. What's the new series he's got now? There's Elderun. Elderun, that's what. Yeah, I've never played any of them, but some of the music, bro, is so good. Slaps. It's like oh, jazzy, God. like. This is like a smooth jazz, like. I hate Megalovania, though. Did you see when? Because I know Toby Fox did some work on Pokemon. Three, two, yeah, I think one, it was like uh, the most recent Pokemon go. set. Uh, Pokemon set, Pokemon game. Um, but Tony Fox's logo is just a dog drawn in MS Paint. So had, like, the Game Freak logo, you know, real fancy stuff, and next to like MS Paint, like it didn't even have like transparency. It was just a block of white with a dog. <laughs> it was incredibly funny. That's so good. Uh, here we go, game one, PS2. No surprises here. Uh, but Slim Boy taking a lot of damage. Atos cleaning up the lots of percent. Yeah, he's, he's, he started out strong. 85%. Like, because Yoshi's in kill range now. He's, like, it's it's the typical thing of, like, Yoshi needs to find a way to land and to get feet on ground on stage without taking too much. But in the case of this, Slim's going to lose his stock. Atos yeah. with a nice little lead. Now, Atos does tend to start sets really hot. Um, and then as you get down the line, Pull he starts struggling. Yeah. Not so much he falls off, but his playstyle, it's almost polarizing. He, he likes to press. My boy likes buttons. Yeah. Atos likes buttons. And once you once people tend to start clicking onto that and, and playing around it and kind of just with punishing him, it's, he, he finds it harder to like close out longer sets. Yeah. 
And he's getting better with it. He's getting better with slowing, knowing when to slow down. Like now, like in City back shooting lasers and waiting for the But I, I, I would I wouldn't be surprised if this game was a pretty commanding lead from Atos into like closer if like, like closer games, if not like a 3-2 either way later on as the set progresses. Yeah, for sure. Jamie, however, as we've been talking about Atos. Definitely cleaning it up a little bit. You know, 130, nothing to stop that. Definitely a dangerous percent for Yoshi. We did see up air, up till back air kill about this uh, on stock one, so. Yeah, anything's possible. Uh, Yoshi hits like a truck. Like, back air into like a near off state. You did. Like, that yeah. thing says so far. That was an interesting thing. I forgot his name. Just PR. Uh, not anymore. I think he's made APR. But I think he's recently fallen off that shot. I, I don't know exactly, I can't remember. Oh, I think Jamie actually double jumped there to prevent the back end from killing. Oh, that's, that's when you know that you're in a bit of a bad spot. Nice confirmed. Forward it down to clean it out 150. Slim boy needs to get these back online. Here we go, back here into seemingly not much. It does a great reversal from here. Getting a cheeky 31% in, nothing to stop at. Uh oh, more damage, here we go. Up tilt, back air, up tilt, up air. Oh, there. Oh, the big damage. Wait, making it out of there just the tiniest bit. See it. Now, I imagine. Uh, sorry. I, I was just I imagine that Nike. Gives a lot of your team matchup experience. Yes. But all the Victorian Falcons are kind of like, we have, of course, beat, but we used to have something like four or five. Yeah, you had a lot of Falcons at one point. Yeah, yeah. Crozzy and a couple of others as well. Yeah. Duan used to be. Yeah, Duan's I mean, yeah, Duan's been around the yards with the characters. You know what I mean? Yeah, guy's like, <laughs> yeah no, um, he's, he's only really got Nikes. But yeah, you guys do have a lot of Falco experience, but I feel like, especially Falco, kind of. And I, I'm probably going to get crucified somewhere on Twitter for saying this. Oh, cool. I, that, I didn't know that happened, so that was worrying to watch for me. But I feel like Falco, you can show the kind of player you are quite well through the character. Yeah. You get a lot of mash you can like Falcos, and you get Falcos like Beat who tend to like play a lot slower and let you make mistakes for them. And you, you can kind of itch it, like the playstyle shows a lot better through this character. 100%. So it's it's kind of hard to, you have experience on what moves like to use to beat them and what to do here and there, but when, when your game plan changes so much from person to person with the character, uh, it's it's a bit harder to use that matchup experience. 100% agree. Beat has a completely different style of Falco than Aethos does. I, I do notice, yeah, Beat's, Beat's more of like a slow methodical. Oh yeah. It feels like every time Beat tries to uh, try to jump first Beat, you're just getting out of here, which is wild against the Falco. But here we go, last hit situation, 106 versus 90. Feels like rather than I mean kill kill combo percent range. Just yeah, we're, opening. we're kind of hitting that point where Slim Boy's caught on to like like he's just sitting here trying to get Atos to approach him. He's realizing he likes pressing buttons and he's just not letting him see that stop. So that was a really nice effect. I'm kind of surprised. Slim loves to go for a drag down there, up smash, drag down back air, up smash. But unfortunately, he blocked it. Here we go. Lots. Uh, uh, oh! That, that was the amp smash. Oh, damn. I Good thought it was the back end that killed. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, just given that he got the F that FGC not going. Come on, the, on the. Say something? Yeah. Cool. It's just blurry from Queensland. Persona music? Come on. Actually, no, Rivers in the Desert's good. I'll give it up. <laughs> I like to shit on Persona because it's funny to get reactions. But... I've, I've never been a fan of Persona. I've never played it. I just like, like, it's, it's, it's fun, it's fun when people get so violently angry about you about going, eh, mid. <laughs> it's like, I've Fair never right. played it though. Like. I just don't like it in Smash Ulti because a lot of the songs have vocals, but you can't hear the actual back track, so you just hear a lot of, what is this? That's fair. I, I like, I don't know, it feels like a very unique like voice to me. Kind of like like the Muse style of music where it's like just so unique that they just lean into the voice instead. Yeah. Or like um, Guilty Gear, how it's like, it's this one dude that does everything and you can recognize what game it is from the singer alone. Yeah. But I, I, I do like Rivers of the Desert. I think, like, as, as someone who's never played Persona, I very much enjoy this song. 
This is a whole different start now. Slim starting with a bit of a stronger lead and Atos has actually made a couple adjustments. He's starting to use those grabs a bit more. Stay a little bit more grounded. Yeah. I I, I find it interesting that it seems like both characters enjoy the same stages. I mean, Josh is not going to pick Battlefield, but they went PS2 game one, which is one of Josh's favorites. The small Battlefield now wasn't banned, which is also one of Falco's favorites. So it's like, you know, one of those weird situations where it's not, there's a lot of crossover between stages. Yeah, it's kind of, I feel like it, it's kind of one of those matches where like, the better stages and worst stages, that was a hell of a lot of shit shield that we got the hand. Right? Like, better stages and worst stages for the character don't really exist. It's kind of the same effect as like Fox Palu, where um, it's it's like, yeah, technically like Battlefield's better for Fox, but it's also quite good for Palu. It's like, just pick what you like more and what you're comfortable yeah. with in this matchup, rather than trying to worry about the character. Yeah, almost like a mirror. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Atos is at this really annoying point now where Kill confirms aren't going to work, but he's got to just find that little hit. Oh, and reading yes. a jump with a down air will do it. That'll that'll definitely take a stock. But falls out of the down B, unfortunately, Slim. Can't quite seal out the stock early and get himself a nice little beast. He's still 70% up. Yeah. Atos oh, the... deciding to sit back, shoot laces. Clearly his works. Slim's jumped in. Now 34% down on a fresh stock. He's starting to slow down a bit. There's, there's the Atos. There's the side B in neutral. Yeah. Oh, uh oh, no, uh, unfortunate. That is a rough SD, but hey, it happens to the best of us. So shake it off, Taylor Swift that, and we keep moving forward. Yeah. Here it vertical damage, three up airs, 36%. Nothing to discover. If we go back air, alright, we're gonna see a clean hit off. Great recovery from Slimboy. This is a really nice advantage take from Matos, and that's oh, the stock. That, that was, was amazing. Much needed, very clean advantage there from, from Atos coming out there. Yeah, recognizing uh, Sunboy didn't have a jump anymore. Just catching up with the ups. I feel like that's always the case every time. What the heck? How? <laughs> <laughs> Good mash. Every every time someone like SDs or something super early, it's always like they come back with that fire and they're like, they got that dog in them and suddenly they just like zero to death. And it's yeah. like, yeah, alright, like, I guess the SD didn't matter. Like, why can't you do that without SD? <laughs> yeah. Nah, it's just disrespect. It's just disrespect. <laughs> right, here we go, big damage. Almost. Looking like a mirror of game one. Yeah, back into the last stop. I feel like these two are quite, it would be quite even when it comes to seeding and like skill. Yeah. Great patience from Atos. Just trying to rack up damage. Both of them are in like kill confirm percent now. Kill confirm for Yoshi. Being mainly just raw back there. You know. Up here out of shield, it's that low. That's crazy. Oh, there we go. Beautiful read Fresh on the up air, clean that up. Yeah, catch that landing. <laughs> still up on the Bevy. Bevy's at 12:40. Why not? Hell yeah! I'll wait till later. I'll be a good boy. Yeah. I'm gonna at least make it to the airport tomorrow. Do you want it? Just. Commentating. Alright, game three. We are running it back to PS2. Joining me on the mic now is Andre, SA's very own. How are we going today, Andre? Yo, I'm pretty good. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute. Now, yeah. game one. Uh, Atos cleaned it up very close, yeah. but it was on PS2. Okay. Seeing uh, Cameron back here, mm -hmm. and Ed was just running away with an early start. How, how did, like, how did uh, the first few games go? So, uh, game three, game one, PS2, game two was on uh, Small Battlefield. Yep. Uh, Ed was SD, but almost brought it back. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, just entering game three now. Ed was taking a quite slow towards the end of game three. Okay. Uh, and able to get Yoshi to come towards him. Yep, he's got a nice lead here. Gonna get that conversion, but Yoshi with a double jump. Double jump armor. Yeah. Solid work. It was not allowing the egg press to work through, nearing through and grabbing back that center stage. Oh, the sparks. The sparks? Tom's a little quiet compared to him. Um, Alright. Side B is coming through. Cool, awesome, here we go. 
Is that better? He's just mashing the side of you. Yeah, and I hear it's working. Like he hasn't been punished for it. Atos? Yeah. I hear Atos is a fiend for the side B in you. He loves it. Look at it. Look at that. <laughs> Slim wanting to get a. It looks like oh, a. Oh, there we go. Oh, clean back air. Like As I was about to say, Slim Boy about to get a. Trying to fish for a side B. Uh, sorry, a back air up B. Or something. Yeah. But uh, Atos just cleaning up the first stop. Oh yeah, Slim Boy definitely tr struggling to actually get any momentum here. Atos just playing it so oh. safe, but the back A is going to clean it up just like Slim Boy's first stuff gone. Yeah. Great pressure. Atos just staying on the ground. Dash tag. Yeah, crazy groundwork. Yeah. These guys are, like, respecting each other a lot. Yeah, it was good to see. Game one, there was so much air momentum, air momentum, air movement. Mm. But this time, it looks like most of them are just on the ground. I mean, Yoshi doesn't really have much of an answer to just lasers non-stop. Yeah. What can he even do about that? Oh my god, Oh, don't go for the cheese! so much. Oh. So I'd be gonna beat out that forward air. I like the movement here from Atos with, like, the... Kind of, like, dash in reverse for up to... And that... Up oh, it. Take it. Bit of homey DI quite, there, that's unfortunate. Yeah, quite early. That's like 110 a post hit. Yeah. Yeah, Slimboy's struggling here. Yeah. Athos doing some nasty combos here. It's gonna be some big damage. Oh, oh nice my goodness. Drag down. It's still going. It's really clean. Oh, damn. And the laser to finish it. Yeah. Laser loving their extra 3%. Yeah. Chip damage making it work. And now just maintaining the center stage. Slim trying to get an opening, not finding anything so far. Ooh. Here, get a ledge trap. Nah, that's going to be it. No, no, back here. Right, here we go. Slim boy needing to pull something out soon. Yeah. Bit of a mountain to climb for Slim Boy here. Yeah, Falco. What would good now? Forward air down tilt's gonna start killing soon? Yeah. Hey, back air, almost taking it. But oh. That's really nice now. Going yeah. Drifting out, following Peter. Is that back air? Oh. Almost. No jump though. In trouble, no eggs until he touches the ground. Yep. There we go. Oh my god, grab the back air. That's. Something of legend. <laughs> Grabbing yeah. Falco back air. Yeah. Oh, great staying in shield, not getting up tilt to there. That's yeah. Atos's wing oh condition. God. Down air is so clean. Oh, there go. very, very good, good up smash. Yeah. PS2, double wins for Atos. I wonder where we're going to be heading in the next game. Yeah. It's pretty nice gameplay, like, pretty reserved, like, kind of respecting each other a lot. Peter just kind of um, taking those stocks earlier, mm. able to s like slowly take that advantage, and then just kind of held it, you know? Yeah. Played really nice, like consistent throughout that. Feels like Atos is in control that last game, just mm. completely put his hands on it. But here we go. I mean, like, stuck with his game planning. <laughs> I just yeah. noticed the Steve icon, that's hilarious. Bang. <laughs> Thank God, Steven is gone. Slim Boy only play Yoshi or? Only Yoshi. Mm. He has a Diddy, but not really. Okay. He's been just working on the solo Yoshi for a while now. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. More battlefield. Smaller stage. Hopefully, Atos can't just run away from Slim Boy the entire time, but, you know, just catching Slim Boy's approach is easy breezy. Nice. Matchup looking definitely a bit rough for Yoshi here. Atos playing it near perfect. Unfortunately, now the downside of this stage is that Yoshi is going to be dying even earlier than last oh. game. But if Yoshi can kind of evade that one, like go past, survive past like 130 ish, the kill confirms are going to start disappearing. And yeah. oh, oh my god, coming down with that down air. And then the. Head smash to oh, that stuck out. Yeah. It's like, I've had enough. 
Slimboy needed to pull yeah. something out, and soon. Nice. Just Very clean. I don't think Slimboy's hit a single fair, like approaching fair at all. Yeah. So if I could just whiff it out. Yeah, Atos is doing a really good job, of, like not overextending as well. Whenever he gets a, a hit in. Yeah, it's super important. You have, first you have to. Yeah, exactly. You have to in your feet. To know when to like back off a bit after a hit. Yeah, it's otherwise you're Yoshi. Yeah, it's gonna come away. Yoshi's reversal is just so powerful as well. It really is. Oh, oh no, that's unlucky. The worst bit as well is that does a clean amount of damage. That does a lot of damage. Yeah, oh, very no, good regrab. Surely not. Touch the landing. Back no air. I'm gonna get that south spot in the back air. Oh, nice spear reverse there to kind of drift away the safer distance. Yeah, not getting egg. Some boy not quite capitalizing on these edge guards though. Probably too afraid, you know. A if little bit, yeah. You know, two stocks left before you drop out. Yeah, you can't be afraid in these when you're behind like this. Oh no. Oh, that's that mega was greedy. Risky. Gonna be kicking himself for that. Oh, clean back here. Yeah, gonna take it. Still doable from both sides. Mm. Or scary stuff. Just running around each other. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, this is super rough. I have no idea how Yoshi gets in across Falco with laser under a platform. He's trying to jump in, my goodness. There we go. Oh, oh good grab, grab there. Oh, there go. Great catch the landing. Takes, but he's just going to fall her out. I've seen Slimboy just get reversed so often. Yeah. Which is surprising. Um, I think Slimboy's quite good with his like, up air vortexes. Yeah. From what I've seen. I guess his combos. Uh oh. It's quite dangerous for it. Yoshi up here. Uh oh, Yoshi's looking a bit scary. Oh my god, that's so close. The egg. Patient recovery, very good. Good roll behind there. Yep. I'm gonna oh. try and fish for that back air, but. Oh yeah, Jamie flubbing a little bit here. Hmm. That might be it. Oh! Yep. Peter really playing around this the sort of mid range, close range distance, just outside. But Yoshi with the up smash. I thought that almost killed. To almost, be honest. yeah. We can see Aegis here getting a bit determined to seal this game off to a fault, perhaps. Now he's approaching for not much reason. Mm. One thing you don't want to do is approaching yeah. Yoshi. Oh, here we go. Oh, just neck to the down tilt. Uh, oh, that was a bit scary. One of the eggs, Oh, there we go. There we go. The Great yeah, stuff to take Aetos. it. Aetos Playing that super Very well. nice, yeah. He's played like pretty consistent all the way through, I think. Like, yeah. Just good. playing the matchup as it should be. Mm. Keep him back, not overextending. Yeah. yeah. Forcing Yoshi to approach with the lasers. Yeah. Very good stuff too. That's nice. Good stuff. Yeah. Oh, who we got now? We got Q. Q and. and not sure. Kutz. Oh, Kutz. Oh. This will be interesting. I wonder who Q's going. I heard Q doesn't like, isn't enjoying the current at the moment. You can never guess who Q's mm. gonna play. What do you it's do? Not, went it's not a winning bet, I think. Yeah, what, well, 100 characters? <laughs> yeah. I think he went Mewtwo into Woodkins last night. <laughs> I've <laughs> never seen his Mewtwo once yeah. in my life. I've heard that's like a really notoriously bad matchup for Mewtwo as well. It's like one of Mewtwo's worst, and yeah, he just um. somehow takes the set anyway. Now, I was talking to Q afterwards, and he goes, oh, I just wanted someone with a really good kill throw and a shadow ball. I was like, okay, yeah. well, fair enough, it works, it works. It, it makes no sense, like, his choice is like, you don't, yeah. Yeah, I, I just think we'll be surprised if you see the current. Any other character, I would not be surprised. I wouldn't mind some Kirby. I do love a cheeky bit of Kirby, but... Um, Kirby. Kirby into DK, that could be a thing. I feel like it's more just, I mean, I, I feel like every matchup is terrible for Kirby. Hmm. But it's not like DK's going to be circle camping you. But you will die at four, so... Oh, yeah. It'd be hard for Kirby to get in, but then once he does, just down here off stage, you know? Yeah. I mean, Kirby is a menace with his buttons. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not going to make any predictions for who, for who he's going to play. So. I'm, I'm going to... I'm hoping for Kirby, but I'm not expecting one. I'll say Mewtwo, but Mewtwo feels awful. Mewtwo? Mewtwo I think that would be a really bad choice again. Yeah. <laughs> It sounds like you just get ding dong or something. Yep. What are we going to see? Inkling. Inkling. Interesting. Fair enough. I can see that working. Yeah. Seems like the safe pick, right? Yeah. 
I mean, Inkling's just a solid character all around. Quits looking like there's some issues with his headset. No, we're fine, we're gaming. The weapon. <laughs> Very good. Alright, there we go. Crowd's starting to brew. You can only see one area, but the center area getting some cheeky people. Here we go. Where are we going? I think PS2? Three. Yeah. Small battlefield? Two. Small battlefield. Yeah. One, Same thing. Go. This battlefield ain't big enough for the both of us. Okay. Let's see what happens. Attack. Actually, this is, makes sense. I mean, it's both of the characters enjoy the stage. Mm. Low ceiling relative on the platforms. Yeah. And the, the platform helps like DK with his like, up through shenanigans. Shenanigans, exactly. Yeah. Sends it. It's good combo space for Inkling as well. And, ooh, he's punished. Great turnaround as well. Bit of a charge. Of, yeah, exactly. Acknowledging the cross-up. Cross-up so weird in this game. Don't always happen. Sometimes they do. Often when you're holding shield. Yeah. Black grenade, let's see what will happen. DK is inked up right now. Yellow monkey alert. Oh, good grab. Uh oh, grab? Yeah. Enough. Yeah, DK, one of those characters you have to match. Oh, oh this might be it. Nah. Jab one grab. Both these characters have the same back air, you know? <laughs> basically. The yep. Same. Cheeky back throw, not going to do it, but good damage. And in a rough oh, spot here. That's really good. Back into the stage. They actually have the same nair as well. That's pretty funny. The spin. Mm. I wasn't expecting that, but missing the tech. I mean, I would have imagined uh, he would have tried to aim away from Sensei, but, you know, if it works, it works. Oh, good slam. Oh, the forward air. Oh my god. What up, S? Oh, oh my no. god, that was insane. That's huge that damage. Nice. Uh -oh. Is that it? Oh, oh. There ah. it is. That was so clean. I feel like you know, Quits is at 50% and then next moment, yeah. the blast aren't. Yeah. Quits need to get some momentum here. Nice, Ooh. good tech. Fabulous tech there, not getting cheesed out. Oh, here we go, this might be a throw. Forward throw? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This one clean it up. 1-1 one, one to stock each even percent. Ooh, that's your tech. Swan him out. Quits Slam. not to be slept on. Big damage incoming. Yeah. That's a good nair, actually. Yeah. It looks like she's struggling to get any stage. Cut's just... Just burning the, the whole charge. space. But, you know, one or two advantage in. Oh. And... Oh! No way, dude. Micro-spacing. Is, is that the inkling, like, dash under, like... Uh, uh, maybe, but I feel like it's just a tiny bit out of range. It could have yeah. been literally low profile, though. Yeah. All right, now this, this is really bad for DK here. This might be it. Easy two-frame, but no... Yeah, this is up to Q no there. Ink. Not mess up. Oh, you hate that. DK game back to stage. Yep. Soon to be center. Well, this back is just relentless. Here's the thing if Kutz gets back to center stage, gains back to neutral, yeah. it could be over in one hit. Oh, no, this is really Here rough. Flat bomb. Makes it back. 178 on the DK. DK showing his weakness. Yeah. Not really great to get off the ledge options. Oh, no. Not even like super armor for that. Still alive. Go up at Yeah. And the up are going to take it. Good chase. Very good stuff from Q. That last yep. stock, just playing it super safe. Yeah. And I think this is probably why Q chose Inkling to keep uh, DK at the ledge like that, you know? Yeah. Inkling, like, really good ledge trapping, chasing. I can admire how Q, you know, when you're playing against a heavy mm. and you're just getting hit and hit and hit, yeah. he's able to maintain their composure yeah. and just not being like, I'm getting up well, I'm dying here and just recklessly approaching. Yeah, that's right. But Kut's doing a really good job. Um, just kind of got stuck in a disadvantage against Inkling. What do you do? Yeah, it's a bit rough. Here we go. Running it back. That com that combo um, from the grenade. The like second stock? Second stock? Yeah. Nuts. Oh, it looked like a doubles combo. Yeah, it definitely like, turned the tide in that game. <laughs> Run it back but with yellow Inkling. We'll see what happens in this next stage counter pick. Inkling. Do you know Flo? Yeah, I do, yeah. Never seen him use a character that isn't yellow. 
Oh yeah. Oh no, I think I've seen these fox once, but um, <laughs> it's always yellow equaling as well. Never any other color. Yeah. All right, we're going straight back. Still a close one. It, it was still fine. Like yeah. it was last hit. I think so. Can't fault the seed for that too yeah. much. Oh my god, 83 already. Big damage. Yeah, and not even ink. Yeah, that's true actually. 107. Not even getting a chance to fight back here. Yeah, Kutz needs to really make sure these advantage yeah. found. Here we go. Here we've got an opening. Here we go. Oh, nice. Huge damage. Up there, a little bit stale, but still can probably clutch out a uh, Ding Dong soon. Yep. Oh, oh my god! god. Nightmare Fuel. Crazy. Great stuff from Q. Like the absolute weight <laughs> on the grab. It turns around. There are a lot of things I miss from Smash Ball, but Donkey Kong's kill throws are not one of them. <laughs> You're a great use of this charge just to yeah. kind of mix up your space. Well, that forward air, I don't know. Well, the ink now. Good patience. Condition being keeping DK at the ledge. Q understanding that. Yeah. Well, not leaving DK in the air, but it horizontally. Yeah, but the back throw are going to take it. Throwing Q straight into the last line. Here we go. Good back air. I'd say um, Kutz isn't getting hit by these bombs that much, but it's more just like threatening the space so that forcing a move so that Q can smack yeah. him with a... Oh, oh no! Sybe's the wrong way. It's gonna cost you a stock. Yeah. He had it, like they had the armor on it. Armor and everything, just but just quite hit. But it's looking like he's just trying to get something yeah. in, but just getting completely overwhelmed by the inkling. Yeah, just getting combo to a move in here. But the up air is coming back. Inkling tornado, just so strong. Oh, oh no. my goodness. Dropped too low. Don't know what happened there. Q going right back the at jump, it. I suppose. Yeah. We go. This could be it very shortly. Put one or two hits away from certain death. 150. Oh, great low recovery. Yeah. Weaving in between that. Yes, good grab. Here we go. Oh no, misses the oh, follow up yeah, that he needed. The but, but here we go. Here we go. Max DK Ray. control. Oh, that's, good good. that's all he needed. I was about to say, that's all, all it takes needed. is one combo. <laughs> Inkling will die at 60% yep. to a Kong hit. Yep. Never sleep, oh. you know. Can't be caught lacking. That's so, you know that, that's, that's the happens. strongest thing of heavies, just being able to just absolutely lick it back instantly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's gonna be rough. That was nice. Q looking fully on base though. Yeah. <laughs> just like yeah. Just dig it. He, he knew he, he knew he messed <laughs> up. Landed right into the punch. Battlefield. Okay. Mm -hmm. Turning Ding Dong off completely. Do you think we'll see a switch? Or? Oh, I don't think so. Especially with Inkling music. Unless he's cranking us. No. Mm. I imagine we're going to see both like these characters throughout the set. Yeah. Unless like something goes terribly wrong with Q this game. That's right. I think we're going to see the full commitment to Inkling here. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, getting a cheeky ink in. It's gonna be some big damage soon. What's catching on to these bomb uses? Oh, great tomahawk, here we go. But no follow-up, unfortunate. Great damage yeah, with the up a lot B. Of damage, yeah, with that B. Oh. Here we go. Good damage, keeping the net, keeping the Q off stage in the corner. Oh, oh my god, he reverse. Mega punch, not gonna do it. Is that it? Jesus. Down oh, it. It's so confusing when you're playing against stick. I think it's gonna be forwards, backwards, downwards, upwards. Yeah. Movement's kinda clean right now from Goods. Good Sean Y, he's one of the best in West Australia. Absolutely. He definitely looks like he's come alive after that game. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, 
if you if you do something real flashy and the crowd's behind it, you start to feel, you start to feel yeah. good, you know? Yeah. You go, oh my goodness. Looking like Kuch going for the Tomahawk, yeah. but Q getting in before he could. Yeah, that was a nice wait as well from it's not really like throwing the trigger yeah. on any air dodge, but here just getting absolutely back it. Good stuff from Q. We didn't see any of this in the previous two games. Oh! Oh! oh my no goodness! Way. The reversal! The cheeky down air going completely upstage and up throw to oh, nothing. Damn. Oh, but good pressuring with these aerials. Oh, oh no. You don't go Q too going deep. so deep now. We're looking a little desperate. 200%. This is the battlefield curse. Oh! oh. He's alive! Monkey's back, oh maybe my God, you. Okay. But not for long. Finally. We're seeing in this set, the stocks are just taking one after another. They're so close. It's not. No one's been running a rope. Yeah, right. So They're far. just like going back and forth these stocks. Yeah, and even when the second stock is taken, the first person has like eight percent max yeah. of like extra damage. Yeah. Oh. Going down throw. Down tilt. No. Oh my god. Good yeah. dash attack, maintaining stage. Oh Jesus. Or the clap. Oh, I don't know, I'm, 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 I'm starting to feel the chills, you know? <laughs> okay, fantastic, going for the grab. One quits back off stage. That's oh my Oh, the punch. Doesn't kill. Battlefield. Crazy. You know, doing you a favor over here. Yeah, a little bit. Running out of ink though, no bombs. Oh, good wait for the up tilt. Nasty move. Getting the south spot again, not going to kill. Oh, it's just... Q just getting cuts away so they can get more oh ink, but there's very little around. No space. Oh, Ooh. no way. Certain death avoided by a splat bomb, and here we go. In. Yeah. Oh. I feel like oh. Q has to the take neutral, the stock. Neutral air dodge jump from ledge to down to it. It's actually so good. Mm. Okay. Yeah, thank there. God. I was thinking, Dong Kong, max rage. If Q dies, he could just die instantly the next stock. Yeah. Chris looking for that grab. Gonna catch that landing, but Q gonna get a grab of his own. Ooh. Nice damage here. Yeah. Still living at 178. Ow, back air not killing. Oh. Got a full charge, yeah. Good up tilt. Up tilt's gonna clutch yeah. that. Here we go. Stock piece. Ooh, I almost look kinda scary. Of you don't wanna be here now. No. Oh, oh, no way, the Nair. Not safe on hit. No. Is that 0%? I think didn't quite get that knockback that he wanted for a combo. Yeah. And now, DK. A little bit on the ropes here. Oh, fantastic back air. Oh my god. It's so gold. It's so yellow. <laughs> yeah. Golden monkey. Stop oh how? Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, 200%. Jesus. That is so much rage for a DK punch. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. <sighs> Has it got oh, oh no. no way. Thank God. Holy I would have felt shit. awful. 20%. Oh to die. my God. Oh, that's going to do it. Back throw? Surely back throw. Oh, down throw? Sure. 280. Inkling needs to get a fair or a down tilt or anything here. Forward throw is not going to do it. Down throw going to take uh, there it. We go. Wow. Off the corner. Looks like Kutz did a bit, a cheeky bit of DI in. Insane. Ah, uh, it's big cheese inkling, that's why. It's yellow. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, the hair's just made of cheese. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesing everywhere. <laughs> Alright. Um. Damn, that was a close one. Bit of a nail biter. DK, yeah. ju DK just needs those pockets of little advantage, you know? Yeah. Just so scary when he's at, got max rage. Yeah, just, absolutely. How'd you deal with that? Small battlefield. Mm. Run in the back. Oh, we're gonna see the switch oh. here. The Samus. Interesting. I'm. I wonder what the logic is behind that. I mean, if it's a close nail biter, I can understand, but what does Samus mm. bring to the table? I guess projectiles? Yeah, he's just gonna lame them out. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna, sh I mean, he's gonna say, stay back. Yeah. Ink bombs working so well. So if he had better projectiles. Yeah. I feel like this is a better pick versus DK, to be honest, but. 
We'll see how it goes. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, Q's such a, like, a man of many talents. That's that right. Anything could happen, but... Already. Oh, it's looking really comfy here. Oh, oh my god. Jesus. Wavering in and out to avoid getting zero to death. It's such a... Oh, it might be Yeah, we're going to see these up airs now. And the up beam. We're going to get forward and punished for it. Yeah, big combo for a big combo, I suppose. Yeah. Q's still behind. Oh, my but charge shot. Oh. That might be it. Oh my god. That's it. Q not want to mash. Yeah. At these mages, you really need to practice that. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that was almost something too spicy. Yeah. That back they're just going to beat out the Samus Ford air. Go. Oh. Oh my oh. god, from behind, no way, dude. Great. This is a bad spot for Q, but manages to find oh, that. Oh, just grabbed the like Barely well. making it back, yeah. I can admire how Puts is just using the armor to just making sure Q doesn't just get away with nonsense with all these projectiles. Yeah, very good catch from that back air too. Keeping Q off stage in the corner. I'm still going to call oh. out, but the punch! The punch working out like a charm. Yeah. Sam is not working as well as no, one would hope. It really isn't. It's given DK a little bit more room to breathe, you know? Yeah. It's always hard changing characters mid set, though. You know, you put, your opponent already has like all the momentum with theirs. Yeah. And it takes a while to swap from characters, especially a zoner in like a rush down with an inkling that just play differently. Oh my god. Q with the, the bread and butter oh, yeah. ledge traps here. DK without a jump. Yeah. Could be dangerous. A down smash. And suddenly this looking quite doable. 40 yeah. to 0. Immediately brought it back. Oh, but big damage. Yeah. One mega hit. That's going to do it. You need to play mega safe here. Oh, just hitting those toes. That touch <laughs> shot. <laughs> the cheeky toes. Yeah. The piggies. Oh, my goodness. Q in the corner here. Not yeah. landing any. Oh. Yeah, up to we're gonna Oh yeah. and the up air. Big brain. Yeah. Big head. Smashing it out. Q yeah. not too happy about that one. Yeah. Samus so definitely at more of a disadvantage while in the air than inkling right against yeah. DK. DK's so quick to you know, find those up airs. I feel like she has not the best air drift. Mm. We're gonna see the switch back maybe. I would be surprised if we didn't see a switch after that. Yeah, it was a little bit, a little bit of a, you know, how you going? Yeah. Kut's looking like he's feeling a bit confident here. Mm. What are your thoughts? What do you think he's going to choose? I think Q will go back to Inkling. Inkling, you say? That's the logical choice. Yeah. Not a new choice, not a new character? No. I think the Inkling can work. But who knows what goes on in Q's mind, you know? Yeah. Alright, looks like they've done their bands. Really thinking about this stage. The game yeah. 5. Tossing back, tossing, tossing forward, tossing back. We'll make the small battlefield, I think. Yoshi? No. Oh. There's no way. Wait, he's picking the character right now <laughs> with the song. Yeah. Oh, Kirby. the Kirby! There's no way. There's no way. Does he do it? I mean, it's versus D3, though, so... DDD, -D -D, you think? Oh, no oh way. Oh, my God. No <laughs> way. The penguin. The penguin. No way. Oh, Quit's not even aware. Well, we I mean, a, he probably knows, but we still. A, we got a couple of big boys out here. Uh-oh. This is going to be a saucy game five. Got some big fellas. This could be fun. I mean... This could be actually like... Wait. Doesn't DDD like destroy DK or... or I feel like around? DK would destroy D3, right? Because like, how sure. did... Gordos are useless. Up air chains, back air chains. But, you know, we saw Q cleaning up Bayonetta last game with... Last night with Mewtwo. Yeah. Against Mewtwo. I, don't, I have no idea about this matchup. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Battle of the Giants on Small Battlefield oh Game God. 5. They're so large. Look at them. <laughs> They're, so They're just huge. big. Make this stage look tiny. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Ooh, Very nice good. down tilt. 
Oh my god. Oh, that is a scary dash attack. For anyone that doesn't know, that will kill DK at 75 of the ledge. It is a very powerful move. There you go. Quits getting a strong opening. 75 to 85. Just feeling each other out a little bit. Yeah. Q just jumping around, finding that forward air. Yeah, I mean, having a hammer kind of goes against everything I was just saying. Just yeah. the huge disjoint. And Kut's ready for those quarters. Oh, oh my god! Punch in the back. Yeah. No back air for you, mate. Yeah, just a bit faster than the back air. Kut's really good at using uh, punch. Yeah, really good grab there with that auto fake out. Unfortunately, nice D3. B reverse too, but not quite landing. Yeah, unfortunately for D3, there's very oh little kill confirms or even kill confirms after about 100. Yep. Oh, about 60 or 80 actually, so here we go. Four three. Control. Oh no! Oh, oh the oh, down tilt! The down tilt! Here we go. Still, this mirrors the the inkling matchup where they're kind of taking stocks off each other evenly. Oh, gotta watch that up air for sure. Is it invincible on the up air or intangible? You can't touch it, right? right? Yeah. Oh my uh -oh, god, that's gonna Is be it. it. Oh, but he's a big heavy. penguin! He's a big boy! DD, one of the hardest to kill. Ooh, very good hits. Ooh, fantastic good parry. parry. Yeah. Not finding that grab. Shoot. Seems like Q's just still trying to like find his footing in this matchup. But maybe it's too little too late. Ah, uh, I feel the like nice lead here. possible. He's yeah. not going to die so early with like Inkling Wood. Yep. Oh, oh wow. The patience was nice. Fantastic stage control from Kutz right here. Yep. Has to be careful not to get two frames. Invincibility running out oh. early. Oh. Up two. Oh. Up it. Not enough. Oh, not enough. Good. Good. So much rage. Oh my god. That goodness. is. Oh. Jesus. Kutz knowing how to di. Oh. Oh my god. Insane for there. Q suddenly looking like he's in this quite solidly. Yeah. 160. This is, this is awesome. Oh. Trying to fish for that back air. Oh, the back air. find it. South spot. Not enough. Fantastic. Can we get any yeah, damage grab. in? That's no, that's it. gonna be it. Yep. Yeah. Easy. Oh, zero, zero. Oh Last God. dot, game five. Here Ab we go, baby. Absolutely. Here we go. Oh. Big damage. Here we go. Huge struggling to land. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Oh, here we go. That's an Turn opening. Oh. Grab. Uh oh. DK can struggle to land vertically against D3 with that big disjointed hammer. Oh! Not enough. Punch in the back. Got another charge. That's Already a ready. Scary. A bit scary. Here we go. Oh! Oh, oh, no. oh! And that's what we were talking about. Oh, the 70% no. kill so early. Puts realizing what it feels like to die so early. And Q clutching yeah. it up. That was crazy. Fantastic set. The one like ledge trapping moment that DDD had. Was the one to take it, you know. Oh man, what was it? Gordon or dash attack? Yeah, that's rough. Fantastic. That was a very that entertaining. Was, that was set. fun. That was yeah, that was phenomenal. good. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. Shrikaja shaking Kutz's hand. Yeah. Saying my condolences. Better luck next time, guy. Yeah. <laughs> we have quite a quite a fantastic set coming up. We have Ghost Yo. versus. Yeah, so okay. There he is. Yeah. Okay. So we've got Strix vs. Ghost. Mm -hmm. This will be our last set of the of the day. Yep. I'm gonna jump to the toilet real quick. Yeah, I'll be sure. Like one minute. I'll be back. I'll Take be back. your time, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for anyone joining us, we just had an amazing set of Q versus Quits. Put staying deep the entire game, but Q going inkling, inkling, inkling into Samus, into sealing it off with the D3. We saw many early kills from Kutz killing inkling as early as I believe 30 or 40 percent. But Q, they're cleaning it out at the very last stock with a Gordo to dash attack, allowing for a pretty early relative kill. Kutz wasn't dying until late 150 to 200, killing so early at 70 with just the penguin's dash attack. Such a scary thing. And now we have two Titans coming up. We have Shrika Ghost. Ghost. Now Ghost got a little bit of upsets in pool. He lost to... Oh, I can't remember. I think it was a Ridley and a Marth main, which is a bit unlike him. But with his main character, Steve Band, we're going to be seeing, I believe, the Cloud. But we may be seeing something else. 
Josh, also known Josh Shortgrass, known to be a man with many characters similar to Q. Maybe it's an SA thing. I wonder. We've seen Josh's Meta Knight. Me Brawler is one of his most powerful picks. Looks like we're probably ha going into that game one, or at least he's having it on reserve for the future sets. Oh, anything is possible. Except for Steve, of course. That's not possible. Alright, here we go. RPS looking like Sh Shrek is banning first. Josh tossing up. Lila, Hollow Bastion, Small Battlefield. Where will they go? I imagine we're going to be seeing the Sephiroth? Don't you know, what is this? This might be like Winners Round 2. Usually something reserved for top 8, perhaps even top 3. The, uh, Ghost being the big, weast, big big cheese winner of last year. And I, think, I believe Shrix was top 3. Welcome back. Hello. I'm back. Alright. What are we going to see here? Um, I imagine Sephiroth versus... I couldn't say. Uh -huh. I don't, uh, well, Josh just did check the Me Brawler set. But mm. I doubt they'll be going into game one. Yeah. But, you know. Maybe Kazuya? Oh, he's been deleted. Oh, actually. Um, I think Jacko deleted him. Oh, no. <laughs> so, someone earlier today. Jacko or Q. Is this Grands? No. Very well. Played. What? Uh, did Shrix place third last year? I can't remember. I it was remember. fairly high up. I think so. I can't remember. Oh yeah, Josh uh, mashes using the mm. D-pad. Whoa. Going back to Yoshi music? No, we're going Pokemon now. Steven, I love this song. Were you a Pokemon fanatic growing up? Yeah, of course, yeah. What was your, what was your generation? Sephiroth. First one, man. Really? Sephiroth, Kazuya. How old are you? How old am I? Oh, you don't want to know. Sephiroth. What? You don't want to know. 28? Yeah. 28, I'm 26, bro. 28. Gen 1. Bro. Boomer alert. Yeah. Nah, no, I played, uh... Ruby Sapphire is my first, but I think yeah. I really sunk my teeth into Hot Gold Soul Silver, but mm. you know. Yeah, this is a good one. Here we go. Kaz. Here we go. How's your How do you think this matchup goes? Uh I feel like it's a nightmare to play for both players. I mean you got mm. Sephiroth space them and out with a giant sword, and then Kazuya doing a touch of death again. Yeah, that's true. Right. So it's just <laughs> volatile. Yeah, I oh, good sure hop over there, laser. Oh, interesting okay. enough, that orb is going to stop Kazuya just getting those free combos against Seth. Yeah. Yeah, these two top players, hailing from Victoria and SA, are going to see lots of mm. nice neutral interactions. Oh, up there. I've actually seen uh, Ghosts has before. Oh, really? No, how is it? Um, I'm pretty sure he was like playing Kazuya for a while and like winning tournaments. Oh, oh my okay, god, sure. that's gonna kill. Yeah, that's some uh, poor DI cheeky on that, damage. It seemed like poor DI, but. I mean, uh, Seth oh, is a lightweight, right. but nevertheless. Yeah. That's hurt. Yep. I also can't remember, there's like half of Kazuya's stuff you can't even DI. Yeah. Oh, that'd be damage. That'd... Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's like 40%, right? Oh, uh, yeah. It's something close to 40. Yeah. And then, oh, this might be it. No, it's not, okay. but... It's at such a high percent yeah. already. I'm not catching with the upper there. I'm just really making this work. Mm. A, little, a little scary for Shrix oh, here. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Joe's oh. dropping that. Shrix with his big skewer. Let's see if he can do some damage off stage. Ghost, fantastic recovery, great weaving in and out. Yeah. <laughs> Keep away from me with his F tilt. Yeah. I'm gonna find it with that back air there. Back air looking very clean. Yeah. Now Strix. The scary He's thing about not a, Strix is not afraid of this Kazuya right now. He's going in with his nares. Yeah. Grabbing. Really nice combo there. I 
guess when you're keeping up the pressure. Yeah, you just have to. You can't just let Kaz do his own thing. You have to be. You have yeah. to be laying on the pressure. Oh my god, that's <laughs> crazy. Definitely like making use of this wing right now. Yeah. Playing quite aggressive. I'm not sure when, but this wing might just disappear soon. Oh, oh no! He didn't find the edge card that he wanted. And here we go. Ghost with what? What's it called? Mega. Whoa, there are some chants going off right now. Street Fighter popping off in the background. I think it's Street Fighter? Or maybe Melee. Oh well, check it out later. Something crazy is happening. <laughs> Alright, back to this. Alright, here we go. All yeah. back onto Ghost. Trigger, oh, oh my god. running off stage? Oh my god. Philosophy. And here that, this is an awful pos position. position for Ghost. Oh my god. Makes it back to stage though. Uh oh, this could be huge oh. damage right here. Yeah. Or Strix without a wing. Back yeah, I like the upbeat to the left. The, the platform? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's solid. Great positioning. Yeah. Because he does struggle to land on platforms without committing to his double jump, I believe. But super nice movement from Ghost, just weaving in and out. Yeah. Both these guys respecting each other. They both know there. that. One yeah. interaction, one neutral win. That's that right. could be oh. it for the, their stop. Yep. Oh my god, oh, the there, clutch that's it. spot dodge. Wow. Literally true combo at that's, 70%. Yeah, that spot dodge really Kazuya Mishima. came in clutch Please. there. Kez. Kez. Kaz. Very scary character. Yeah. <laughs> just, Josh just being like, yeah, it's just another day. <laughs> just another Kaz game. Mm. Where do you even go if you're a Shrieker? I mean, you um, can't go PS2 battle. I think you want the bigger stages though, no? Yeah, you want the bigger stages, but you also need a platform, because otherwise Kaz just dominates. That's right, that's right. I feel like, um... So, like, FT Kalos like must be out, right? I think there's a chance of Kalos, but probably not FT. So we're going small battlefield. Yeah. The most neutral. Stage in this game is it not? Small battlefield. Yeah. Oh, I hate. Oh, I don't. I don't hate that stage. But I don't know. It's definitely not one of my go-to's. All right, here we go. Running it back. Same matchup. Cheeky orb, but not much damage. Great spot dodge. That. Yeah. Ghost knew that grab was coming. They're oh gonna eat 31% from there. Oh, and gets the little. And the cheeky orb. Little phantom. That's gonna be a huge combo. Big damage. Right. Shrek's maintaining composure. Yeah. Yeah, nice movement here from, from Shrek's. Oh. Skewer, the skewer. Oh. Oh. oh my god. I like the idea. Oh no. Oh, that's not it. I'm only really being near the ledge feels safe, maybe? Then you can't get those really scary touches of death. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ooh, great F tilt. Yeah, nice there there. Oh, good up there too. Just maintaining the advantage. The only hitbox that would have reached there. Oh no, I mean that's it. No, we're, we're in big stage here. Jeez. And it was across the stage. Yeah. All right. And now with Strix does have a wing, which means extra jump. Really nice. Cool, there. that's gonna be it. Yeah, very good chase. Oh, that's gonna be it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That looks crazy. Good confirms. No. This is the scary stuff we saw. Oh, oh my god. Like Steve oh. Josh. Whoa. That could have been it. The SWAT dodges are really that's paying good. off here for Ghost. He's like on point with them. He like turned around that. Yeah. Just with the single spot dodge. Oh, this is a rough spot though for Ghost. Yeah, Ghost still <laughs> popping the damage. That yeah. might be stock. Not quite. Trick's not done yet. Barely. Ghost making a bad recovery look good. Making it back against one of the scariest players oh in the scene. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Strix doing a phenomenal job Holy just keeping. Shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, there you go. That's that. gonna do it. Yeah. 
Definitely um, one of Kazuya's worst aspects, right? Yeah. Oh, phenomenal tech. Yeah. Kaz does have the laser, and he does have a pretty good double jump, but doesn't have very... It doesn't have much to make him move horizontally off stage, I feel. Ooh. Ooh, Looks like a shield break, break. yeah. Trick's looking very comfortable in this game here. Yeah. Just jumping around with this wing. Yeah, that movement's got to be nice. That extra just air speed, ground yeah. speed. Oh my god, he absolutely read that. That could be it. Yeah, Not nice quite. recovery from Ghost. Dash in, dash out. Yeah. Cheeky F tilt. Really rough spot all? though. Yeah, you're yeah. not making that. <laughs> as soon as Kazuya's down there, it's like... How does it oh, come back? What's yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially with the wing. Here we go, into game three. Hmm. Yeah, the offstage game in, in that one was, was crazy. Yeah. That's good. Ghost really thinking about this. Hmm. I wonder where we're going to go. Do you get three bands on the counter pick? Uh, I think so, yeah. Sure. So you probably don't need to worry about F or Yeah. Town. Town. Good stage for Seth still. That back here's going to clean. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost is just expecting to just kill early, right? That's that's his win condition. So, and he's not going to be like working so far off stage anyway. Yeah. I think it's a fine pick. Oh no! Oh no! That's huge damage. Yeah. Seventy-two in ten seconds. Means over. Fading in, fading out. Throwing him off stage. Good footsies here, here we go. Trick's just kind of walling him out with Ooh. sword right now. Yeah, it's a really quick drop down for it, uh, fair. Get oh, like, going uh, mega deep for that one. Yeah, right. Oh, oh that's you looking low. Getting a back thrown. Oh, missing. It looks like Strix wanted to pierce that ledge there. Yeah. Just I feel like... Be careful with his back here. I feel like Wing just makes things so much easier. Oh for just have that extra bit of speed. <laughs> you see that? Goes like retreating to the ledge. Like, I don't want to deal with this. And Strix Aja just chasing down without being... Yeah, I think the scariest thing about Shrix, it seems like he's got a solution to every single situation in this game. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't it ever feel like it needs to like, work it out on the fly? It feels like he's already got something in the back of his mind. Oh, yeah. Shrix is always in deep thought, you know? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Go struggling to steal off this. Seal off the stock. It's 176. Oh my god, the run. Oh, I'm trying to read a spot Ooh. for the jump machine. Oh, oh my wow. god. I swear I'm not even being able to... Does Kaz not have a kill throw? Oh no, he definitely does. Like, I think, um... Is it down throw? The one that, like, sends you back? Oh, I'm not sure maybe. what it is. Isn't that one that, like, shoots it's, a laser beam? There's one that sends you, like, at a really bad angle. Yeah, the up throw is the laser beam. Oh, that right. can kill. I think the back throw can kill it as well. Yeah, Shrix just saying keep away from me. Being on 176 oh for a good half a minute. Yeah. Ghost not planting any Jesus. hits in. Ghost is like spot dodging his back hairs too. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, okay, we make it back. Oh but God. this is rough for uh, Ghost here. He needs Pro to take a suck now. Oh my God. Or even just land so a scary. single hit. Yeah. Just running in circles. Yeah, both these guys narrowly avoiding each other. Oh my god, oh, no ooh. way! I like it. I respect it. Now the scary thing here is... Quick Ghost 40? Oh, the jab one! No way. Oh, he's lost it. Okay. That, that makes it a lot less scary, because otherwise I feel like it could have just been... In and out, one minute. Yeah. Ten second combo. Yeah, losing that... I don't know what it's called, but... Rage oh, of Die, I think? 
that what it's called? Ready oh. to die? Right. Oh. That sounds pretty intense. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. Woo! Oh, Town Not City. Not enough. Loving the ceiling oh here. Oh my god, what is this? A bee. Oh, good down tilt there. Catching yeah, that. catching the landing. Yeah. I respect it. And there's coming out. Yeah, this is a up throw. Yeah, there we go. Still not out of this, but Strick's yeah. really just quite demanding in yeah. the lead. My god, Ghost really staying just out of Strix range for most of, for most part too. Yeah, I think the scary thing as well is Strix is is planking and he's doing a pretty good job of just holding that ledge. And Ghost not having much option to approach. Yeah. Scary position for Ghost. No, oh, too low. Fortunate. Yeah. The pressured SD. <laughs> yeah, a little bit too low. Trying to stall out that that counter, but not quite making it back. No, sir. All right. The all important game four. Yeah. I'm gonna go run it back, maybe. Stop the battle. Yeah, he knows his he knows his game plan, he knows his win condition. He's just yeah. gonna run it back straight back to town. I can't imagine you'd want to be running me brawler into Sephiroth. That sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. Here we go, a couple of jabs. Strix consistently getting these orbs just at the start of the game. Oh my god, so demanding. Here we go. Uh oh, oh whoa, Jesus. whoa, whoa, what's this? 70, no, whoa! 90, not 90. finished yet. That was crazy. Calm down, calm down. Yeah, good for two. Strix going for the low and Ghost going for the high. <laughs> Both completely missing each other. Yeah, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty important that happens. Mm. Alright, here we go. Oh no, oh, did not want that no. in. That's a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, the flop. Ghost feeling like he's in the first time. First time in quite a while in the lead in this set. Yeah, that looked like a shoot poke. Oh my god! The platform recovery? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. We have great stuff online. But Strix just not letting oh, Ghost Jesus. anywhere near him. Yeah. Oh. Strix just camping at this ledge right now. Ghost approaching needlessly. Yep. He does have a laser that reaches across the stage, forcing Shrix back on. Yep. Ghost spot dodging at the wrong time, that one. Oh, okay, big damage. Big damage, nothing's been done. Big damage incoming, maybe? Yeah, here we go. Shrix looks like he has a solid <gasps> game plan. Oh my god. Not enough, but the wing's oh, alive. Oh. The trip! I didn't even know Kaz had a trip too. Of course he does. <laughs> He's got everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't be surprised with this character. He also has Diddy Banana if you look really carefully. <laughs> Garrett? Feeling each other out. 50. Oh, oh, Looking like a shoot break there. Set. Yeah, good spot dodge on that back air. It's just so odd because it feels like Coast is forced to approach even when he's not approaching. Yeah. I feel like Shrix just has like such demanding space. What's the... Oh, oh my god. The left roll, behind, night. roll behind and into a thousand punches, you know? I'm gonna take it. Oh, Ghost Shield running awful low. Yeah, he's running away a little bit now until it recovers. Oh, oh my god. Great counter. Yeah. Like, oh my god. <laughs> okay. I thought yeah. we were going to see a grab, but we're just jabbing each other now. You know, get, get some chip damage. Yep. Oh, uh oh. Oh, this is very scary. scary. <gasps> no way. No, surely not. Oh, I feel like Ghost is going to lose that rage very shortly. One more hit might be it. Even the clicks itself. Yeah, he's lost it. Oh. Wow, that's a really clutch. Nice recovery. Recovery side be there. Go. Landing forward here. Oh, oh my god. Each other. He dashed back on that dash attack. <laughs> Very really good nice. stuff. Ducked underneath the forward air. You know? Yeah. Underneath the sword with that. Yeah. He's moving. He's moving. Yeah. 
<sighs> All right, here we go. Game five. Yeah. Anyone's set. Anything could happen. But we're not going to be in town anymore, I think. So that's... I'm going to go probably small battlefield, I think. Oh, yeah, it's a small battlefield. Yeah. Shotgun kiss? No. Uh. I thought Shrix was such a big fan of Xenoblade. Yeah. Ooh. You need something hype. Unfinished battle? Oh yeah, this is like final boss music. Oh, sure. sure. That's what it sounds like. Start the battle. Such an early conflict. Several. Yeah, right? This guy's playing decently early in the bracket. Yeah. Um, I think Ghost losing to a little bit. Um, definitely eating them up. Pools, yeah. All right, here we go. Game five. Kaz vs. Seth. Three, go. two, one, go! <laughs> nice dash attack there. <laughs> Great dash attack, yeah. Leading out with a, an aggressive option. I feel like if Kaz is in the corner, Seth is doing well. Yeah. Shrix is coming alive right now. Seeing these big combos. Yeah. Yeah, Ghost is so good at spot dodging on those. Uh, back he, he, yeah, he knows that like that's his opening. Yeah, with it's Kazuya so Rack. scary. How else do you do it? Oh my god, that could have been so much damage. Or oh. death. <gasps> so scary. Oh. The tag. Oh, oh wait, and the back <laughs> Holy shit! Actually, amazing. Trick is just so ready, man. Phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, uh, you can't be fair in that one, mate. Ghost knows that he needs that. Oh. That's gonna do it. So that nice. lower blast siren from the top. Yeah, returning the favor immediately. Yeah, small advantage over town is that you're gonna be able to seal up several yeah. Here we really go. early. This oh. is scary. Throwing him off stage, yeah. big damage. That throw does a heaps actually. It's like 18 or something ridiculous. Yeah, wow. Can't leave. roll past that back here. No. Really stuck at this ledge now. Yeah. What oh the hell? God. Invincibility. <laughs> Crazy. This is a really bad spot. But Ghost doing a good job making it back. Shrek's kind of struggling to clean off these ledge traps. Oh, he's just keeping him at bay at the moment. Look at this. Yeah. Ghost making it back. Shrek's now with a one wing though. Yeah. It's scary stuff. It is. Oh my God. Up air, not oh. facing it correctly. The mash on Strix getting out of the like, Oh, crap. that's a really cheeky up air there. Yeah. Ghost. Oh, that's it. That's it, yeah. Nice. Whoa, right, this is tense. 130. Oh, that's gonna be huge. Ooh. Oh my god, wow. missing the forward tilt to clean it off. Yeah. Both of these competitors feeling each other out. Shrix needed to get one of these back airs in and get a ledge trap. Oh, oh my god! No Setting a projectile way. right back at him! <laughs> oh, zero zero. Punish for zero. the laser with the, the slowest projectile in the game. <laughs> <laughs> you read that a year ago. Yeah. Right, here we go. Dashing in. Shrix really doesn't want to get hit by a combo starter here. Small battlefield. Some scary things can happen. Oh my god. Ghost is hunting him down. <laughs> Come right. over here. Yeah. Oh stuff. my god, they both avoid each other. Okay. Find a grab. Uh, Nothing comes off of it. Can't get much connection because that orb is just keeping Shrix safe. Such a unorthodox method of getting yeah. out of Kaz's combo. I really like these dashbacks Ghost is doing here as well. Really good spacing. Forward air punishing that jump hit, that kind of dash in from Shrix. Still anyone's game. Yeah, but Ghost is applying a lot of pressure here. To make, he's incrementing yeah. it through. But one good ledge trap from Shrika could yeah. clean it up. Oh my, oh oh my god, he ducked he under he that ducked with the punch. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, that's mega scary. Going to lose us so early for both these competitors. Such a nasty feeling. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. He can make this it back. He can make it back. <gasps> So scary. Ghost is 
so brave for that. Going off stage versus one wing Seth. Man. Oh. He's not afraid of anything. I mean, oh, oh that's okay, a really this could be it. That's a really. Oh, no. unfortunate. Bit Damn. of a bit of a soft finish there, but it was a great set. Pressure yeah. SE at the very end, yeah. pulling it out for Strix. Josh dropping down into losers. Yeah, that final like four there at the end put Ghost in such a poor position. Position, um, and then I don't know what happened. He just yeah, I, I think he, I guess he tried to drift a little bit out, you know, to avoid Strix's, you know, edge guarding and didn't quite yeah. make it back. Unfortunate. Well, that was a really nice game five set. That was a pretty good, good set. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder who the winner is playing. But hard to see. He's playing P9. The winner's playing P9. Mm. Cool. Awesome. Well, it's been a pleasure commentating with you. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. Yeah. I hope everyone's looking forward to Top 32, which will be starting very shortly. Thank you very much, yeah. everyone. All right. No worries. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Good morning. It's afternoon. afternoon mate. Come on. Oh, it's morning somewhere. Leave me alone. Is it? I don't think it is. Oh, it might be in Perth. But anyway. <laughs> oh, it's all, whatever's going on in Perth is uh, not what's happening here. True that. Oh, mate. But yes. Welcome to, I guess, Top 32. Is this still winners round two or is it Top 32 just yet? This might be qualifier, right? We are. It, yeah. Okay. Oh, we yep. got one. This is the last set of uh, to make top thirty-two. To make top thirty-two. So excellent. This is a this is a tight set to make a, a qualifier. Yeah, well, the that's the nature of round robin pools, I guess. So you yeah. get some uh, you get early, some early, results. early. Uh, oh, what was I going to say? I couldn't get the words well, out. Well, if you need any indication, we had the uh, last year grand final was uh, a winners round two set. Based solely on the fact that uh, you get some Jesus. upsets in round robins and then it throws the whole bracket out of whack, I suppose. But, oh uh, man, that is so. I feel like I scuffed the bracket. No, you, it's. I, no, 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 I know, I know. But it's, it's very funny. Oh, mate. If it's you, very if, funny how if, it works. If you've single handedly scuffed bracket, then that's a good job to you, I say. But uh, <laughs> especially when you win one set to make it out of pools. But hey, that's alright. Yeah. Nice job. I'm proud of you. I got through by being bad. Doesn't matter, mate. Hey. Yeah. You were less uh, I, was, I, was, I was less bad today. They were less bad than a couple other people, and that's their fault, not yours. Joker. Anyway, Pro oh, one, Joker. 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 Yeah, Luigi. Yeah. I can understand why he would not want to play Wolf. Uh, Luigi, notorious spacey killer. I dare say. Interesting. One of those, one of those characters. Yeah, I could see uh, it. Spacey's understand it. Yeah, Pro, Pro one luckily has a uh, quite a few uh, selection of characters he can uh, play, which is always good. Oh my. Just a lot of... Okay, it's kind of... I don't know if he's uh, out of the uh, grab a touch of death percent now, but... It, as yeah, a, oh, both Malakoff, definitely now. Yeah, proving that he uh, can uh, make a combo out of uh, any percent, really. He doesn't really have to be a that's zero. The, oh, misses that's the... the uh, oh, just... Misses the uh, up there, unfortunately. It's a big uh, RCN up smash for it. That's all right. Yep. Okay, nice. So there, there. Basic ledge trap sequence. Yep, definitely. Uh, he's back on stage now. Can he make his uh, R7 is about quarter, quarter left. Can he get uh, oh. much more percent racked up? Doesn't quite get back here at the time. Okay, he gets, right. uh, gets the dash attack from him. Okay, nice recovery. Nice edge guarding here. I think he, uh, yep, so let's jump. Okay, that's uh, gonna be hard now for Malakoff. He needs a misfire, and he doesn't get one, unfortunate. Mm, nice he edge guarding. One there. He did. Alright, man, as much as I think this character's broken, I would hate to have to rely on 
RNG for my recovery to work. But I mean, yeah, it's understand. But I guess you know it was a really nice edge guard regardless. You know, absolutely you can't take anything away from where one. But it gets the uh, the up smash, and now he's a uh, in a dangerous percent here, a zero. I guess getting a grab on Joker might be quite hard though. Oh, I like the gun combos. You know what he's doing? Yeah, definitely. Ah. Nice uh, caught the roll. Quite full pressure. Oh, nice, nice patience, but... Okay, he gets a grab. What does he do? Nice. This is okay, he gets out of the down here. Oh, nice, nice combo. Big damage. Good ledge jumping active, here. Active, that, using uh, the active frames on that there, covering almost every option. Oh, this is really smart. He's just sort of playing outside of the, the range here. Get rolled Ooh. past the full tilt. Nice. Slightly mispositioning that one. Unlucky. Is it a re-grab? Yep. Yep. Gets the down smash. You gotta punish that. Nice and simple. Man, I don't know. Luigi uh, dash attack is, can be kind of aggravating that sort of to get fight. But I feel like they, Luigi's always gets so many dash attack hits. Oh, that's invincible, my friend. Hasn't been throwing out the uh, the tornado that often, though. Mm. Kind of keeping it there for, uh, you know, back with mine now. Oh, oh the, the reverse, reverse hit. Still has the awareness to follow um, where he goes. Oh, nice. Let's jump. Nice edge guard, though. Late hit of the back end. Yeah. Love it. Lost his jump as well. He didn't lose his jump, but he used his jump already, so it was even a uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's oh going to be it. Oh my god. That was clean. That was. Very nice. Touch of death. You gotta get it anytime. Your last lock is always an ideal, ideal That's situation. That's the best time to do it. 100%. I love the Bro One shirt. It's very nice. Yeah. Just in case you don't know, you yeah, know, you're yeah, not, you're not in quite sure you know who he, he was. You can just you can just look around the look around the crowd. You'll see him. They're both handsome young men. Wouldn't know who's who. Yes. All right, Holly Bastion is choice. Stop I think we were we were there last game. We were last game, weren't we? Was was we were at Holly Bastion last game, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we were. It's gonna stick with the Joker. That's fair. That's fair. The guy, I think it was uh, it was alright. I'm curious as to why he wouldn't go Wolf though. Because like I know like I know I said he's a bit of a spacer killer, but I feel like Wolf would do the best out of all. Yeah, it's maybe it's this comfortability thing, you know, he just wants to play Joker here. Just wants think the mobility. Yeah, thinks it, it's the best option. Might be harder to like probably harder to grab Joker than Wolf maybe as well. Mm. But he gets to grab anyway. But doesn't get the the spike hitbox on the uh, the dare. Also maybe that's the play. He's trying to to down gun the Luigi More so he doesn't get back. The gimping. Yeah, yeah, I see it. <laughs> They're both spot dodge at the same time. I love those little same brain moments. Oh, 100%. Oh, oh just getting out of it. All right. Oh, that would counter was it? He needed that to win. Oh, he doesn't get the full hop, unfortunately. Or maybe the instant double jump as well. And then maybe the, the counter on Gumpy as well. He yep. knew. That was nice. Nice, gets the four tilt. Arsene about to go. Can he get the edge guard first? No. Arsene runs nice out and he and dies a reversal. for it. See, this is the situation where against Luigi you can be kind of hard because as soon as you're behind, this is very, it's very, very dangerous. Even if it's not a very big lead, if it's a stock with rage, it's uh, it can be quite a hill to climb. Oh, for sure. Luigi's gonna survive a lot. Oh, misses the back air, but he uh. still gets. I honestly think he missed the button there. Maybe. It looked maybe. like he missed the button. Because I would have upbeat. I, I mean, I would have upbeat. Where yeah. He fared. Maybe he had the wrong idea. I'm not sure, but either way. Either way, the stock's the gone. But are we going to see another one go? Oh, that was nice. He died to the ed edge of stage. <clears throat> okay. Just throwing out a lot of moves. A little bit of dancing around, yeah. A lot of safe moves. Like? Okay, now he gets the side B. Good pressure here from Bro1. That yeah. was a very nice, uh, yeah. very nice positioning for the counter. Yeah, I look up ready for the for the tech though. These uh, Bro1 got a lot out of that Arsene. He's like uh, stolen the lead back here. But can he get the kill? Oh, uh, he's gone deep for the edge guard. 
He wants the stock gone, and I don't blame him for it, quite frankly. Nice, good for back down the roll. But I do worry for Bro one a little bit. He's at that sweet percent where you can do the down throw. Gets the side B. That. They're all good DI though. Good. Mass Massive DI. Back air, Fable back air, that was nice. Falling oh. out the little jump. Oh, the crab had invincibility hadn't worn out just yet. Nice, nice edge guard. Deep edge guard. Oh, it gets a back throw, interesting. I wonder if that was what uh, Malakoff wanted there. Okay. What? Yeah, he's just playing, trying to play out of the range here for Luigi here. Oh, okay. That could have been something there, but it gets out of it. A bit slow on the down air. I feel like that would have been a good one. Right. It's probably a bit more a bit more comfortable here for Bro one, I'd say. Yeah, once he's down air. Oh, down throw, forward air. I'm liking these really low recoveries from Alec. He's sort of making it hard for uh, Bro one to kind of get too much out of him. Oh, but yeah, yeah you that can't get away from that. No, he's a bit bit too far away from the, the ledge there for that, unfortunately. But uh, mate, he could have thrown out at least another three of those. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and he still would have made it back. Yeah. But uh, anyway, game one. Looks like we're going to get a nice close set here, which is good. That's what you want to see. Mm. I'm feeling a game fight. I would like to see a game five. That would be very nice. Are we going to see a change in stage pick? Yeah, we got. Where uh, do we go? We're at small battlefield now. Okay. So we're mixing up the scenery here, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Three, two, a bit more space one, here. Go. Uh, a bit more options at the ledge as well. Platforms might be doing Joker a few favors though. That's yeah, it. definitely. So, oh, gets to the. Yeah, and that's it. He's got that one down. See, and just like that, you open up with a basically an entire stock lead. Yeah, I think you have to accept the fact oh. when you're playing this. Boy. That gun almost intercepting. That would have been really nasty. This is looking like a very strong start for. Malcolm. I think when you're playing this matchup, you have to accept the fact that sometimes you flip a coin and uh, oh, my oh God. and he reads the he reads the wall. That like, was really nice. Yeah, you have to accept the fact that you're going to start with the uh, with one stop gone within the first five seconds of the game. It's entirely possible, but nah, that won't kill just yet though. But my that's damage. God, three of them. I think this is a, a start again. To be honest, uh, at this point. See if we can get at least a stock here, and then work from there. Oh my god, there's no way. He charged up for an entire day. This might give Bro One the momentum that he needs. Yeah, gonna see it. if he can take back another stock unanswered. Joker definitely character who can uh, can take stocks like that. Yeah, but uh, unfortunate there. You can kind of just throw that out and just find it. Hey, honestly, <laughs> because it's so like it's so because you get the invincibility obviously, so and it just sucks in, sucks you in. So yeah, it's not a very good option sometimes. A little bit of the come here. Yeah, pretty well. So yeah, just like that. Come dance with me. Malakoff taking a 2-1 lead. Little spin. Yeah, the spinny. The spin. Go back to Holly Bastion. This song. Start the battle. Luigi. This takes Joker. me back to ball. Playing, uh, playing with my brother. Yeah, mate. With items on. We just play on FD. As it was intended, you could say. I thought we were so good at the game. Hey, you are good at the game, mate. I'm talking about, you know, 15 years ago, mate. Hey, however, sure. however old this game is, however old Brawl is. Brawl is like, yeah, 14 years old now, pretty sure. Something like that. That's a long time. Does it make you feel old hearing stuff like that? I reckon it does, though. Anyway. Don't remind me, mate. Nah, come on, mate. Anyway. Anyway. He's not, uh, he's not going to lose an early stock here at least this point. And he's got a bit of damage on Malakoff this time around, so, uh... We'll see how this game plays out for Bro One. Okay. Um, Malakov not really giving Bro One much of a. Oh, that was a nice intercept thing. with the guns there. I was gonna say that Malakov wasn't really giving um, Joker too much room to move, covering like the short hops with those, uh, with the plunger and the fireballs. But yeah. 
Making oh. it back. Um, oh, it doesn't get a punish though, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, tries to cover the roll in. Malakov not giving it to him. It's got a lot of nice and nice amount of damage here on this uh, Arsene before the stock runs out. I love that like the tether hangs. It's so yeah. clever. Because yeah. everyone just kind of expects the insta like reel in. But you just sort of sit there for like a second. Yeah. Just to think about the option. It makes the opponent guess as well. Uh, okay. That will do I it. I could have imagined that going completely the other way. I think bro one wanted to yeah, I think throw the up smash the other way. Yeah. Might have been a bit of an execution um, mishap there. But oh, okay. This is dangerous. Oh, the platform coming in clutch though. Now I think that's why... I think that's why um, Hollow Bastion has been working out for him. Yeah. Oh! Helps There's a lot of people getting grabs in the center, in the center stage. Um, All right. Nice. nice. That's a really good back air. Nice tech on that. Could have been a bit a bit of an awkward sort of one as well. Down, 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 down. Alright, that's alright. Lives that. Next one might be close. Yep, spot dodge jump smash. Ah, this is gonna be this is this is a scary time for Bro One here. Like all this damage is it's whatever. You wanna you kinda have that on you. I do like how Malakoff doesn't necessarily only fish for the death the, the, the grab combos though. He does he does uh, he'll take his damage where he can get it regardless if it's zero percent though. Which is always well, nice. you've got to, because if you tell it if it comes oh. to telegraph. Yeah, no, it definitely. Two telegraph. Yeah, hundred percent. And Luigi has plenty of other kill, like options to kill. As well. Oh, he doesn't need and to go to he has, to death. yeah, and like all the grab combos as well. Like he has, yeah, yeah. you know, damage combos as well that don't necessarily get kills. But Let's see, is uh, gonna have to make this last end count. I feel very patiently in shield. Oh, doesn't get enough there, but follows okay. with the four tilt. This is big. Oh no. This is the edge guard. Oh, he's living and he though. He lives that. Okay. Very one with a chance right. here. We've got no Arsene. He's kind of just sort of playing patiently, waiting for it to build up, I feel. Hey, you got to be careful on his shield there, brother. Okay. Doesn't get the punish on the down smash. Oh, I was lucky. That could have been, been bad. Oh, no way. It falls out. Oh, my God. Oh, you missed a chance there with that. Okay. Oh, no, oh, there's another that chance. Was that was an F smash. No. Oh, he gets hit by that. He's panicking a little bit here. Maybe. Okay, roll in. No. Oh, that's it. There you go. He nice. needed that. He needed Very nice. that. That was clutch there from Bro1. So All right, game five. Who has the advantage in the game five here? If you, if you, if you, if you, actually, if you win the game four, it's like so much easier. I feel like the game five. I don't know. I, I like guess it's a well shift in momentum. It kind of gets in your opponent. It depends on the person that you're playing against as well. Yeah, but like, exactly. If I just lost the game four like that, I'd definitely be very scared right now. Yeah, hundred percent. Going there's, into a game five, there's yeah, because you you were one game away from winning, and then all of a sudden you have to play another you have to take game. Take it away, and now you have to work. You have to work for it all again. Definitely. But having said that, it has gone game by game. The whole set. We're going to battlefield now. Interesting. Uh, oh no, never mind. Oh, that might have been a mishap. Yeah, I think they wanted a small, small battlefield, battlefield again. Yeah, definitely. Although, having said that, the last game out small battlefield was uh, very one-sided, to say the least. Bro one well, could be a power play. Or something. I feel like there's probably better bands for him. You, want, you don't want. Oh, to for up. sure. For so sure. I think I'm you kind of you're stuck into having to go to small battlefield. But having said that. Malakoff did open up with the uh, the zero death combo from the get go, so uh, I feel like that makes Bro it one maybe harder. Trying to send a message saying I don't care if you can do it. Yeah. Hey, Luigi, we'll see. Anyway, game five. You're like making said. you're making mistakes now. Exactly. So yeah, we got what we want to make. Game five. Let's go. Two, one, go. Let's see. Yep, just throwing out your projectiles. Why not? Ooh. A lot of, a lot of just sort of. Okay, gets the grab. Okay, gets a. Okay, so we've avoided the touch of death. Yep, definitely. 
As he intercepted it. No, he hasn't. Okay. Very smartly keeping his jump there. Wasn't sure if he uh, lost it there. He's doing that every time. Oh, he's done it there, though. Yeah. All right. Gets the, uh, gets the gun. All right. Now it's up to Malakoff here to, to try and make the comeback. Yeah, see, now he's just sort of... Okay, I was going to say, he's just sort of playing around, you know, just doing his little guns, like side Bs. Keeping that. his distance from Luigi here. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, the awareness to go to the ledge instead. I love that. Yeah. No. Oh, he's... I wonder if he... Yes, he bit broke. too slow. Oh, oh, I guess the reverse hitbox, unfortunate for Malakoff there. Oh, oh the... both hits, hitting shield. Wow. Oh, the gun stuffing it out, saving him from that. Uh... Oh, it... oh, no, here we go. Okay, he doesn't get the pun punish for the stick there. Yeah. Not Bro, one with a strong good. lead here. Not looking good for Yeah, here. so now Malakoff is looking for some reads to try and get a kill, which is. Uh... I think playing into Bray One's hands a little bit. Because he's happy enough to just sort of run around, just sort of get this chip damage in. Although the back air will take it. Alright. I think Malakoff wants his uh, he wants his combo now, man. He wants he wants if he's any time to get the plan it for is him. Definitely now. Here okay, he gets a grab. Oh, he gets out of it. Nice uh, the eye of behind. Fixing it up. Ooh, big punish. I feel like this is gonna be hard for Malakoff now to get this uh, get this comeback. Yeah. Very well done from Bray One there. And the curtain. Malakov not happy about that one, but understandably yeah. so. Yeah. Nice. But when you're going from a very convincing game four and they survive an F smash like that, surviving Luigi F smash, that's that's big. Yeah, definitely. It was uh, that's very That's a close. move that like I don't think I've ever lived getting hit by. Maybe it was just a bit too early, you know? Godlike God like DI. Good like DI, know? Joker, not quite. I mean, I know he's light, but anyway. That's the sort of thing uh, you'd expect to kill. Is all I'm, I would is, say, is yeah, no, thing. definitely, definitely. But now we uh, got John Bombo and Extra mm. rocking the... Uh, the Kutzen Chef podcast. Rocking the Google Maps Chef. Oh, he's got the Google Maps Chef. I didn't notice that till now. Oh, we saw it before. Very good. He hasn't been Google Maps for a while though, so I don't know what he's doing. But hey, the man of many, the man of many names. But that's okay. He was uh, telling me the, this morning that he had a, a big night last night, and he's not feeling super fresh. But uh, he's made it to this point but in the this bracket. This is where I feel, this is where John shines, though. Yeah, definitely. Comes a through. John that's actually feeling good is a John that you can beat. A John that's uh, recovering. He's definitely more dangerous when he's feeling under the weather, for sure. He's uh, primed for making an upset, I feel. Can he do it? I think he can. Absolutely he can. Toon Link can be annoying, an annoying character to deal with as well, so uh, we'll have to wait and see. I don't, um, I'm not too sure what uh, character X is going to play, but maybe... I would say I, I didn't, I'm expecting Wolf. Wolf? Yeah. I can see Game Watch coming out. Against Toon Link? Yeah. I can see it. But I guess we'll wait and see. I'm not quite sure who, had, who he's been playing most weekend, but... I would put my money on Wolf, but... Let's wait and see. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fair Whoa. enough. You're too good, man. You're just too good. I don't know what to say. I just got the... I just got the vision. That's alright. I feel like... I don't know. I don't think John likes work that much either, so this might be hard. But we'll see. The character is... Oh yeah, sick. Just waiting out. Okay. Alright, drawing first Four blood. Out. Punishing the nair. Oh, catching the double jump. Yeah. Oh, she will. will it's very, very, very safe. So it's, kind of, it's definitely looking like it's hard for to make this sort of really it's punish any of all things. Yeah. It's got enough air drift to navigate those projectiles. 
So um, that's going to be doing him a lot of favors. A, uh, and a reflector is going to help him out. Yeah, the threat right. is always there. We may not see it come out, but John obviously being very has to be aware of that. Yeah. Can't just throw him out haphazardly. Uh, just throws, uh, gets the up smash, yep. Alright. Good start here for extra. Good. Yeah, I was gonna say, John having a bit of trouble getting off the platform, but uh, gets out pretty easily after all. Alright, okay. off stage. the grab. Returning to ring, not gonna help. Oh, that would have been a jab reset if he had it gone for a beating believe. Yeah, X-Wing's doing a very good job of avoiding all the projectiles. Nice spot yeah, though. Yep, yeah, stop. get him off stage. Oh, he can't be too close to the ledge like that. Oh, this is tough now. Yeah. That was a really nice uh, little edge guard there. Nice, nice little uh, catch there. Okay, he gets the boomerang, but doesn't really get much off of it. Double John needs oh, the triple dash attack. Yeah. Getting the feeling like John's getting uh, make a little bit too much space here. Um. Yeah, but I guess it's kind of hard. Like, Toon Link, you kind of want to set up with your projectiles. Yeah, like, of course. You can obviously play the close range sort of game, but I feel like it's much harder. Uh, that was a, a very aggressive uh, up there. I think he's... Yeah. That was unnecessary. I don't think he was making that bad. I think he was. You reckon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's always better to be safe regardless of if you think he's making it back or not. Just in case. That was a, that was a grim game. Get him out of here. Poor John. Yeah, drink that energy, mate. Drink your energy. Want to... Just to reset himself, you know. Just, uh... See if he can make a better, better fist of this game. I think so. Battlefield's a nice pick. I yeah. Although just extra opening up with the the fair fair, and then gets an up air as well. Oh, back here whipping. Sixty-two percent unanswered here. Seventy-one, mind you. Never mind. It's just racking up. Ninety-four. John can't breathe. Jab in your face. Right. That's not gonna work. Okay, finally gets a lens hit here. Oh, that's a lot of that was a, a an anti up here. That's all right. I think John needs to play his uh, his mode where he just decides to not get hit, which is a, a legitimate thing. Yep. But uh, extra. Ha oh, he misses the tech though. I think Bomb is not going to save him. Unfortunately. Yeah. That's not going to do it, but that's nice damage. That's good damage, you go for it. Oh, oh that could be big. That's nice. a nice grab. Okay, John is uh, racking this damage back up again. All right. Oh, that almost. Been so clean. That forward air, I think he, uh, he didn't want that. Oh, he didn't go for it down there, which is fair. He wants this grab, that's not going to do it, it's going to send the wrong way. Can you reverse the turn like up when it's grounded? I surely you can. Oh well, anyway, gets the uh, the back hit of the uh, the forward tilt, which sends that ridiculous angle. So after that really rough, rough start for Johnny's, uh, certainly brought this game back. Okay. Uh, oh, that's nice. And Good there he damage. is. And now he's taking the lead. That was uh, interesting. Questionable, yeah. but it's okay. Got away with it though. Yeah, the, oh, the narrow chill is very hard to punish. Oh, okay. Actually, that's another thing as well. Oh, catches the side beat. The forward tilt kind of ruins the spacey recovery, right? Because yes, that's just, it sends it like a stupid angle when it intercepts most of it. 
Okay, Bob oh, saving him there. And he gets the up air. Now John with the lead. John with the lead. This is very important. It's like a different curve. It's a diff different, uh, different game playing against uh, John Bombo with a with a lead. Because now you have to you have to be the sort of aggressor here. And this is where he starts to sort of pelting you with uh, all the projectiles. This kill. I don't yet. think so. Not yet. He's a bit of rage. Goes for the damage. Nice bomb to cover himself there. Oh, oh the back hit up. of the up tilt. Okay. Alright. Extra with a new lease on life. Stuffing out the up smash. Extra's so good at pressuring people on the platforms. Yeah, definitely. That's fantastic. I love to see that. Okay. Get the Zare, Boomerang, 4 there. That's nice. good damage, he's off stage. Nice uh, aggressive recovery. Oh, I guess the F smash, and that's it. That's just, did he air dodge there? I think, I think extra air I, dodge I think, I think so, yeah. Air dodge back. But uh, there you go, see you uh, brushing off that uh, that free stock to take, a, take game two, which is uh, what, always a good way to get yourself into the set. Good time to, to give you a bit of a... A break, relax, get your head together. Yeah, get your confidence back into the well, game. You know. We're now playing at best of three. Yeah, so. exactly, right. You can you brushed off the game one. You know your confidence is back up. Because not only you know you got three stock game one, but also extra took a very very strong lead at the start of that game too. I think this situation can be is, is always very relieving, evening it up, know, knowing that you can um, knowing that you take the game. All you need to do is do it uh, do it another. Times. Yeah, exactly. Just take your take your spots when you can, you know. Mm. Minimize the, uh, make the goals a bit smaller. And you work with that. Yep. Don't get into the mindset of I need to win this set. Just win the next game. Oh, John put himself in a really bad spot there for yeah. that reverse boomerang. The bomb will will save him though. Never mind. It makes it back regardless. Oh, that was a little questionable down air, but he's living. I understand it. Oh, that was almost something really nice. I love these jump air dodges that John does. It's like really hard to punish because, especially when he has a bomb, because he can. If you go to try and chase him to cover it, the bomb will just you'll just throw pick the bomb at yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, I guess they're a reflector. Yeah. yeah Extra la almost converting off the bomb, but finds the the landing of the upside. Yeah, John landing on him a bit too a bit too much there. Mm. Dash attack F2, big damage. Almost gets an extension off the platform there as well. Oh, that was a very saucy, uh, some, uh, very close call. Yeah, John having trouble sort of getting in here. Uh, I don't think, uh, the flat stage probably not really helping him out too much here. That little Zed, he poke him away. Oh, X was chasing hard here. Yeah. That put so, putting so much pressure on him, but John finding the bomb fair. Yeah, the bomb to fair, the, the tried and true. He's got him through a lot of tough times. Maybe get a bit of damage here. It's not a not an unsurmountable uh, lead, a uh, deficit, sorry. Well, let's see how much extra credit he can get himself. He's still living, 170. Yeah. Oh, very nice there. roll. Yeah, getting away from that. That back in, back throw. Not going to take it. Yet. Platforms are coming back. Yeah, soft nair though. You're at two hundred percent, mate. That's uh, understandable. That looked like almost something there, but nothing yeah. really happened. But that's okay. It's got extra layer. I love in the, the shield corner here. From John there. Yeah, it's really nice. Don untouched, never mind. Okay, come and take the curse, of course. Alright, I'll up here. Struggle is continuing. Oh, this is the John Ruff stage, we had a jump. 
Oh, oh. just waits for the landing. I like the patience, but I think he needed to just send it there. Not much really, okay, on stage. John getting himself in the air a little bit too much. Bomb's gonna explode soon. Oh, it's gonna be hard. Doesn't get the forward tilt this time, but gets the grab off stage. Okay, and again, get off stage and go again. It's a bit slow to pull the, the bomb on that then. Oh, to throw the bomb on that, sorry. Nah, no back, uh, no no back, back rolls. Roll. Nick not going to give it to you. And dash attack takes it. Damn. Game three. Yeah. Both, three both players kind of uh, adjusting to the uh, the last game pretty well here. Mm. I really want to see a game five. Another one. I want to see another game five. Another one, mate. Absolutely. Just for our boy. Oh, 100%. He's, he's, I think he's uh, smartly banned Battlefield this time around. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not letting him have all, all the all the platforms. <coughs> and after some deliberation, we've reached PS2. The subject for a bit of conjecture over the weekend with uh, various Snake players having a bit of an advantage here with the, the darker stage here, but... Uh, oh, they have... <laughs> Bloody red light on it. They can on the grenades. On the uh, on the grenades and on the C4s. Are oh, the C4s Go. have the glowing light? Though. Yeah, and the C4 does, but it goes off after a while, mate. Anyway, that's okay. Anyway, well, we like Snake. We buff Snake. We buff Snake, do we? Yeah. That's that's very silly. We don't buff Snake. Stuff that. Anyway, John with a with a bit of a lead here. This. Got off the platform into the laser. Oh. Double fair. I want to... Okay, yep, nice. Just rolls on and rolls back instantly. Yeah, nice reflecting. Oh, oh the no. double bombs. Here we go. Is that going to... Not quite. Not quite going to do it yet. That's low damage. Oh, the boomerang barely missing. Nice oh. roll away. Just missing that though. Oh, forward tilt, setting it a rough idea. angle. I wonder if I tilt up. Never mind, guess the up air. Okay, here All we right. go. John with the lead. As the set has gone the entire way so far. Back and forth. Yeah, that's a reflect. Oh, just one, just one back here. That doesn't want to extend too much. Okay, double that reflect. I don't know that how was, that happened. That was very strange, yeah. I like how he's part John sort of not like over committing. He's just sort of oh the double up. Yeah, yeah, he's never he's never really a lot of a lot of Toon Links will do the down throw into the down throw bomb into up air. Yeah. Immediately. He's waiting, he's trying to follow me. Right? Yeah, this game in anyway, specifically. Because uh he's Yeah, right he's kinda getting an up air and he's sort of yep. Yeah. Yeah, so he's kinda just like gets the double back air, then backs away, goes for a boomerang instead, instead of trying to follow him even harder. That boomerang, yep, that grab was a bait. The boomerang. Oh, avoids the boomerang. Yeah, yeah. He was hoping to convert off the boomerang here. That was a, a, a stretch, but uh, doesn't really get much out of it. Or Good problem. roll. That gets away from the grab. Good. John playing. Oh, he could have. He could have got like a maybe a little bit of a reset there, but. All right. Okay. All right. Gets in there. That's gonna happen. High percent. That's all right. You gotta take it. Has an entire stock to work with, so. Looks like we're gonna be getting another game five. Two in a row. Love to see it. Don't speak too soon. That's very true. It's not yet. Not yet. He's looking for his four tilts. We all want to see it. John. Can't tell oh, yeah, too hard. He's chipping away bit by bit extra here. And if uh, if he takes the stock, it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of stress here for John. Four yeah, tilt though. Four tilt. Gonna take it. And we got another game five. We got a game five situation. We got. <laughs> uh, look, phenomenal game. Um, yeah, John found the answer. But he did. Now we have to 
see if uh, Extra's going to be doing a little bit of adaptation of his own. Um, I wonder if uh, I wonder if John's banned uh, Town and City this time around because uh, the flatter stages haven't really worked out in his favour too well. Never mind, he's gone FD. I I know I know that Toon Links do like FD, but uh, I feel like they've not really worked out in uh, in John's favour so far this set. But we'll see. Game five, Have anything? We played on FD. I don't believe so. I don't think we played yet on FD. Um, but Town and City is basically just like an FD sort of thing, right? It makes enough of a difference, but like the platforms do make a difference. They do, they absolutely do, but enough of the time it's kind of just like a big, big, big sort of flat stage, but uh. Oh, they've traded. Okay, gets the first. Yeah. Okay, doesn't get much out of that combo there. I feel like at previous games, X just sort of be getting a bit more off of those little hits there. Oh, uh, shield grabbing is a grab though. Yeah, up here. Oh, catch. No jump. the back here. Oh, okay. I was, I was expecting a reverse up B, but it probably would have died from it. So, X is being very patient when the bomb hits a shield. He's like waiting in shield afterwards as well because yeah. he knows John's kind of following up, waiting for like. He's giving John respect at the right moment. Yeah, definitely. He's, uh, he's yeah, waiting for him at the perfect times. Oh. Oh, no. catching the jump again with the up air. Ah, that was not a good pump pull there. He's in well with disadvantage and he tried to pull. And again, but he gets away with this time. So I feel like there's sometimes, that's like the one thing John does do sometimes. He pulls the bomb in probably not the best time. Like, there's a, before he could have maybe got like a fair or something, but he does like to pull a bomb. Or in disadvantage, he'll pull on, but Dream Rank Fair takes a stop. He pulls a bomb a lot in disadvantage to try and reverse it, but then he en it ends up happening to him. Yeah, definitely. But it does work out for him quite often, so I guess you gotta trust the process, mate. With each and every time he does it, though, he's learning. Um, and that's all part of the game. The double drum, mate. Oh, oh the he waited. Reflector. That was nice. Surprise, extra dropped it, though. Nice, waited away from the up smash. Nice save, Zez. It's a grab, four throw. Lots of things from Wolf Gilby. Oh, he's, oh, he could have got it. There. Oh, that was clean. Almost. That was good. Exactly what John needed. Oh my god, he gets nice. the. Nice. There we go. John basically stealing that stock. It was looking nice. pretty grim for him up until that point. Yeah. Ah, you can't hold the ledge for that long at that percent, mate. The next row was ready for it. Up tilt. Ah. needs to... So he didn't let that uh, early stock bother him. He's uh, piled up here. more of the pressure here. Countless games. Giving him the stoicism Ooh, to keep up going. Oh, up B punished out of shield. Yep. Haven't seen that one the whole set so far. Up tilt up here. He's getting very, very tight. Oh, see that bomb there? He could have... Yeah. yeah. Okay, back air. He's got See, he could have maybe even covered that jump head or gin, but he decided to pull a bomb. I guess it's what, it, like, his game plan does revolve around the bombs, but there are times where he probably. Oh, nice. Just giving away the back air. Nutri got up, gets grabbed for it. He's got the bomb. He's fine. Can edge guard? Yeah, he gets edge guarded. Bomb doesn't quite save him. Well, there you go. It was very, a, very well played. A tight set, though. Very well played. Yeah, absolutely. You gotta give it to him. Yeah, for sure. He, uh, he, you know, had the composure. You know, he didn't, didn't overcomplicate things. He just, you know, ran off an air a couple of times. That's all he needed to do. He has a very simple game plan. Always has. Yeah, hundred. I mean, it works. Simple. The simpler, the better. If it works, you know. Hundred percent. Who are we going to see next, I wonder? Oh, it's looking like we've got uh, the Duan Buddy. coming up. So, perhaps... Ah, I don't know who he's playing, actually. I don't know whose opponent is. I should get bracket up on my phone. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, it's Con Gaming. Oh, here we go. All right. Duan and Con. Interesting. Yes, because uh, Con beat Rebs. He did. He did. And uh, Duan beating Jamie as well. There's been a while since those sets have uh, taken place as well, so mm. I wonder uh, I wonder if they've been uh, still warm. But Con is uh, in classic Con fashion, nowhere to be seen when he's needed the most. But that's okay. All right, we'll hang tight. We'll uh, locate Con. It's probably somewhere like just oblivious to the world in the situation. Hang on, I got something. I got something. You're gonna call Con, are ya? Get this man. He doesn't have his phone on him, I betcha. It's not happening, mate. It's not The person you are calling is not available. <laughs> Of that's course on, it's not! That's on brand, Of eh? course he's not! That is on brand. He's he, not answering! He's, uh, he's vanished, mate. Oh, well. I tried. It was worth the shot. It was, but we all knew the result. We all knew what was going to happen. Yeah, he'll call me. He'll call you mid-game. No, he won't, because <laughs> he'll be playing. <laughs> I think he has before. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> he has before. Far out. But, uh, yeah, anyway. I don't know. This is going to be interesting. What do you want to see, do you reckon? Do you reckon probably Fox, Fal Ditto? Fox Falco? Fox Falco or a Fox Ditto. I think um, I think he lost to Jason the last time they played, and they played a, they played Fox Falco. Um, oh, here I'm, he is. Here he is. Look at, look at this man. He's rushed here. That's all right. The, le the less time he has to think about the game is probably better. Look at him. Look at this, look at this smug guy. Look at him. This guy. He has no idea what's look going on. Look at him, on. look at him. He has no idea He's what's just going here on, to right. play the game. He doesn't know. He's alright. <laughs> Nothing hate, but smash he, on his mind. I hate that he's so good as well. Because he's so... <laughs> he's, he can be so silly, but he's so good at the game. Uh, but you can't hate him. No, absolutely It's impossible. Not. No, he's, it's impossible to hate him. He's too lovable. Is this, actually, is this yours, by the way? It, is, it might be mine. You're kidding me. Yeah. Unbelievable. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Do you hate me now? No. Oh. Oh, not at all. I would never. Okay. Get out of here. I believe you. Look at this man. Yeah. Oh. I think the funniest thing at Majors is that people come up to me and say, Hey, Con. Oi, I think that's a compliment, though, honestly. Yeah, I'll take it. Alright. Alrighty. But yeah. Yeah, no, that's a compliment, man. I would not be upset by that at no, all. He is a, he's a handsome man. He's, but he's been oh. called Atos before, and I feel like I hate yeah, that. Yeah, see, that that on the reverse <laughs> is nowhere near as, like, good. No offense. I'm just con with a bigger nose. <laughs> That's fine. You know what they say about people with big noses, though? They can... They have big noses. Yes. And they... You'd be like, mate, you got, smell. You, got a, you got a big nose. <laughs> they smell. <laughs> they smell. Exactly. Big tissues, big hankies. And other various big objects. But anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Oh uh, yes, enough of big objects. Let's focus on big cheese. Hey, you what see a what I did there? What a segue. <laughs> you couldn't ask for anything better, to be honest. Yeah, I'm so good at this, I might quit my day job. No, don't do that. Yeah, that'd probably be ill advised. Oh do, you do you, I don't care. You can you can do whatever you want, honestly. Uh, uh, no. So how good is this this, this weekend been though? It's definitely, I've been, been saying to so many people, it's like, definitely got the big convention vibes going on. Like, you got like, free play arcade games around the corner, Artist Alley. Oh, I think, I, I see a question like, in the chat. Bags. What's the white patch on Ados' right arm? Alright, for those of you who don't know, I'll, I'll go, I'll give you a quick rundown. I'm a type 1 diabetic. I have to check my <laughs> sugars. Nah, this tells me what it is. But as well, if I beat people in money matches, it takes pay away. Is that just so. like a continuous, like, prick to the arm? No, it's a uh, needle goes in, puts a plastic probe in, comes out, yeah. and uh, you don't feel it. Yeah, no, that's and fine. Uh, it's constantly monitoring. So that's good. Yeah, and I, and it, it's connected to my phone, and it will tell me uh, what's going on. I don't have any notifications, so it's all good. That's what you like to hear. But uh, P 
Peter, oh, I had, oh, spot butted you are. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> hey, mate, you're not killing anybody. Screw up. <laughs> Look at him. Peter, you're the Mario to Cons Luigi. Oh, I think that's the other way around, my friend. I don't know where you got that information. <laughs> <laughs> Peter has, Peter has never been a Mario in I've his life. I've never been. A, actually, I read that as me being the Luigi. Yeah, that's no, mate. Maybe, maybe. No, I'll take that then. No, thanks. Peter man. is definitely like a toad in this situation. That's where Peter gets. His anyway, head. grow up. We got Everybody's a game. just talking about me. Everyone, grow up. We got a game here. We got, we got the Falco coming out like you, like you suggested yeah. would happen. Well, Connor's made it very apparent to people that he does not like this matchup, and I think Jason. I don't know if Jason knows about that. Oh, I feel like I think Falco actually does kind of win this matchup. Yeah, we can just sort of hit Fox in the air, which is like where he's most vulnerable, right? And, there's a lot more margin. See, I don't, what, what, a lot more margin for error. What, what is Con trying to reflect there? I don't understand. Because he can react to Falco laser, and he's, he's just like just throwing it out preemptively for some reason. It may have been a stall, I want to say. That is, a, that is not a. That is a very high recovery here. Okay, gets back though. Did that poke, you reckon, or did he let go? That was a nice recovery though. Alright. Falco up, smash, scoop. Oh, yeah. Pretty standard stuff. Oh yeah. I'm Dash very attack curious. and jump Edo's back in. Nice coverage on the platform with the up two. I feel like the other Fal the Falco combos would be a little bit harder to hit on the Fox though, right? Because of the frame two air dodge. Um, is it a little bit? Is it a little bit like quicker to fall as well? Like yeah. Oh, there are some combos that really mess Fox up, but you can't. But they're not the same. Oh my oh. god. Mm, there you go. This I don't man, know if that was real, but this, like this man, this man vanished, bro. It took the stock and it took it quick. Uh, very well spaced down in on that. There you go. Yep. He's ready for that one. He learned that one from me. Oh, now he's parrying. Down to yeah, well, There's not much that Falco can do against the Fox of parrying everything, but that's the that's the crux of the matchup. All right. Yep. Fair from ledge. Very nice. Up till. Yep, down okay. I think he was looking for a uh, a landing on the platform, but Dylan was very aggressive, which was uh, what he wanted. Uh, Nair up smash. This has, right. been, this has been a very, very like, very aggressive game. It's good to see. Like very fast paced. Like lots of uh, lots of people just like going at it. Just a lot of moves being thrown out. Oh, uh, here we go. Okay, shields the whole thing this time. I don't want to see Con getting there. hit by the landing hitbox of Fair ever. He knows better. Yeah, he does, but he'll, he'll he'll get hit by it at least one more time. This game. Okay. Back air. Okay, this that, is that ain't killing, it never does. Now watch it kill now though. He's stale, there's no way. Ah, oh, that was always gonna be a rollback. Okay. Alright, uh, get off ledge. I like the positioning here, yeah. There you go. What I tell you. Oh come on, he pummeled him like six thousand. I don't times. care, I said watch back air kill. And there it is. Nah, that's not what I can't see. Shake game one to Fox. Get away from me. That was a very, very good game. High paced. Very intense. I think ga getting game one for Con is always like a huge thing. Because I feel like if he gets like, drops a game, maybe like gets behind a little bit, mm. his confidence can, can kind of wane a little bit, kind of gets yeah. down on himself, he doesn't play as like confidently. So, Confident uh, Con is always going to be someone who's not going to make mistakes. No, when he's feeling right. himself. He's going to. He, he executes perfectly. Yeah, he's which is what you need with Fox. But it, re but the other side of the coin can really put him, um, can really bring him down. Yeah, absolutely. So like, he's, he's like the diff He's like such a polarizing player because like the the difference between his absolute best and absolute worst is like, it's like. The biggest I've seen in like a, a top player, quote unquote top player. He's like, unfortunately, he's like has the potential to top eight majors, but he just hasn't put it together yet. But also can drown at majors like he's like very very com like very commonly basically. Yeah. Very very chaotic sort of player. Yeah, hundred percent. But it looks from what I've seen today, he looks like he's uh oh, he's raring to go. I, oh, good conversion there. Oh. We hate that. That is unfortunate. That is the worst. That's something that should snap ledge, but 
unfortunately. You have to angle it ever so slightly. Yeah, yeah. It's not happening. I guess, you know, it's like the, the bane because considering how good Falco's like sick double jump is, the up B just isn't quite that, you know. It's, it's quite not that good. <laughs> Con, this is the point where Con's going to run away with it. He should, theoretically. He's, he's, he's racking up the damage though, which is what you want to do. Set up for an edge guard. Not quiet. Oh, he's snapping to ledge with the, up beat, the side beats as well, which is good. That's always a good sign. Yep. Barely missing the frame trap. Cox falling a little bit too fast. That's the other thing about this matchup. Um, uh, Con, like, Fox always hitting the ground before you do if you whiff anything. And he can mess you, and Fox can mess a Falco up. Yeah. Uh, for that very thing. But you know, despite that uh, that early SD there from, from Duan, the, uh, you know, that's like what? Never mind, he gets the up smash. <laughs> I was going to say 100%, that's probably what, like three Falco combos pretty well, maybe two if you get the real, real, the real saucy ones. But uh, indeed, okay. he's still, he's still uh, got the combo going. You know, it's not out of it by all means. Do you want, uh, do you want uh, throwing a little bit of buttons out? Yeah, he's probably up, up, up to it, the ledge probably kills. Never mind, that's probably going to do it. Yeah, yeah. Do it. And just like that, even game. A very aggressive up airs, though. Another one, yeah, that's four in a row. Keeps oh, going. Goes for the trade. That's and another so risky, one. Though. This is all up airs. And another one. I'll do it again. Ah! Someone There's no chance. Stop oh. this man. Oh my god. You get the soft spot. That's not. Mate. That was the dumbest last luck I've ever seen. He up aired him seven times. Oh. Pretty sure. And then he up smashed twice. Even Con is like, you know, it's like, man, that was dumb. <laughs> he's shaking his head like, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, he's, he's not sorry. He just knows how oh, no. it was. But nah, you know, he's in disbelief that Fox is so broken. <laughs> Look at him! Don't shake your head, man. You won the game. Well, yeah, exactly. But like, you know, or he's thinking, no, 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 I ain't losing this now. But I mean, oh, realistic, like, despite the uh, the early SD for Dawn, he uh, he had it last stock and even percents. So, you know, it's take nothing away. even because I mean, one combo and he's already. Well, it was it was one essentially one combo was the difference in that that game, and an SD. You know, so there's a then there would be no need to be too down on yourself for that Absolutely. one. Absolutely. I wonder if we'll see a swap though. I don't think so, but because I feel like, well, what do you play, Diddy Kong? It's probably not a good pick. But who knows? Okay. And we Diddy see it. Kong. See, Fox. This is see. This is risky because Fox has the potential to Fox. just absolutely mess up a Diddy Kong, but at the same time. If if you're if you're very careful, you can make it really tough for Fox. It's, it's yeah. I feel like this is gonna go really heavy one way or the other. But we'll see. Right. An even right. start. Gone off stage. Yeah, gone to stage. Nice. You probably want to pull a banana there. That's okay. Yep, gets his bananas. It's, it's kind of hard to hit Fox with a banana, I feel like, sometimes. It's quicker than Just you. Just because he has a lot of safe aerials and he's very quick. And the reflector as a well. A lot of the time outruns the banana. Yeah. Too. You just gotta... Yeah. Just, yeah, but he's putting a lot of good pressure on here, though. Yep, and that's that's the that's the Fox killer. Yeah. That side beat the ledge is pretty well free against spaces. The side... The uh, four tilt. My bad, sorry. But yeah, this is this is where it's rough, because Fox can chase you. Oh, he's kicked off stage. You just make it back to safely. Uh, I like the attempt on the down air. Probably wouldn't have killed him, right? Uh, no. This is good though. Uh, this is, uh, he's playing very well here. Yeah, he's doing the work. This is the fair. Oh, I feel like nice I feel there. like Con hasn't really settled into this matchup just yet. But well, once he does, okay, he's fine. I don't know what that reflector was for. Maybe he's waiting for banana, but there he goes. Banana up smash. He had his finger on the trigger the moment before he even had the banana. Getting a lot out of these dash attacks. Con is very good at catching banana as well. And again, another dash attack. Just waits for the option. 
Yep. Forward Jason tilt. getting a lot of yeah. attack landings. That's perfect edge guarding right there. Jarkon putting himself in a really bad spot there, but nothing comes from it. Oh, nice little, nice little string there. Grabs the, grabs the nair. Jason really putting work into the uh, into his movement. A lot of these mix-ups are actually proving quite uh, helpful. Obviously, something Kako is very good at. Yep. I like this banana use. Oh, okay. oh I, li I love that idea. I don't know if that's exactly what he's after, but it almost turned out to be something really nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice back air. Yeah. That was a strong game for doing there. Mm. See, I feel like it's just one of those matchups where both characters just kind of dick on each other. Kind of hard. I don't think I've ever seen a Fox Diddy Kong at our level be like a cl too close, I suppose. Mm. They're, always, they're always a very one-sided sort of matchup. Usually, yeah, but... I mean, that's from my experience against Khan. He normally just sticks on me, though, to be fair, but that's okay. Dad, don't say that. You've beaten Khan before. Did I you have. Beat him? Did you beat him uh, last week? Exactly one time, my friend. I don't, know, I don't think that counts exactly. Hey, yeah, man, that was the last year. That was a year ago. Almost. And that was, and that was the best time to do it. Hey, you don't, you're not wrong. Now, do you think Khan is going to make the right adjustments? Oh... Uh, yeah, yeah. I have faith. I have faith in the boy. I want to say he can do it. Ooh, I haven't heard this in a little while. Stop the battle. Diddy Kong. This is a jam. I'm a big fan of this song. Yeah, hundred percent. Box. All right. Game four. Yes. 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 Do one if we get three game three, get three game fives in a row. That'd be crazy. Okay. I do like Duan is getting a lot out of these dash attacks, which is really good. Because it's like just such a free follow up basically. Just you want unanswered. Yeah. 63. See now, okay, misses that four tilt. Okay, this is a tough Oh yeah. no. I was gonna say that was a tough spot for, for Fox there. Nice catch. That peanut was interesting. Forward throw, sure. That's not gonna do it. I'm gonna take it yet, mate. That was kind of like the perfect place to throw the banana there as well. Yeah. Okay, he avoids the monkey flip and gets the back arrow and the double jump back. Alright. I'm not letting that SD get to him. Nice, aggressive uh, return to stage here. Yep, gets the uh, four tilt. Okay, avoids the right. forward air. Yeah, the good, uh, the nice drift on that. Dog, the. Just forward smashing he one over right. and hit him in the and got hit for it. Just the one laser. I don't know if uh, he's not really hitting that one though, unfortunately. Might be a bit harder. Oh, that air dodge was a bit scary. Yeah, oh, was uh, how did he just attack that one? No. Oh, forward air. Seen some. That's it. That's a long way to be doing that, my friend. He was. Uh, that, I saw some moves being thrown out there. They're fighting their demons. Oh, just a little bit off with that, that grab there. He's waiting for the monkey flips now, which is kind of nice, but he's not really punishing it at all. It's kind of just sort of staying like a three-quarter stage away from him. See, he probably could have punished a little bit harder there, but he just sort of, I don't know. He's a bit, he's a bit sort of hesitant, I feel like. Oh. 
Yeah, he's in a hard, awkward spot here. Some, okay, got hard recovery, but he still gets forward tilted. And again, he's gonna get forward tilted okay, every he, time. He, get, he gets on the stage here. That's dead. Yep. All right, now, Con, are you gonna hit him with seven up airs again? Let's see what happens. Okay, he almost, he waited for it, which is nice. Okay. This is hard, this is this is where it's rough for Diddy Kong. Where it gets in. When you're in disadvantage here against Fox. But he lands, he's safe One now. little interaction and he's evened it up. That's not quite. Not quite. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's brought him so far back. No! You have no business being up there. Oh my god. Yeah. That was so Unfortunately, down air is in not... In a blink of an eye. He just took the stock like that. Because uh, I think he just believed that the banana yeah. was going to hit. Unfortunately. I've, I've never seen the letter rip so quickly. That, that might have been the fastest. Because even, even if seen, he was a yeah. bit slow with it, I'm pretty sure the, the smash attack would have just won. Yeah. The Diddy Kong one. But uh, nevertheless, Con... Uh, Con uh, he definitely brought it back, so I'd say he clutched it. But in a, very, a bit of a silly way. But mm. that's okay. So we got Newt and Luma, Newt I and Luma. believe, next. Yeah. And then I believe that, uh, that's our commentary uh, stint finished with. I think we're commentating this one, and yes. then we're off. Yep, one more. This will La be the last, the last one, one You hungry? Uh, I'm hungry. I mean, I could eat. I'm hungry. I don't, know if I, wouldn't, I don't know if I'd say I'm hungry, but I could eat. I can always eat, hey. but I'm hungry. Yeah. You know? Yes. 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 Wonder if we'll see the Palu today. If Nu if Nu takes a game, I reckon we will. I feel like Lu Luma will probably start with the brawler, but we shall see. I think so. Brawler. Crack character. They're both crack characters. We got WA in the chat. Written for their book. Master versus student. True. Oh, because originally both from Tasmania as well. Yeah. Of course. How could we forget? Oh, I do forget that a lot, actually. Well, I think a lot of players have moved around the it's place. It's been a you? while since I think they were both in Tasmania. And I don't remember... I don't know how long Luma was still in Tasmania when it was come up and coming as well. Mm. But... I'm sure that there was at some point where they uh, correlated. Okay, so it looks like Luma is going to play Brawler here. Now, I don't know how stage fans go with this matchup. Uh, I feel like we're probably just going to see Battlefield the entire time, to be honest. Because I think it's most probably they both want to go there. Mm. More uh, more so probably Brawler, but I think Pelu oh, does probably very well. Yeah. I think I think Pelu likes town a bit more, but I don't, I don't see a world where mm. Luma will let Pelu go to town. We love Magic Carp Festival. Alrighty. This will be interesting. Game one underway. I haven't seen this matchup in a hot minute, so we shall see. Let's get into it. Who's drawing first blood? Yeah. I'll be out of shield. What's the safe area was being thrown out here? The side B is going to put a lot of work in. I love the, uh, the teleport cancels. They're so satisfying to watch. Okay, avoids the side B there very nicely. Nice shield damage. Shield pressure, sorry. 
Oh, that could have up too. Stop it. That would have uh, been the stock. No, okay, good. Uh, good down B recovery. Just kind of pulls That's gonna it take the first stock. Yeah. Strong start for Luma. Okay, wait for that. Gets a grab. Just off stage. Oh, that's another thing. I wonder if um, I feel like the up B is gonna interrupt the the down tilt catch on the ledge as well. It's gonna make that kind of hard for Newt. Because I know he really likes the uh, the down tilt to back air kill confirm at the ledge. Yeah. I think lots of up airs. Oh, yep. catching it. You should get up. That was a jump up thing. That's it. Okay. I couldn't quite follow it, but whatever it was, ended that stuff. Regardless, though, yeah, got a kill. That's all that matters, I suppose, eh? Uh, I guess the Nair's going. How many are we going to see? Okay. Only, uh, only three. That's all right. Didn't quite catch the second place. That's all right. Nice come on. Oh, almost. Gets down up here. That guys are very close, but just just losing here. All right. Luma with a little bit of an edge here. Oh, goes for a, a bit of a bit of a bit of a read on the landing there, but doesn't get it. Okay, up airs. Yeah, uh, good nice. shot. very punishable. Alright, one there. Yeah. Doesn't get a second. That was good, just trying to poke the shield back away and then came back in with the back air. Oh, unlucky, gets the poke. Double up here. Okay, Edo just through. Oh, okay, Ed. The eyes away, which is very smart. I feel like if uh, Luma got another one, that was probably dead. Oof, nice spot dodge. That might have oh, killed, actually. Yeah, no, I, I could definitely see that. Oh, I, I guess that's that down to a catch. I really like that effort, because I reckon that'll, uh, that'll definitely catch the uh, the teleport recovery. That was nice. The point blank auto reticle was uh, not, uh, not an ideal choice there. Play back to Battlefield. Nothing, nothing. I feel like we're just going to be Battlefield the whole set. Mostly. Here we go. Yep. Back on it. Stop battle. Omutena, B Brawler. Sing. Three, two, one, go. A little bit of faith in I think he can do it. Yeah. Ah, I'm lucky with the, uh, doesn't get the, um, the fast forward for the back air. Brawler just rocks up damage, like, just so quickly. The catches the recovery, uh, the cancel. And, and that, up I air. spoke too soon. Yeah, so up air, up air, up air. Stock, yeah. That's just the jab on the, uh, the... Oh, that was weird. Oh, that was saucy. Doesn't get it though, unfortunately. Oh, the... Nice. Up Bring that it really back, nice. alright. That move is so strong. Oh, yeah. Okay. Double fair. Oh, the grab. I love that explosive flame to cover the recovery. It was really nice. Just makes it so you can't... It made, made that landing so much more safe. It's landing safe, and then you couldn't really get trapped as well, which is nice. Because no... Oh, is that, that's, that's so unfortunate, it. because you know that Luma had no jump, so you wanted to take advantage of it, but uh, Luma uh, very smartly just threw out the... Uh, I think that's the neutral B, right? The the punch? Yes. It yes, is, right. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, yep, gets it back air. Yeah, he's, he's having, you can't really go for the down tilt, which is uh, really helping out Luma in this matchup. Oh, okay, re grab ledge. Oh, okay, never mind. Lingering hitbox, taking it. Yeah, I was gonna say, it doesn't punish the regrab, but uh, gets the up smash on the neutral neutral get up. Oh, here we go, it all starts here. Uh, avoids the, avoids the, uh, the up E. Okay, what can Luma do now? Alright, 39%. Okay. That net just powered through it. Oh, alright. This is a nice little comeback here from Newt. Oh, barely missing the, the flip kip. Kind of whipping here, the Nair, dash attack, this is close, last hit, up B. Nice! Ah, up smash, yeah. Uh, I said up B, I mean up smash. But anyway, it doesn't matter, it'll work. I think that was, did I say it no. or did you say it? No, I said up B, but that would have been very silly because up B would do absolutely nothing in that situation. But that's okay, it all worked out. I'm sure he would have figured something out if he up B'd there. Would have just maybe followed where he went and just, I don't know, hit him with something else. Anyway, game three. <laughs> Stop battle. B roller. We, got, we had some pretty nice, nice fights, close we sets so far. Of, yeah. uh, all game fives. No, well. no, Conda one was game four. Oh, game, okay. But it was last hit, it was the last hit game four. Yes, no, it was very right. close to a game five. This one's shaping up to be a potential another game five as well. Maybe with a, a strong opening here. Alright, gets a side B. Doesn't go for another one. Up. Is that gonna be a stock? Oh, Very close. Was that a bit slow on the up B maybe? Yeah, I think he was. Yeah, I think she definitely could have got it there, but... Anyway, takes that with the back air. Catches the, uh, bit of the, uh, maybe it was a bit of a, a lazy sort of recovery there from Mook, but, uh... Alright, grab. Oh, it doesn't catch the neutral get up this time, but... Ooh. Oh. I think if she, if Nui had a full hop, that up air probably would have worked, actually, but... Anyway. Oh, oh that's, that's, dead. That's, that's dead. That's dead. No, oh, that's close. That f dash is very strong. That was at 40 as well. That one's... I know. That's such a strong move. Nair takes Nair it. Taking it. Haven't seen that for a long time. But 168, I guess, would make sense. I do like how uh, Luma is being very evasive, though. Just like kind of jumping all over the platforms, you know, making full use of that. Getting past that uh, very active ledge trapping. Interesting up here. Okay, flip kick. Almost oh, gonna kill across stage. It. Yeah, and yeah, that'll think, take it. I think the active hitboxes just kind of eats the uh, the, rec the teleport recoveries. I feel like. Well, if you keep it, if you time it right, you keep it there. Yeah. They just teleport into the hitbox. Yeah, exactly. But there is a way. Obviously, you can uh, avoid the two frame. You know, if you avoid teleport from above. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, that's okay. I've yet to see that coming out just yet. Like, it's, Newt seems to like uh, the horizontal ones. It's been working out for him for the most part. Alright, up stage. Almost killing. Oh, is it? I'm sensing up, be coming. Oh, dash attack. That's, uh, that was a bit early. I can suspect the eye. Okay, catches the air dodge with the, the nair. Uh, Newt, Newt bringing this back again. Get off stage. Oh, nice air dodge. Very, very, very good. Just a couple good hits. All he needs. Oh, he had to go for, she had to go for the jab reset again. Ok, 
Okay, gets the back air. Rough spot for Luma here. But again, lots of things from Brawler kill here. Except for that, that doesn't kill. Back air though. Guys, and Luma pops off. One more game. She knew that was close. Move it, not very happy about that. But, um, oh, I mean, you know, it's a close game, you know. It's, yeah, if you, you drop shake, a close you game, you kind of just, off. yeah. You just got to shake it off. Just taking a moment to compose themselves. Take their time. You've got all day, my friends. All right. Game four. Three, two, one, go! Okay, goes for the, the instant, uh, instant up B. Oh, that down air would have been so nasty as well. Oh, that was a nah. Uh, I like the attempt, actually. The dash attackers last so long. Oh, nice. Nice way to ca uh, cover your limb. Get back to the legs safely. It's not gonna do it. No, not yet. That one will, though. That will. Strong start for Luma. Oh, barely misses the timing on that forward smash. I feel like Newt's been real close to landing that so many times and has just just been a little bit off, unfortunately. Yeah. Good pressure here from Luma. This is okay. uh, that could have been bad. Alright, grab, gets the grab, gets off stage. Alright, gets the double jump, but uh, doesn't really do much with it. Nice air dodge. Oh, landing up here and rising up. Oh, well, I think she wanted to trump there, but yeah. just misses it. Sometimes it can be such a risky thing to go for if you mess yeah. it up. Because you, you, cause you always know that the, you want to go for a trump because you'll just see the player just like just fast forward straight past ledge. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I think they won. But uh, gets the back air and that will kill. 100% deficit though. It's going to be a, a long hill to climb here. Well, as we always say, not out of the realm of possibility. Okay, 14. Okay, catches the, uh, the Able air. Able to convert off of it too. We like that. Sort of chipping away here. Yep, off stage. Lena's been game, uh, so. mixing up her recovery quite nicely as well, just sort of never really kind of doing the same sort of, you know, doing a flip jump, then using a double jump, and then double jump or flip kicking, like, going to ledge, going under stage sort of thing. That's uh, been quite sure. good, yeah. Sure. Oh, okay. Get, didn't believe in the air dodge, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, the air dodge, in front, air dodge in front of me. Interesting little cross-up. Oh, okay. That was a risky, uh, kind of panic air dodge, but gets away with it and gets a kill. Ah, I didn't believe in the jab, but... Jab for jab. Here we go. Oh, good little whiff punish on that, on that now. This is... Okay. Nice way to cover the ledge with that up there, but... I'm gonna get him a lot off it. That would have been would have been disastrous. Yeah. Oh, almost looking for that back air. Oh. Very close to getting it. Fishing up. for that up B. Wants it real bad. 
and there yeah. it is. Yeah, covers the arrows, and Luma taking that to three one. Beautiful stuff. Yes, very well played. Absolutely, well done. And I think with that, we are now. I think we're done. I think we are done. Yeah, got. Uh, I think I believe it's. Uh, Kutz and Chef uh, jumping on, but I don't see them anywhere, so we'll maybe just hold the fort just for the time being until they get here, but... We'll uh, all right. Looks like we, uh, we get a bit more time here. That's okay, because uh, the, the next commentators... Uh, Doing well in brackets, so uh, the old uh, schedule has been a bit thrown off here, but that's okay. Who have we still got? Are they both in brackets still? I believe they're playing each other right now. <coughs> in losers. That's unbelievable. Hey, they just they build different, mate, I guess. <laughs> Look at Connor. Yeah, but for them to just both be playing each other. No, because I think it's supposed to be Kutz and Chef. Yeah. But uh, Kutz is uh, he's just too good at the game, mate, you know? Kutz is actually... Kinda of insane. Oh yeah, 100%. Look at Con there all the way by him. Just decides to just sit in the middle by himself. Oh, hey Con. Hang on. Nah, I don't wave at him. Fuck him. Anyway, oh, DD heaven. Him. I love Con. He does it to himself, I swear. I'd, like, we, you th it must seem like we're picking on him a bit, but like, <laughs> he's just a bit silly. Nah, he's... He's so wholesome. He is. I, got, I, got, no, I can't say a bad word about him. He's just a bit dumb. He's No, he's not dumb. He's a bit silly. What's the difference? There is a difference, but it's There okay. is a difference. Come on. Anyway, whatever. Can't do my boy like that. I well, can and I absolutely will. But he knows I love him. Yeah. Kutz is out. Kutz is out. I think Kutz is out. So I wonder if they're going to race over here and uh, kick us out in any second now, which is fair enough. Well, they're calling someone. They're speaking to someone on oh, the Oh, that's just stupid. Look at him. I don't think I've ever Kuzzy seen... Ken? I don't think I've ever seen Heaven not wear a mic. That's what Roman's journey the ball there. He loves his, uh, he loves his medal. What can I say? <laughs> Mate, they're not medal. What are you I talking about? I don't know about? what they are. Emo. Yeah, Emo, that's medal. Anyway, we've seen the Wario Von Didi, by the way. I I don't oh, think he didn't want to do the ditto? I don't think I've seen them, uh, I don't think I've seen them play Wario aside from doubles this weekend so far, but here we are. Maybe because he kn they know that, uh, Heaven probably would know what to do against the Kazuya. Oh. Oh, doesn't catch the high recovery. Yeah, the black was going to save, uh, save the... Uh, boom. Bada boom. Yeah, gets the chomp. Munch him up. Got some good eating. Oh, we're going to see... Uh, I think uh, I think the, the Ken combo probably works here. Up to... No, up air. Back air, not taking it. Okay. Yeah, eat the bike. Yeah, chomp. Oh! The landing nares. What do you do? Seeing a lot of rolling happening here. Yeah, that's what you that, that's what you do against Ken, mate. You gotta you gotta roll out of there. Get land with the nares. Until, nares, until uh Oh mate. Oh my Jesus. Dude, he, he got that bike out of here. He didn't want any to do with that. What is gone? We love it. Up here, uh, is, that didn't really do that much to be honest. Oh, the bike up will kill there. All right, they still had uh, they still had to sort of show you can percent. If uh, Heaven can uh, get the hit here, back here. Oh no, I'm not gonna take it yet. No, it's safe, safe landings. Okay, I like uh, how Heaven is doing a bit more sort of up smashes out of shield, Ch changing up uh, the way. Oh, oh nice spike. Yeah, get get down. Take here. it. Get out of here, mate. But don't forget, this is all kind of like a means to uh, getting wafted in last stock with the with the warriors, mate. That's some damage. We don't we don't want to see heaven get farted on here, mate. 
Oh my god, that shield was looking mighty small. Nah, he just... Oh, he missed! They missed just the... Just barely missed it. Missed the, uh... The thing. Shield looking small. I reckon yeah. the, uh... The shield... Break combo... Could be coming Didi. in here. Yeah, DD with the awareness to... To drop the shield, though. Ah, he reads that roll in. The taunt back. We don't taunt enough. Yeah, we don't taunt enough. Doesn't matter. Oh, mate. Ah, uh, nice and aggressive dash attack there. I don't think those Sudokens are actually going to hit anybody. Oh, oh, that is a very good reversal there. No. Handed himself on a silver platter, but DD not taking a bite. Ah. I do like these uh, safe areas on shield, not getting, not allowing uh, themselves to get hit by the uh, the combuses. Yeah, see like that. It's nice safe. No damage. Okay. Okay, does it? If uh, Heaven can get a couple of hits in here, it's an uh, even game. But Didi's being very good at sort of not letting himself get hit by a lot of stuff. Okay, here's his chance. Doesn't really get much out of it. Nice little recovery there, sort of fading back. Um, it's looking a bit rough. Okay. Nice little... Uh, Wow, the man, I've never seen that. That was nice. I like that. Break. That's a very nice idea, yeah. Never seen it used that way. Well, I, mean, like I guess it makes sense to use it like active hitboxes off stage like that. Yeah, and I guess like Heaven kind of put himself in a situation where there was only really one way he can kind of go after that focus. Mm. And uh, yeah, Didi was ready for it. I would expect the net, uh, the fair rather, but I guess... Uh, well, I think he fed, uh, they fed the, the focus. And then obviously Heaven sort of faded in with the, yeah. and then yeah, Didi just snared, which killed. Cause it was pretty safe, cause I think they could have got the bike back and still recovered pretty safely, even if it hadn't have worked. Mm. Oh, don't think Heaven wanted to pick that bike up at all. Looking at a down tilt uh, attempt. Yeah. I love the little Wario skid, it's so funny to me. He has like the, the best. The shape, the shape, the best animations. No, I oh. think the best animation is the. Uh, oh, nice. Ooh, nice. Nice. Uh, yep. That's good. That's yeah. good, Peter. I think that, yeah, yeah, Wario has the best animations in this game. Like, me no, and K. No yeah. Nah, I think Wario's are too good. Nah, the best one, my favorite, is the short hop back. The short, back, the the short hop back. The little backflip. The little backflip. Oh, it doesn't just uh, doesn't uh, finish the focus. Kind of just uses it to fade away, which is probably a good good decision. Oh. Looking. We're gonna see something happen. All right, yeah. we're off stage. That's a nice up air, but sends Heaven back onto stage. Stopping the bike in its tracks. Don't get too close to that. Uh, I think Heaven's putting himself in some kind of precarious non situations. Yeah. But he's not. He's sort of unnecessarily as well. He's kind of jumping above Wario. Like I wanna, yeah. yeah, I want to say he's very lucky having not um, like lost a stock for any of these uh, risky movements. But yeah. he's, he's made it work. At oh, least yeah. this game. Yeah, you live, you live, you know, when you live that long, you're doing pretty well. Yeah. Okay, little tap. Alright, doesn't get Wario comboed. The bike uh, not doing him any favors there. Oh, Gets a fart combo and that old kill, yeah. They needed that. Oh, just a Randy. I don't know if that was input either. 
don't know. I know. I can never tell, to be honest. Just how he... If he sounds like he's, uh... He's in pain, it's the input. What a jumping out. I guess Warrior wants to do that. Oh, these Hadoukens just stop the bike in its tracks when Warrior throws at him as well. That's kind of kind of good. Yeah, Heaven's not really getting sort of any meaningful hits here. Which is, uh... Oh, oh that is... That is rude! Okay. Nah, see, this not, he's not getting much out of. He normally gets yeah. a bit more out of those combos, but uh, yeah, I guess okay. Wanted to take uh, roll in there. Oh, not see. I think Wario's sort of air drift is really, uh, really throwing heaven off here. Actually, it's kind of having having trouble catching him in the air. Everything, every single jump is not committing. There's very okay. low middle hits. Ah, uh, doesn't get the, the finish. I don't think it would have killed anyway. Okay. No. Unlucky. Hit are really slowing it down, but... I, were, I wonder if uh, the charge... I think the, the charge of Waff that uh, Warrior has now probably kills, right? At 166. Okay. Gets the air dodge in, and that will take it. Game two. Clutch from heaven. Nice. He, uh, he really needed that one as well. He uh, popped off a little bit after that too, which is nice. Well, looks like we got some fellas jumping on here. We got a... Here we are. Here we go. Mm, never mind. No, no, they're not coming over. No? I think I'll wait for this set to be over. That's fair. That's, That's fair. okay. Hey, I'll take it. Man. Time is it? Probably, yeah. Wow, wow the, time, the day's gone real quick. It does, man. It does. Um, I think it might be time to get some bevs in. I think. Oh, I've already started, man. Don't worry. Uh, I think comms has uh, put me on a little bit of a break at this thing, but I think I need oh, to. Oh yeah, no. I think something has to be done about that. We definitely got some uh, lost some time work to, make up to for, do, but uh, a lot of things to be done. But that's uh, that's for later. Right now, we gotta. We are in the midst of a of a set right now, my friend. You know, beers, it's beers gotta, come we later. must focus on what is important. 100%. Alright. Oh, really? They've got a bit of a, a strong start here. Going to Battlefield as well. I don't know. If, I don't know if I'll be letting Warrior go to Battlefield, but uh, here we are. I want to ask, like, what we can get out of Battlefield. I don't think a lot. I don't think much. Like, I know you can get, like, the up air stuff. Like, I've seen a, some of that, but. But everything, everything Ken kills with is. So grounded, you don't yeah, need the Yeah, but you can. I think the battlefield gives Ken the like the up air sort of the up air, the dumb Maybe up, um, up, up air, up air, up air, up air to show you sort of stuff. Yeah, but um, I've, I've seen some crazy warrior combos on this stage. Yeah, it definitely would. I'd be convinced the warrior gets a lot more off of this one. And yeah. I've, I'm, I'm yet to see Heaven really do much of the uh, the up air stuff, but maybe he can prove me wrong this game. We'll see. Oh, oh <laughs> almost. This is what I mean. <laughs> I see. I see what you're going. I see where you're going out with this, Peter. Very, uh, like, very ambitious. Like nothing, nothing say. happened. But yeah. there was. It looked like the potential for something to go terribly wrong right there. But like, it's, it's all good though. The stock's gone before their eyes. Like oh. a little spot dodge there. Oh, you hate to see that. Yeah, oh, no, you're holding your shield, my friend. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that would kill. That would definitely nah, kill. Nah, nah, nah. That was sus the eye. Nah, that would kill. Sus the eye. <laughs> nah, you, you're stupid, man. Always. Always. Oh, I guess the back air, though. Yeah. Give it to him. Give it to him. All right. Well, then, then they're just they're like... powering through it, yeah. Wants none of that Hadouken at all. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just the little poke. Oh, I think if Didi had got the landing hit back so that, uh, that now, that could have been some damage. Oh, didn't get off the bike right away. All right. Back air. Air dodge your pass. Nice catch on the get up. Mate. 
That might have been the first S smash I've ever seen Heaven hit before as well. Nice little damage. Get some oh, extra credit. Like that. He, he kinda waited for the, the high recovery. I think he's playing a lot more patient. No, I think he like wants to land in there, eh, by the way. Nah, absolutely not. Oh, yep. Oh, and there it is. Yeah, once the. There's the stock that you never actually had. I feel like you'd rather have that now in Evan's situation because yeah. I feel like playing <laughs> last stock against Wario, like, when he has Waft, is so much more stressful than, like, now. Mm. I feel like. Like, I Might get have been the wrong call. I get that DD wanted to like kind of even the game up as far as stocks go, but I don't know. I feel like well, it's they just have less been, stressful they, now. Look, they have been pretty dominant before. Yeah, so, 100%. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I understand why evening it up in, in this sort of situation isn't the worst of ideas. Yeah, but, but I just definitely feel like you just like. Yeah, you want to play more to the win condition yeah. at the and end. If, at the end of the game, yeah. and even yeah. if you you don't necessarily win with the walk, it's like having that in the back of your mind mm. is such a such a like it can just put you off your game, yeah. right? But anyway, having uh, taken that one, are we gonna see a switch? Do you think or mm, to the Kazuya? I don't know. I think the Warrior's been fine, but maybe no, maybe it's they'll definitely uh, been fine, but maybe they'll uh, they'll want to go to the the Kazuya to. Uh, Send it, because I, I do believe that um, at one of the locals that uh, Chisel Chisel did beat Heaven with a Kazuya, mm. so maybe uh, maybe it uh, does all right. But we'll see, we'll see. We have got Tekken music. Tekken is such no. a soundtrack. Is it? No, it's not Tekken. But it's uh, what you call it? What does Terry come from? SNK. Yeah, we got the Kazuya. I said second music. I'm so dumb. I'm so I apologize for everybody. I was I was very wrong. Fatal Fury, thank you. <laughs> I don't really, I don't know my fighting games. I'm sorry, everybody. But yeah, anyway, I know Heaven does have a Kazuya, so he should know what to kind of look out for and how to sort of best best avoid certain situations. These are just some men going at each other right now, anyway. eh? Ken and Kazuya. Look at this. Oh, that will take Good it. Good start from Peter. That's a huge start for Heaven. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if Heaven's ever beaten DD before either. So this would be this, this would be a this huge pretty win. Huge. He does. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to ask if um if that has been the case, but I I, I believe. Heaven may have beaten DD at some pre locals, but maybe never in a major, like before. So we'll see. Nina, alright, taking it a lot slower than he did before. Oh, okay. Not making those risky decisions like he did before. Yeah, he's definitely playing uh, playing much more uh, as you as you should. Okay, it doesn't get the uh, I think that locked there, that would have locked right. He's living the uh, that. Peter right now making this look like a winning matchup though. He's playing this so well. And the back air stinks that wow, in there. Gets the yes. kill. Two stock lead to Peter. Heaven now. Will Peter defend SA? Nah, that was a, uh, yeah, pulling the trigger and that was maybe not uh, the not best the decision. Best idea, but he's got a whole stock to work with. Yeah, dropping shield as he That's probably want to do. Yeah. Take the hit. Keep him out. Oh, okay. get up. Up. Oh. Yep, get up, shield. And I wouldn't expect Ken to have this kind of mobility in this matchup, but, like, he's making it. Oh. Work. And it there it that. is. Not quite, Not though. Not quite. Living it. Now, now, DD has rage drive. This is a. Just one grab is all it's going to take, but. I think he, he kind of want it. Oh, no. Heaven's looking for it, I feel like. He's sort of trying to play around it. Up out of shield, still not taking it. Does Kazuya get another one back if he uses if if it in uh, the first slot? I don't think so, right? I don't think so, no. Right, no. 
has to make this count. Better I'm, to use it because look, it can still it's get gonna run out. It's probably gonna run out soon, right? Yeah. I think I think they were trying to save it for the last stock, but I feel like they might just have to kind of use it at this point, right? I think Didi will get a lot if, uh, if they just run up and grab. These lasers are putting work in. Grab. That's all we need to do. I think I think maybe the next hit from her heaven probably gets rid of the rage drive. Yeah, no, it's still there. Never mind. Okay. The rollback. Oh, he there it is! It and gets it. And Heaven takes that upset. And look at all the boys pop off for him. Well done. Peter taking it. Good stuff to Heaven. Very well played. Very well earned. Very the young well man has taken has defended SA from Kazuya and yes. Wario. We love to see it. Absolutely. No bias at all in our commentary. <laughs> well, at least mine. Well, we weren't doing our job then properly, were we? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But uh, anyway, we're a uh, chef and Kutz. Nah, they're on their way. They're on there their they way. Are. I, I want to go and congratulate my boy. Now we're now we're getting booted off, which is uh, fair enough to be honest. Thank you for having us. It's yes, been great. absolutely. Nah, um, thank you for putting up with us to be honest. Nah, we're doing letting right. us fill the time to get actually good commentators on. Oh, <laughs> people who actually know how to commentate. Yes. But anyway, I've been Jacko. This has been Atos, and uh, we'll hand it over to Chef and Kutz. Oh. See you guys later. Ahoy! Oh Jesus. My voice. Mm. It's a very dangerous spot for that drink to be in. Mine or yours? Mine. Next to all the equipment, we are hopping on board here with Shrieks first beat. Is this a top 8 quals, Chance? Top 8 quals? This is a yeah, winner's side yep. top eight quals. Pretty so this, big stuff. Okay, this this um, hat is not working. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. But he got Shrieks coming in. Bit rusty. From his um, from his top glory, his Mia beating days. Well, Shrieks has technically won like a super major. Because, you know, beat Mia. Mia won Kagaribi. So Shrieks is definitely looking like the guy to, to bet on right now. I don't know how Pat's going to pull it off. That's good. Alrighty. I mean, you say that, but Pete's been doing well. He did well at medium cheese as well. He's been looking good. Boys, I imagine there's a few... There's a bit of history here between these two players, obviously. There's been a history? Uh, surely, right? Yeah, the Victorian ways. Well, Shrix doesn't rock up to anything. He comes to more majors than locals, I think. Oh, you reckon it's like a fried rice thing? Probably. Too good for us. In, he's from Victoria, but when he's when he plays there, he's still considered an interstater. Yeah, that's a classic, man. All right. Starting off on Hollow Bastion. Yep. Beat's going to have to figure out how he's going to get his way through that big sword. Covering literally a quarter of the stage. Yeah, it feels like the game plan is very much so. If I've got a lead, I'm going to chill, let Seth approach me. But when Seth's got a lead like this, man, what are you going to do? Oh, and the edge guard. Dumping court. <laughs> Tricks me balling, though, because those are some crazy pickups in the edge guards. Even when you think it's over, it's not. Oh, going so deep. Is that fair? Like, it's good at poking, but it's not the best at killing. Oh, wow. Is not going for the second fair. Seriously, Tricks? <laughs> that's the Seriously. rust, mate. That's the rust factor. That's you reckon? Coming. And there's the F2. Yep. Beat That's a pretty a good like, move as well. Pete looking a little bit like Mia, 
getting messed up. <laughs> Boom, combo. <laughs> Boom. That's uh, a commentary combo. Yep. Nice one. That runoff there is actually, that's war crime. Yeah, nasty yeah. yeah. I mean, Falco's got like, he's got a side beat and up but they're both pretty telegraphed. Oh, there, there's, oh, I just looked at Strix. He like blinked and that was it. Like, he, he's, that, he was that emotionless. Upbeat, yes, yeah. Oh, this guy is definitely emotionless. Um, this guy literally feels sweetheart, but in in game, um, it's something changes. Comes a stone cold killer. Yes, absolutely. Game face is pretty nearly killed himself. I think, again. Yeah, I think beat very ambitious, going for edge guarding step on the, the held up. But yeah, I like that. Wait it out a bit. All right, beat has to fight his way back to center. He's just dancing around like Love outside that. the range of Seth right now, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, mate. Gotta be careful with that planking. I know it's hard, but like... You reckon Strix is gonna plank? It. What is this, 2015? You said planking? Yeah. I thought you said wank. No, plank. Do you reckon... Are you kidding me? This is top 8 quals. Daniel, do you think I would have language that obtuse? Sorry, I, I can't believe I thought so little. <sighs> Anyways, planking. Yeah, you think, you think Trix is gonna plank B? He's, he's planking right now, man. He's planking hell. Oh, actually, as I say that, wow. Am I speaking a bit too loud? Nah, they've got headphones in. They can't hear. All right, this is looking really close though, right? Ooh, that Tomahawk F2 was actually beautiful. Beat did manage to shield it, but I'm yeah. Oh wow! Nice pick up. Actually there. baited, using his invulnerability frames to the fullest. Shield. You've got two balls on you now. Oh, oh combo man. Into them not being able to pick it up. Uh oh, two more. Two more balls. How's that one? Good shield. Oh, and B gets the pick up too. He knows, he knows. Uh-oh. Tricks right at home in that corner, managing Mayday. to get a little two-piece off. Beat so disciplined for these first two stocks, and now all of a sudden it gets the last stock. Bit of panic coming out, but... Up there, back end, nearly killing there. Tricks assuredly must be feeling it too. Game one's so, so important. That edge guard is awful. What a good one to miss. Second opportunity. Again, just jumping into the air. Oh! Second laser. Okay, yep. Good whiff punish. Nice. Beast not gonna fall for that one again. Ah! The poke? Yeah, Falls the for poke. that one though, dude. Sorry, can you tell me the game Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Sorry, game volume was a bit loud. I could just hear like whatever that persona music was being played. <laughs> Clearly, you can Kingdom try to Hearts, play mate. many other video games other than Smash. Yeah. Oh, you trying to... <laughs> Kud's trying to make a top 25 games list. In hell, actually. The bars in hell. Uh, Super Smash Ultimate. Um, Super Smash Melee. <laughs> Super Smash on the, on the Wii. Super Smash Wii U. Mm. No, you had some games. You had some games. Admittedly, you know, very very popular games, but games nonetheless. Yeah, I was able to put some games up on the board. I'd say you were a gamer. I am like a guy. I love gaming. Town, yeah, this is a great counter pick. I know B is a big fan of this stage. But honestly, I can see Seth not minding it either. Two more balls. Definitely not at all. Especially because like Sephiroth's gonna be like prioritizing edge guards. Yeah. Unlike Falco she recovering the short sides. Oh, oh love it. that. Stop Cooking. it. B. Oh, three. Looking staler than the local IGA. I don't know if I don't know if they have IGA over here, but the local IGA discount bread, mate. That up there. <laughs> we got there in the I end. I got there in the end, I'm sorry. And, uh, but look, oh, the team, set. it's it's first set of the day. Can we have a little bit of patience? We're warming up to it. Just also like might have players. had a few too many drinks. <laughs> um I did go 0-2 in this event, so I have been drinking for quite a while. Dan, you've you've been having me. a good time for a while. I have been having a good time, actually. I feel like um, Shriek should opt for like maybe a, bit, a few more down tilts instead of like the dares. I don't know if it yeah. would connect. That's just my gut feeling right now. Okay. As a top player of my region, you know. <laughs> we've got a few sets to rub together. It, I kind of yeah. know what's going on. Oh, <laughs> I thought he just killed to him. Be fair, if the down airs connect, you'd be like, oh, what a great option, Shriek, right? <laughs> You're like, oh, mate. Actually, Tricks, I'm glad you recognized the checkmate situation that you put beat in. Oh, he's doing his jump. Regrab? Oh. 
Head smash, surely two frames there. So I love the attempt from Beat, but Shrix, too good, man. I'm not gonna lie, Beat's That's recoveries early kill. of this game have been, I've been really impressed. Like Shrix, as, as a fellow, as a player with who has a bad recovery, right? I DK. understand like yeah. how hard, how much work this motherfucker's putting in right now. <laughs> like every time he Shrix goes out, they think he, he's done, mate. And then he just does these little micro moves. Two clicks. Oh my goodness. Oh, the slide out the corner, but he rolls back into it. Oh. But Severoth loves the corner, people. Oh my god. Very confident grab from Trix. Finally coming. Oh, not working. Beat. Can't quite capitalize. Sephiroth's so good on ledge. He's getting a little bit too eager when um, Sephiroth from 2015 is planking on that ledge right now. Hashtag plank challenge. Hashtag Here's the thing, right? When Seth has the lead, you need to overshoot. But Seth is so good at doing fadeaway back air. So good at doing dash back F2. And then they can just overshoot sometimes as well. And it's meet just, you air to air. It's just a bullshit like auto game plan Sephiroth mains get. Not, not um, poking there. I don't, yeah, I love the risk reward from beat there. Oh, speaking of risk reward, mate, that's a pretty good move at kill percent. Beat looking like me last night, wearing shorts. Can't get in right now, like I couldn't get into that bar. Oh my god. I don't, know if a, I don't know if the joke. We actually have a, a lot of viewers as well, if you can let them in on the joke, mate. I don't know if the microphones are picking this up, but me uh, Melee's going off right now. Going nuts. I hope the microphone's Someone's doing up. something. Hold on, be quiet, I can look at the meter. What? Yeah, there was a little shout there for you. Probably, okay. probably came through, team. <laughs> If you had the volume right Don't up. leave this stream, though. We're also having a lot no, of fun No, we're here. having a uh, lot of fun. Um, We've got some random guy in the crowd who's enjoying this set between two players. There's a lot of people. Oh, wait. <laughs> Actually, the crowd looks so dead. The That's crowd crazy. goes mild. Can I just say, this camera... <laughs> this camera is Beats so just misleading. Beats got Palutena. What the fuck? Oh, no way. Been hidden in the books. <laughs> The Bible specifically. There's actually so many more Angel. spectators in the crowd than what the camera shows behind Beat and Tricks. Is Sephiroth a demon? Is this like Angels vs Devils right now? Or is Sephiroth just like a really handsome dude? Is this biblical? <laughs> is this biblical? No, um, it's actually Angel v Angel. What? You know? Oh my god, the one, one winged, winged Angel? Angel? Yeah. Oh! Wait. I love the balls. They the show you how spot. she That's travels. That's so fucked up. <gasps> Yes. And I hate to be. Oh my god! Shrieks That's gonna hit with like a that. Massive opener. Look, I hate to um, question Beat's, you know, decisions here, but tricks on. Hey man, maybe stay on your mates, you know. <laughs> I get Severus that. I'm like the bad boy of the ancient world, isn't he? True. Yeah, yeah. Pally's like the good guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, Pally, you can't say that, actually. You actually can't say. Can I just say, though, this, they would make such a great couple. <laughs> they would both probably share shampoo and conditioner. Yep, yep. Speaking of conditioning, um, I, I love what Shrix is doing right now. With, oh, oh, oh my god. Stop it, Beat. Sorry, I was talking about Shrix conditioning. All of a sudden, Beat's found an up smash out of nowhere. Beat took the mic and then he dropped it. That's what oh. he did right then. Ah, and then Shrix picked it right back up and said, hang on a minute. We got another Blew one off in the me. dust. <laughs> yeah, there's another stock. The clicks. With what a snap of his fingers, tricks. Getting so much extra credit. Ah, stay away, stay away. Taking us back to 2015, man. I really hope planking is a 2015 thing, because that's what I've been saying. And I know you've, chat, Google it. you've like confidently followed me there, and I'm sorry if I've misled I've you. I've blindly followed you. In 2015, I was building Legos. Like, I was not really on the internet. I was, I was, I was on period. it enough to know what that planky was a thing. Actually, you don't have to Google. Just go to Jack Gorman's Facebook profile and go back to 2015. <laughs> you probably would see a planking profile photo. Brutal. Jack Gorman copying a stray. As always. Oh! oh wait. Walking into that one. That's gonna, That's gonna close do it. it. Commanding. Closing out that chapter. <laughs> flashes, of, flashes of brilliance from uh, Beat versus just Mr. Consistent we, from Trix. I can't believe we went from Trix SDing that stuff mm. So then just like doing that that roll read up to it. It's like yeah. two different men. <laughs> but it kind of shows what sort of player Trix is. You know, this ain't his first rodeo. No. Got a lot no of mental chance. composure. Yeah. Because you know, we're all human. We make mistakes. And that's going to come. It's better not dwell on a mistake. 
Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah. You know that, that famous John Bellion. Is it? Oh, I don't even know if it's John Bellion, actually. I'm only human after all. It's so crazy. You said John who? And I, I was uh, be, I was be like, oh, sorry, Matt. I'm not that well read. I probably don't know what book that is. <laughs> and then you started singing, and I was like, oh, I know that one, possibly. Up next, though, we do have Sad Hour and Bro One competing for time. Lovely. Winner's side. But either way, this is a win for Queensland. Yeah, this has been two uh, state team kills. Yeah. No matter what, one Vic is going in. No matter what, one Queensland this going in. This is just in. sort of the nature of um, a round robin sort of system of pools. Yeah. You're gonna get like, you're gonna get one. more clashes because the seating's not handcrafted. True. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Actually, um, if I made an upset on Piggins, which I almost did, I would have had to play Tiff. Um, and then if things went a little differently in losers, I could have run into Will. Um, another fellow WA statesman. So yeah, I, I agree. Lots of potential clashes with Round Robin, but hey, more games, more fun, right? I think. Sure, man. I think round robin can be tough for a, a top player. Um, really test your stamina. Yeah, I no, because it instantly in round robin it, it instantly goes from just like winning two sets to then playing six. Yeah, and you play everyone. Yeah, I think I I can. There are more mid level and low level players than there are top level players though, and I think overall round robin benefits. Yeah, the you, majority. You, you're quite chuffed if you're a mid level player. Yes. But the, the, the big wigs, they have some decisive words, some choice words to say about round robin pools. Yeah, no, nah, look. You know, I feel like we have two different perspectives here. Sometimes, you know, you're playing, player, sometimes you're playing round robin and you get attacked by a fly. Forces you to lose a set, you know. Still hang up on this fly, man. I was attacked by a fly <laughs> viciously during my set against Dashi. All credits to Dashi, oh my god. This fly was attacking me, and I couldn't see. Like, it was going straight for the eyes. It was playing dirty. It was in my eyes. It was in my nose. It was in my ears. Sorry, I think John Bombo went home. Why am I hearing more Johns um, from you, man? End of the day, you lost the set. Um, to a no, in all, in all reality, that's kind of crazy. 2v1. 2v1, yeah. I got jumped. <laughs> Didn't. <laughs> Someone's out to get me. I had no idea you were entering into a doubles tournament. Can I just say, by the way, these players are taking a long time to set up. <laughs> Come on, team. We got a we got a tournament to run. Finn's just on Twitter, probably making another great tweet. As per usual, life's good for Finn, probably. That's right, brother. One just slowly unravel that cord. <laughs> oh <my laughs> there God. we go. Oz Wizrobe, you reckon? Which one of them? Brody one. <laughs> oh yeah, this. <laughs> yep. Yep. To be fair, Finn sat down minutes ago, right? Yeah. Okay, we are going to Bastion. Finish my beer, mate. Oh, here we go. What are we bringing out? Do you I'm I not going to act like I know what that song is, but... Can I get someone to grab me a beer? I'm waving at Stuart. Oh, Fuck. Yeah, can someone get me one? Quite thirsty. Whoa. You know what's great? Is you've done that, he's going to get me one as well, I think. He's doing the roundup. Here we go, thank yeah. goodness. Getting into it. Wolf Lucina. Now, back home. Brother one does have a little bit of an edge over Finn. He's got the can't, inside intel? Yeah, Finn can't seem to figure it out. Interesting. But, you know, big cheese. Big things happen. I mean, if we're already seeing the technically less dominant character, right? I feel like we would see Sad Hold out. That hour pick uh, Snake more often than not, but this matchup for Snake can't be as good as it is for Lucina. So I can respect uh, the pick from Finn, Sad Hour. I must say though, how much has he been playing Lucina this tournament? He's always got the Lucina. Just, uh, always at the ready, obviously. I think so. Got I don't. I haven't really been following Finn, but I know that it's there. Oh. This is definitely team funnies oh. right now. These two. Yeah. The, the, these gents love to play a bit of a game. And nothing else. Absolutely. It's I think we're going to be seeing... This tournament is called Big Cheese, but we're seeing pretty big fundies. Stuart. 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 No, he's gone. 
Oh, yeah, I think he's throwing. Did you like my joke? What was your joke? Sorry, I was a bit distracted. So I this was tournament's reading. called Big Cheese. Yeah. But we're going to see some big fundies from the Yeah, like, okay. Players. Yeah, yeah. It's weird they're doing well, you know. You'd think the cheesy play. Oh, that, that actually, no, nah, I can't. That sucks. <laughs> I can't continue with this bit. That's a bit um, disappointing from you, Dan. I would expect more from the my co-commentator who's doing winners and losers top eight quals. What a... What a a block we've been given, by the way. We've been blessed. Absolutely. And the viewers have been blessed with some amazing games coming up. Big cheese for it. Oh, falling out. Here's the thing that I love about um, same state matches is you get to see... There's oftentimes game one versus interstaters who, like, don't... Not from the same state. There's a lot of, like, learning going on. Yeah. When there's history, we, we skip step one, right? We go straight to the action. You see some crazy reads because there's inside intel. See, like that. Yeah. Like, but what is Bro One doing? Instantly, he knows something we don't. Instantly, like, what I've, like, noticed from following this is yep. that both these players are, like, very comfortable. Just, like, um, when they have an opening, not going for a big punish, but going for, like, a little something small and just, like, chipping it away. Yeah. Like, more often than not, you know? And a lot of this neutral is boiling down to safe aerial, landing aerial on shield um, into... Now I shield, take, you take your turn. There's yeah. a lot of back and forth. Uh, I think Void dubbed that playing Smash, oops, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> kind of funny. Um, two characters that are really good at that. They don't cheat a lot. Um, and so we're going to be seeing a lot of, again, team fundies, fundamental gameplay. If there's a theoretical like crew battle of team fundamentals versus team cheese, who do you reckon makes like the top five? Of... Team That's fundies. actually a big question to ask you mid-set. That is a big question to ask Maybe we'll me. save that one. That sounds like something we... That sounds like something we should talk about like in bed tonight, you know? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, sorry. <clears throat> we are not there, though. We are on Hollow Bastion, row one. Lining up for a ledge trap. Yeah, kind of went for all the gravy there, but like yes. I said, both these boys playing pretty patient. Ooh, Brother ooh. one, not going for the immediate punish. Finn may be expecting some uh, preemptive ledge trapping from row one, but he shows a little bit of restraint. Waits out that counter. Beautiful catch on the roll yes. there. Waiting for the jump. Not prior, not capitalizing on that, sorry. Oh, what nasty a catch. spot for Finn right now. Oh. Good timing though. Down smash didn't come out. You weren't chanced. See, like there. Yep. Throw one just like took an opportunity. He, he didn't like have a back and forth with Finn. He just jumped away. Which is beautiful. Yes, yes. Disengaging, but also picking his moments so well. That's the thing, when he goes for a hard read, he fucking picks his moments yes. spectacularly. Yes. Oh, yes. Stuart, thank you so much. Stop it. Oh, should we all have a cheers? We should have a cheers. Oh, he's, he's, oh, he's, he's gone. Okay. He's gone. He doesn't want to be seen on camera. I think he's saying, hey, boys, commentate. Anonymous Donor has given us two hard solos for a hard commentary block. Oh, mate. Doesn't that just go down easy? I, honestly, for a hard solo, it goes a down pretty easy, easy, mate. A little bit too easy. For a, hard, for a hard solo, that sure goes down pretty easy, don't you think? <laughs> I heard you the first time, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So I thought maybe my mic cut out. No, it's all good. Um, you didn't. You are still on the air. Radio. Finn picking a song, as you do. Oh. Back to Cap Capcom. You get so upset just because you don't know the songs. Emmett, can you pronounce that? No. Okay. <laughs> ah. Actually, this is good. Oh, hold oh. up. Snake's been covered. Solid Snake. Alrighty. All right. So we've given the Lucina a bit of a crack. Maybe it wasn't as ready as you were leading me to believe. We've, we've given it a bit of a crack. And, you know, back into it. Snake. Yep. Damn. Crawling around immediately on the floor. He does his Pilates. That is some good yes. form. And to get in that post so quickly. Yep. Absolutely. Oh, every Wednesday, man. Yeah, we've seen a lot of that by the looks of it. Snake Dare is actually a crazy out of shield move. Oh, yeah. I remember Finn telling, we were talking about something, and he said you could counter this move with Dare out of shield. I was like, that's insane. It was Violet Nair. And I was like, okay. Okay. I didn't think it was that good. There you go. You just quite often don't see it, just because he has so many good moves in his kit, you know? He's, he's, great. he's like Bob the Builder, mate. When he's, you're spoiled for choice, you know? He's Bob the Builder. He's tool belts full, mate. Oh, my goodness. Oh, crawling under that one. Jeez. I'm actually really interested to see how Bro One will deal with the grenades. I haven't seen this matchup. Don't tune into a lot of uh, Queen's Oh, Land. And he's killed himself. Yep. Clearly not coping very well. 
taking the easy way out. Yep. Um, over the ledge. But now yeah, he's still. got his own ledge trap. Very close, yeah. Going out deep. It's a fakey oh, though. Stop it. Covering man. high. He covered that one though. Like a yep. fly on shit. He was all over oh. that edge guard. Just short hopping, like holding center, just saying, yeah, Finny boy, mate, you gotta come here, son. Just laser blow up the grenade, that's fucked. <laughs> oh, there goes the jump. So many forward airs. Wait, still no jump, actually. Oh, he's going for all the cheddar. He put it all on black. Fortunately, we hit red. But I feel like he didn't even lose much for no, it. No, he didn't right? lose anything. He lost stage, and that's about it. Fighting his way right back, though. Jeez, Casper getting absolutely creamed on by that F smash from Rowan. Seeing something we don't. Again, he knows. I'm going to give him benefit of the doubt, mate. Must have been good reason. <laughs> must have, surely. Surely. Oh, good one. Yep. Line up that grenade there. Oh, throw one. Expertly oh, maneuvering around shit. the ledge trap and then finding his in. He was so cooked there, bro. One. He had a oh nade and a C4 and somehow he converted into a stun. Dude, Wolf's gun looks so cool. Yeah? It's got a knife on the end. <laughs> a little bayonet, huh? God damn it, why is he a cool space? <laughs> <laughs> no, and he plays on Team oh. Fundies. And he plays on Team Fundies. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. How do you think Wolf lost his eye? Do you oh, Fox... this be such a cool story. Do you reckon Fox that? took it? I don't know. Follow up question Does Wolf also have metal legs, and that's why his back hair is so strong? Oh, yes, I think. I think that's a given, actually. I think you might have to have metal legs just to be a pilot in one of these right. ships. That's fucked, actually. <laughs> yeah. If you couldn't tell um, the viewers, we have not played a lot of games. So that includes Star Fox. In Star Fox, you have to give up your legs to be a pilot. What do you have to give up to play Smash? What? Like, you know, to be a pilot in Star Fox, you got to get metal legs. you got to get your legs. What do All you have to them. give up to play Smash? Just in like general us. for them. Like oh. Us. Um... A lot of time. Your hygiene. Nah. Amazing joke. Nah. Are you sure, mate? What is this new bit you're doing where I'm just unhygienic? <laughs> yeah, bit. Anyways. Um, Finn. Oh! He's on the edge. He's got the ledge trap, though. Bang. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, fam. My question, though, is... Oh, my Why God. did Bro one hold down there? Why did he... Why did he go past ledge? Wait. That game's got me kind of concerned for the Finn Nash. Yep. Why? Because that wasn't like a game Finn confidently won. Are you he kidding was like me? On it the was back two stock. No, was that last stop? Am I silly? Was that last stop or was that two stock? <laughs> Is it rude to ask the players? Viewers in chat, was that last stock or was that two stocks? They'll get back to us. Finn. Oh, don't. Was that last stock or two stock? Oh. I fucking told you. Whoopsies. Now, sorry. Whoopsie daisies. Anyways. I know. I feel bad now because they're like dying. You did just pull them out of the moment for no reason. And we could have just waited a second. Hey, it's always about this instant gratification. <coughs> instant gratification. Instead, they back dialed in. Well, that's what I'm saying. It was like a clutch. Yeah, you know? literally. So, Finn Nash, watch out. Yep. It is 1-1, one, one, though. Goodness gracious. Bro one doing well, though, to make it this far into winners after yesterday's performance. Coming yes. out as the third seed. So, maybe... Obviously, as we all know, pool's going to be a bit shaky. The nerves yeah. come out. I don't know if it was nerves or he was just having a bad day, but... Maybe he was just calibrating. Learning. Maybe he was just calibrating. You know? End of the day, He's until done well. it's the big dance, it doesn't matter. It's all just practice, you know? And also, as someone like as someone like Bro1, C doesn't really matter. Because like you can beat like every player here. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a little funny number that's next to your name on start. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, back here not doing it. Finn Love trying that. to just catch oh. this recovery, but not being able to do it right now. Bro one disengaging. Finn, aware of the laser possibility, just creeping his way in. Here comes Nikita. Nikita. Doing God's Why work. Why is it called Nikita? It's kind of like, T you know, like TF2, like the heavy calls his minigun Natasha. Did Snake no. call these like RPG Nikita? Or is that what the gun's called? I don't know. God. Interesting. Do you know anything? I don't I haven't played Everyone's gonna hate us. I haven't played a Metal Gear game. <laughs> I 
I just saw Snake's gameplay and I went, nah, not for me. No, yeah, okay. I think, I, I've heard, I mean, I've heard great things, right? I don't know, I've never played. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on for me? Oh, oh grenade bro, helping out Finn there. Yeah. Wolf's up to it, he's like on par with Snake's. Are you actually. kidding me? It's so good. Oh my god. Grow okay, it's, it, it's not as good as Snake's, but it's still a good move. It's like babies. Snake up to. Which is still a crazy good up to. I don't know. I think it's worse in every way and you're just capping. I'm not saying it's better than Snake's. I'm saying it's good. I think, I think it's a lot worse than Snake's though. That's... I don't think it's good, is what I'm saying. You're moving the goalposts. No, I just I just disagree, fundamentally. It's a good up tilt though, you've got to say. What is a bad up tilt then? No, you know what's bad? This conversation. Back to the match. <laughs> Bro one, not being able to get um, anything off that tech chase on the platy map. Plenty of more of those to come though for Bro one. He's moving and grooving. I really like his movement around Snake's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Nikita. I feel like uh, Finn barely used Nikita the first Snake game and now he's clocked on it. Hang on, this is a pretty good option. <laughs> he's using it so much he's doing it the wrong way. <laughs> Surely, almost assuredly a misinput, right? Probably, yeah. Flashing a little crouch. Here comes Nikita once again. Bang. It's like he forgot he could use it, but I don't want to think that. No, I, don't I think live. there's just been a lot more situation where Bro One is off stage with no jump, and it's like a lot more free. But you can also use Nikita to get rid of the jump, you know, force a force okay. resource to go. Yeah. No air dodge. Okay, Bro One not quite getting the pick up there. Oh my god, he he was because snake down to it and he was able to avoid the grenade. Oh, and that's C4. Yeah. Made me stutter on my words. A little low profile. Snake can get up oh, and get up down. Oh my air. gosh. So no. F2. Oh, he's done the key to the wrong way. He must be trying to be reverse grenade. <laughs> you reckon, man? <laughs> nah, I think he's. Oh, guys, Sherlock figured out why he keeps the key <laughs> the wrong way. I've got you guys. That grenade connected. Hey, if you can't find your other suck as well, I'm available to help you solve that mystery. <laughs> The mystery in everyone's mind is how is Finn going to take this stock? Reading oh, out. Yep. There's that up to. If it was Wolf, though, it would have gone punished. But because it's Snakes, it doesn't go punished. Still a good move, my friend. Still a good move. Kills later. Ooh. Less range. Less safe. Dash attacks are going to be able to do it. Anyways. Nikita, his sweet princess. Speaking of safe, mate, Nikita. Not sitting him. Oh. In no way. Forcing him high. Was able then... to cover everything there. Yeah. So I'm taking a little bit of sip of the hard solo. Oh, that's pretty good. My question is, are we going back to PS2 once again? I don't know. There's been no change of scenery thus far. Bro I, one deep in thought. Right I do now. have to say, I can see the Bro one tweet coming now about having to play Snake on a black-coloured PS2. End of the day, you can ask for Finn to change skin. They would happily it's oblige. It's not Finn's skin on. That would be the pain. It's like the C4 and the nades. Oh. Because PS2 is usually like that tennis ball green. That's a good point. You know? Yeah. And so it's like usually Lilac, like that's a problem. There has been a couple instances where Bro1's been caught schlacking um, with his pants down from a C4. I don't know though. Is Bro1 much of a salt tweeter, do you think? I don't... I don't know. Mate. Bro one has decent mentality against every f uh, fighter oh. pass one and un DLC, non DLC character. Except for that fighter young. Fighter pass two is a different ball. Except game. for that young man in the corner that shall not be named. Currently, as you can see, banned in the UI. Do not, you cannot pick that guy. He who must not be named. Like Lord Voldemort. Um, Why would you say that? Oh, sorry. I can't say that. Sorry, Harry. Um, Anyways, Joker, you're having a laugh, mate. He's got a good joke. I, no, I, I, know. I just wanted to make a joker joke, you know? Sorry. We like to have fun around here. And instantly, Arsene is nearly out. Yes. Um, immediately. Joker's a little, way more slippery than Wolf. He's got that maneuverability and the way he contorts his body like a gymnast. Yep. Should help him out with these... Uh, Both these characters quite... Um, like, acrobatic, maneuverable, athletic. The way Snake just drops to the floor, you know? You Snake gotta have, fan cam, bro. <laughs> you gotta have good, like, knees for that, man. Good joints. Oh, here we go. Speaking of joints, linking everything up there, bro one. Those drag downs coming in just right for Crispy bro one clean. there. 
Pull a special K, huh? <laughs> Coming in just right. Yep. Um, I think for like a lot more slow gunplay, which yep. I respect. Aim of the game is on this stage, you want to be keeping in the sumo circle. Look for the, the cheese logo. Stay around there, man. Hover around covering the everything in the, in the sumo circle. Bro, want to get out of there. Straight into an up smash. Reading the roll there. No, it would be so tragic after all this work. Oh, that always connected. Now getting the drag down onto the platy. Opting for the grapple. I like the boss music from uh, Bro One coming out. Who's right? the boss? I oh, am. Yeah. I feel like snakes have been a bit like the boss because it's like like a boss gimmick, you know, like with the nades and stuff. I mean, there is a character in the Metal Gear universe called Big Boss. Isn't that just Snake? No. What do you mean? Snake's the guy you play. He's the operative. He's not the man in the chair. Or is it the man or is it the woman in the chair? Anyways, um, different game. Speaking of different game, this going this one's going a bit differently for Bro One, right? This Can't find the kill, but like. You could just feel a change Looking in the wings. good. Yes, absolutely. Waiting it all out. Stop it, love. Row one just watching. Holding strong, staring him down. Yeah. Watching, waiting. Oh, this is awkward and we both have a sip. We both do have a sip. That's all right, though. Nice little respite. As Arsene is out, the guns come out. So another character change from these players, might I add. Yeah. Rizzi oh. starting off with Snake. Uh, with Lucina Wolf. Yeah. Now we've got this. And this is the feeling of having a couple characters in your pocket. You yes. Know? And I think it also ties back to the, the whole, they're from the same state. Maybe there's more of a meta here than we, we once thought, you know? Yeah. Layers to it, like an onion. Yes. Thanks, Shrek. Oh. That was a beautiful Nikita there. When you've got something as good as Nikita, you don't really need any more layers than just one, though. <laughs> Does everything for you. But that was some fantastic starting. movement from Finn, though. He spent a couple hours on the lab practicing yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Not getting the tech on the oh. platform, but is able to get a little dare from it. Rowan's still maintaining this lead, though. But this is where sort of Snake thrives. This this part where Snake's got... He can now just keep chipping away at Joker, you know? The, ish, the one thing I worry for with Finn is one hit and you're off stage at this percent with Arsene. And that gives... Bro, want a chance to get the kill, right? Yeah, he's just holding the cor uh, the center right now, Finn. Oh yeah, Bro. in the sumo ring. Like I said, one hit, and now suddenly, love the patience. Finn going to platy, can't go wrong. Oh, didn't go hard. Also, he's stalling out, out that arson a little bit more when he goes high. Yes. Getting oh, the no. up tilt, trying to alley oop it with the nade, not pulling it off. Speaking of the winds changing, mate, suddenly this is looking a whole lot more doable for Finn. Like I said, he can just chip, chip, chip away. Oh. Even the 50-50 fucked up the tech chase, unfortunately. Toss that grenade away. Oh, There's no... That, oh! Okay, that was actually fine. really well done from Mario 1 there, just to like have the grit to hold and go that low to get him there. Well, he recognised there was no C4, right? Yeah. And so, like, there's no B-reverse C4 coming out. It's going to be basically Snake having to up B. Easy does it, tap it in, and he's done that. Without Arsene. Speaking of Arsene, this guy is one millimeter away from coming out. Yep. Here he is. You're like in a Disney Channel movie, the crowd going wild. Woo! The second Arsene comes out. This could be bad for our Finn Nation right oh now. Oh my gosh, loving the movement. Bro, one capitalizing one. on oh. this. Finn's gone super low. All the way down there. Snake's still living. Oh, you're joking. Oh, he's popped the down air a bit too early. That would have been the stop. Love the patience from Bro One. Wow, he really got everything out of that ass that he wanted to. Yeah. I think he also. Oh! Wow, oh, just barely too slow. You almost have to buffer that. Maybe should have F smashed. I don't know. Bro One looking a lot stronger. Game four right now. Looking like it's about to be a game five. Oh my goodness. Finn's not going down easy though. Take it nice and slow because under I think Broan understands if he loses this stock, every chance he could just like back air doing Never it mind. though. And Snake Wrath or damage fast is what I'm trying to say. No, I got you. These yeah. two statesmen taking it to the limit, going game five. Five minute twenty game. That one was a slow burn. Yep. Absolutely. I don't even think it was a slow burn. It was just a long action movie. 
Lots so of explosions. Michael Bay would be so happy with that one. Maybe like a... Like a finale of a big, like, blockbuster title, like Harry Potter, but they've not split into two parts. It's just all in one part. It's all in one part. Yeah. Whoa, changing stages. Here we go. I think for something a little bit smaller. I wonder if we'll see a I'm going to be honest. Um, different, but also the same <laughs> in a lot of ways. It's just we're, we're going close quarters now. Slightly closer quarters. It's like a Mr. Beast video. <laughs> The what? circle got brought in a little bit closer. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. And that's when it uh, seems to get a little bit more interesting in the video. Mm, interesting. Yep. All right. Going game five. Things are getting quite interesting. Amelia dropping the C4 saying, that's my platform. You stay away, oh. bro. One. Once again, this is a win for Queensland. Win or lose for Finn or bro. One. True. As a Queenslander gets into top eight winner side. Finn blowing himself up. Oh, wow. They're catering the wrong way. Yeah. Definitely a rough start for Finn Nash. Oh, my goodness. Incredibly rough start for Finn Nash right now. You Bro almost one. feel like the F smash, Finn's instinct was to air dodge there on reaction, but it was the exact option Bro One wanted. It's what he was smelling out, mate. Like a bloodhound. <laughs> Finn was the blood. Bro One, ever the hound. Now, Bro One is up a stock yet. He gets his comeback mechanic because... That is fair and reasonable. Yes. Finn blowing up the C4 and popping it right back into the center. Bro One's Joker, it feels like it hasn't really been hit by these C4s, at least important spots. Again, a little bit quicker, a little bit more maneuverable. Much more of a guessing game, maybe, for Finn on these C4s. I feel like Bro And also, One, Nikita no. playing way less of a role in this matchup than the initial matchup. Oh, for matchup. sure, yeah. That grapple hook just like sort of letting Joker instantly just snap to the ledge. Yeah. Giving Nikita no time to come out. Oh, dropping shield. Finn kind of looking, staring down a mountain right now to climb. Something I really... Oh, wow, holding bro strong. One. Bro one with his... The, the pedal's all the way down, mate. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, you know, it's a bit like the Flintstones. His foot's gone through the pedal and he's just running the car around. <laughs> Flintstone style, baby. Something like, like not going slower at all. Foot's no, still on the gas. The, the gas is still connected somehow. The proverbial gas. Something I love about Bro One's ledge traffic is something we can all learn from. Yeah. Oh, oh stop it, mate. Stop is it. Is that he's not covering like every option instantly. And it, oh, oh. The three stock. Finn with a smile. Sorry, are you making face. a point, man? Nah, game's over, actually. And he's got that cheeky smile on his face, bro. One, he knows that was fucked. <laughs> he knows that Arsene just gave him three stocks there. Anyone who wears a shirt with their name on it, watch out. You know? They're probably psychotic probably a, or pretty good probably at Probably top player, game. yeah. Um, no, what I was saying about his ledge shaving was that he... It's like, all right. Finn, like, get, gets up. And then it's like... He's not able to punish it immediately, but he doesn't instantly just like overshoot into the corner. Like he holds strong, he keeps the slight advantage of the stage. Like holds the stage. Yeah. Because Finn's in the corner, he's still in disadvantage. He's still got to get out. Yeah. And then boom, he punishes him again. I think the hallmark of a top player is, I mean, you pick your moments to go in, but also being able to provide pressure without giving up center. You know. Mm, exactly. Throwing out. Uh, call outs on timings of jumps but then also drifting back so saying I'm still holding center you can't roll in for free I think something people can like learn from is like you don't instantly like if you're in disadvantage you don't instantly have to pick an option yeah. you can just like dance around for a little bit be patient mix up your timings yeah I think bro one's just like he's just really good at mixing up those options at, and more importantly those timings he yeah. seems very comfortable just being like hey I'm gonna wait here in the corner I ain't gonna just run in and I think what's extra impressive about uh, all of that is, yes, you're controlling your center's space and providing pressure, but you're also avoiding all of these, I mean, literal landmines that Snake's throwing at you and, mm. you know, grenades and everything like that. But, like, still maintaining advantage. Are you kidding me? Yeah. The he, amount of times I've been reversed by a Snake. He actually, that's a very good point. I he can't. I can't he, count that high. He did do a good job to maneuver around all like the fucking um, obstacle course, like it's Ninja Warrior, yeah. and then not give up much stage for it as a result of that. 
I think, think something crucial to the matchup. Clearly exploiting Snake's disadvantage. Oh, for um, sure. When whilst going out not deep. getting reversal, you know? Yeah. Going out deep for a lot of those, it's like, he didn't edge guard Snake too much, but when he did, he, it was like, yeah, I can edge guard this, yep. you know what I mean? Navigating to a screen rarely seen. Extra tiff. If Bro One could uh, convert his, like... Sorry, are we still on Bro One? Okay, yeah. I just on. think if Bro One could convert, like... Because he's, like, really... We were just saying he's really good at picking his timing, his options. Yep. If he could convert that into, like, Riz, he'd be like a, like a Sigma male. He'd be, like, the goat of picking you his suck. But, like, he None would, of those right? words are in the Bible, actually. What have you just said? <laughs> now, they're not You'd be in, epic swag. They're not in the Bible. They're in uh, my Bible. The Book of Dan. The Book of Dan. Jeez. Oh, because it's your podcast, Esports, Nick McKenzie, aka Extra. This is this a tough is our one. Boy. This is a tough one for us because, yes, Extra is our sponsor. sponsored by us, a player, but also Luma is a the, day one road dog homie. You the know? hometown hero. Yes. So, this almost feels like a like team kill, regardless, you know? But yeah, this for us specifically. For, for, uh, though, for us specifically, yeah. this is like a team kill right now. Yeah. Bro one is on the phone in the background. He's probably telling Bro two about his great victory that was shared on the Big Cheese Four stage. I'm happy for him. Dura um did make a prediction that Bro one's gonna go huge this tournament. Entering in is that was that that, 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 was that winner's side? That was from our podcast. Dura did did feel like Bro one was gonna perform. What's crazy, yeah, is underperforming top all winners. week into winner side top eight for Bro one. Into winning the tournament. We are gonna see another wolf though. Hopefully this wolf. Performing a little bit better than the uh, previous Wolf. But we've got me, Brawler. A very fast-paced matchup. I don't remember the last two times these people were played personally. But, but they're all legacy, they're legacy players. You know what I mean? Yes. They're used to the big stage. Yep. So I think it's something you notice a lot at Majors that the people that do send to make it far are the legacy players. Yeah. They've got specific things that... Like, external... Factors that aren't a part of the game, like stamina, calm nerves, things that you can't get unless you make it here, right? Yeah. Whereas, a, you know, a mid-level player trying to grind, how can you grind you, you tournament need, nerves? You know, yeah, exactly. you have to just keep playing. You just need to battle it in the fire, you know what I mean? Get used Absolutely. to it. Absolutely. Oh, the Tomahawk F2 coming and These two players. Level. Oh, rough SD from extra. You had the lead and you've thrown it away. Could even use up real quick if he yes. gets... Clearly looking for a back throw or dash attack. Finds neither. Maybe an up tilt. Maybe a wolf up tilt to close it out. Can you get over this up? Oh and my god, I up hate... No, 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 no. Shut no. up, fun. That was so extra about that. I don't need to tell him how to play his character. <laughs> oh, Tiff going for the money shot right there. What did you just say? The money shot. When no, don't repeat it. <laughs> the F smash to close it all <laughs> out. <gasps> Okay. Suicide kill. All right. Both players stoic. Yeah, both players going. All right. As if that didn't just happen. The nares in. That that the me brawler there. It both these characters actually, but specifically me brawler, has like a, a kitchen sink for a nair. It does yeah. everything for you. Yeah. Disadvantage, advantage. You're a bit bored. Press the nair button. You're not sure what to do. Press the nair button. Ledge trapping, edge guarding. Pots, pans, dishes, you name it. It does everything. Watch Nair do something. Are we going to wait till Nair does something? Oh. We might be waiting till game two because this is looking like it's going to close out soon. Not quite. Oh, holding down extra. He held down last Choosing time. Choosing the wrong option. But Tiff, not committing enough. A lot of flashing back punches coming out. Yes. Looking like a Dragon Ball Z. <gasps> Okay, yeah, the back air. Crowd erupting. Once again, looks very dead from the player cam's perspective. Trust me, viewers, there is a thriving crowd here. There is a crowd there, and they're all having a good time. They're just slightly off camera. Trust LJ Esports <laughs> Source, crew. trust me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the LJ Esports crew coming in large to support their yes. gal. And obviously, we're supporting Nick from the sideline as commentators. I love the fact that Nick is... 
committed to having the bucket hat on with headphones. Actually, yeah, I wasn't even strong enough to do that. Might be hindering uh, his gameplay. I'm not saying he's playing bad at all. I'm just saying might have SD'd because he couldn't see how far away he was. No. <laughs> End of the day, the he looks good. He's playing good. I feel good about extra. If Luma wins this, by the way, yeah. this will be the f her first major she's top hated post COVID. Very true. Yes. So this is a big one. This does mean a lot. Yes. But also, she's not playing like there's a lot of pressure, right? Seems cool, calm, and collected yes. right now. Call her a cucumber. You're definitely not panicking. Like I think the thing to clearly tell when someone's panicking. It's just like someone's use of buttons. I think yes. when people are spamming buttons, like every option they get, it's like, man, you're nervous. Yeah. It's like when you like talk a bunch, when you're nervous to like cover up that you're nervous, and it's like, yeah. boom, you're nervous. Just relax. You can see that sort of vibe in the gameplay. Like, yeah. But, but right now, both players pretty comfortable up here. Extra, however. Comfortably in the lead, right? Yeah. And yeah. in an uncomfortable spot, you might say, on ledge, but imagine you no. get out of there. We make it look easy. Um, tiff resetting, though. Could be another opportunity. There's a flashing map punch. Finds she was her way in. for it last game a lot, and that's the first time it's come come out well. When it's that telegraphed, you know, you gotta you got to go for those. And I think yeah. Tiff always ready on the trigger. I think she yep. has been a bit over-eager the past two games, so hopefully she can find her footing for those flashing map punches. I mean, we say that, but she's up 1-0, right? She is, yeah, but she didn't find a lot of opportunities last time and reversed herself. This is the thing about a road dog. You can be... I understand that you're you're not being overly critical. You're just being real. Just like, I'm impressed by your gameplay, Tiff. I know you can do better. Hey, that's that's what we do as um, Christmas Chef Podcast Esports. We keep it real. Yeah, absolutely. We always keep it real. Um, something I do admire about Nick's gameplay, I just want to talk about. I was playing in friends with him. And like usually, boom, up till taking another Dude, I'm stop. I'm so upset. Um, he could have just up and out of shield. Why did he drop shield up to? You've definitely told him something. It. Anyways, but, um, about his gameplay. He will pick a defensive option, and like a lot of people like pick the noob defensive options. You know, like a spot dodge or a shield. Yeah. But like he picks like slight drift away. <laughs> he it's like a it's like stronger defensive options. You know what I mean? Oh, but maybe you should have air dodge there, flashing Mac punch. It's like landing. the difference between these top players. You know? Yeah. It's like small, but it makes such a difference. Yeah, extra feels like a very cerebral player, right? Yeah, like he, like, like you were spot on. Like instead of spot on, he do like a drift away there, and it's like, wait, he's using a hitbox while drifting away. It's like, actually, what do I do? <laughs> like that's insane. A wolf actually. hitbox while drifting away? Yeah. Good luck trying to punish drift away wolf now. Are you he's like a me? paper plane. He's just going as far. As, like he goes the distance. And extra trying to go the distance. Speaking right of going the distance, now. extra reads that with a down smash, but doesn't quite connect. Wow, going okay. through the stage, just sort of shifting layers. We've like, got two we're doing one stage we want reverse now, right? flashing Mac punches. Can we get a third from Tiff? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. How about a third up to coming out from Wolf? Um, extra, yeah, I'm extra sick of you mentioning this up to, mate. I swear it's just all right. Oh, speaking of all right. And extra putting on extra damage to sort of get Tiff in a more killable range. Oh, holding, holding down. down. Go for the Hail Mary. Fuck it. We ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair read, though, because obviously, as Brawler Tiff has been landing on stage quite a lot. Yes. Bit over eager, though, going for a read that's not really there and just kind of guessing. It's so dangerous to be on the ledge against Wolf, so I understand why you're like keen to skip yeah. ledge trapping as like a phase of the game. You Might just as get well. right back into the action. This is definitely up tilt range, by the way. One unsafe <laughs> move, and that up tilt is coming out. But also, if Brawler lands an up tilt on the, underneath the plat, could be an up air, up air, up air. Dash attack, oh my god. Boot to the face, nearly oh. pulling it off. Calling out the stall off from Tiff. <gasps> oh. Uh oh. Crowd losing their minds on that one. Connor screaming his that head off. That could have been the reversal Tiff needed. That That's might do back it. throw range, potentially. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe both of us went, maybe it is Super immediately quick. died. Yeah. Instantly shot off the screen. Unbelievable. 1-1 one, one for these gamers. Absolutely. Teed up for an all right set, huh? Like I mentioned previously, gone for <laughs> What? Nothing. Okay. L like I said previously, this is Tiff's oh. um, top eight. P 
potential potential set debut before getting right? into top, top eight debut. Yeah, potentially. So game one. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I was gonna say game one. Like John Bombo got ahead of himself last night, saying <laughs> I'm gonna win Big Cheese four and then get bowing out at like 30 cents. Drinking four bottles of soju into extreme hangover into 17th place. Oh, game and watch switch. Oh, here we go. <coughs> the win into the switch actually. True yes. Combo. But I'm the saying, counter pick war starts. Man. We could see a potential rattle from Tiff if, like, you can see the finish line. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he's got to hold her mental strong. Yeah. And Absolutely. Game & Watch is just the right character to put that pressure on the mental. This character is so obnoxious and it has just some real bullshit just oh. like that. that Not you're killing. Gonna be you're alright, you're alright. Not killing. Mate, Tiff she lost was that at one 60 60%. It did kill Spark, though. It nearly killed. That was yeah. pretty good DI for Pretty Tiff. cooked, yeah. Speaking, Speaking of cooked. cooked. Oh, oh, hello, Daniel. Hello, Chef, actually, at the ledge. Not you, my good friend. Oh, okay. Chef at ledge. It's literally turn your brain off, ledge trap. Yeah. So good your mum could do it. There you go. Tiff trying to skip ledge trapping once again. Recognising Chef's pretty good. I don't want to have to deal with that one. Oh, pulling out a high up B. Can we get a second one? All right, 74%. Now, this is no jump on extra. To watch. Extra dangerous. All right, can we make a pact to stop making like extra puns? You made two, and I made one. Yeah, that was kind of. I didn't realize you were keeping a tally, mate. Oh, that's dead, actually. No, nah, it's not at all. Sorry, I gave flashing Mac punch too much credit there. Oh, that is though. Get up, F two. Chair to the face. That move is faster than the speed of sound. Hold up. That is no jump on Tiff right now. That is a nasty spot. Good roll in, but both shielding. Extra finding the better of that scramble. Bang. Yeah, I gotta yeah, say, yeah, yeah. Um, do you think Tiff prefers Brawler Game & Watch or Palu Game & Watch? Well, I don't know, because... Um, well, Hold on, Extra won the last match, which meant it was Tiff's counterpick, so she's decided to stay Brawler for Game & Watch. Right, okay, yeah. I was thinking that. I was thinking she does prefer Brawler into uh, Game & Watch, because uh, for those of you who don't know, Jordan Ridley Poppet won uh, Game & Watch main. Still comes to a tournament or two, so Tiff definitely... Warmed up for this matchup. Has the experience. Maybe not the player matchup though. I've heard they're very different players. They are. When I was playing extra earlier today. Oh, there we go. Rough DI. Beautiful conversion coming in from Luma there. And at such a crucial percent as well. Like extra was still like mid percent. Yeah. And she's creeping up to death percent there. Really brought her back into this game and winning it. Bomb straight to the face. What were you saying about um, different players? You extra, extra and Poppet definitely are different styles of players. Yep. I can't talk about Super analytically, but I can tell you right now that she's got the character experience, but not the player one. Right. Well, possibly the player one, right? How, how much history is there with these players? They're both I'm seasoned honestly vets. honestly not too sure. I can't remember the last we time. We suck at this, man. None of That's us like, good, know what's going on. We're just sort of going through the motions. <laughs> Holding strong there, not letting it rip. Yeah. Blade style. Speaking of going through the motions, extra throwing out a few nares, upbeats out of his down smashes. Yeah. Yes, There's you are so one. correct. Stop hammer time. Extra says, "Oh, as he lands, and he's done a 180 smash. on the smashes. He's gone from down straight down to up. up. He knew what he was looking for. He knew the percent range, and he 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 striked my friend." Call him Arnold Schwarzenegger, the way he be going down, up, down, up. Do you know what I'm... <laughs> yes. Quite, I, I was worried because it was a little bit niche that like you might not get that and I just have to keep saying down, up till you say, yeah, man, you know what? me out. I will tell you right now, it was funny and then you went, yeah, you know what that's from me? <laughs> it's you know what I mean? It's he took me out of the joke. Sorry. But um, we'll see if Tiff's been taken out of the game going on into game four. 2-1 is the current score. Going back to the wolf? Can I just say... Did just click game and watch? Can I just on? say, Gravity is a prophet in chat. Watch him say I'm swapping back to wolf. <laughs> oh, stop it, man. Stop it. Are you serious? He's had a dream or something, man. <laughs> He's a prophecy. Prophet Can I get your back. predictions for, uh, like, results? Oh, Gravity, Gravity why are you there, mate? What's the motto numbers going to yeah. be next week? <laughs> Help a brother out. All right, same stage. A lot of these sets have boiled down to, let's just pick the same stage over and over again. These players, they figured out the uh, stage Ooh, meta. F-Smash not quite hitting. He had the right idea, just not the timing. Here we go. Oh. 
barely missing that. I can hear Kali's screeches every time an up air hits. It's on a that very button. distinctive scream, right? Yeah, it's loud and annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Must be Connor. Wow. Good for getting flashbacks to that fly on his face yesterday. Hold up, that up smash looks like... Loud and annoying. That up smash looks like Jalare just scooping up Luma there. For, a, for those of you who don't know, uh, Jalare is a... Is that not Ice cream Oswai? shop? I don't know, man. They're in that Baskin and Robbins. <laughs> <laughs> but extra take this first look. Now he's stuck on ledge. Yeah. Mm. Not out of the woods yet. All right, now it finds back his way. Ledge. Yeah. A little oh, bit extra credit. Here we go. Oh, read the. Oh. oh. Mate, this is the reading corner because extra is getting a few good reads in. I feel like extra would have loved silent reading time as a kid. The flashing back punch. Definitely not on like Where's Wally. Definitely oh on like. Oh my goodness gracious. Definitely on like Percy Jackson, you know, <laughs> as like a six year old kid. Oh, dude. Extra, extra not killing. Extra has like dialed in. Tiff laughing it off. Extra's like dialed in. He's getting the reads. He's just not getting the timing. That is no jump. Oh, and Ned, once again, doing everything you need it to. The difference in player right now. Tiff showing a bit of emotion when things don't quite go her way, but laughing it off. Extra cool. Calm, he loves it. Tiff loves the stage, and Extra is just like he's just playing the game. Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow! Smashes. This is actually silent reading time. I don't think that's the difference between everybody. It's like yeah, like we're having a laugh, but like we ain't here to fuck around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not laughing at that up smash killed me. <laughs> not fucking personally. Fun. I'm trying to get winner side top eight. For I love the first a joke. Time. I love a joke. Where's it's the joke? COVID. Where's the joke? Where's the joke? You know it's a joke. Oh no! Don't. Whoa, that could have been nasty for Tiff on the hand of... You go, oh, why didn't Extra just finish the game right there, mate? <gasps> Speaking of finishing, oh, oh Tiff can't finish her food. He did up B instead of the side oh. B, mixing up the timing. They're throwing Tiff yeah. off her game. Ooh, Extra looking like he's sitting in the driver's seat and Luma is his passenger oh. princess. <laughs> finally hitting one of these F smashes. Looking dire for the LJE crew right now. Because it's your podcast, esports it will be up though. Stocks have never been higher. I tell you. Best team in WA having to outsource When we say we back the right horse, you've got to trust it, man. On race day, come come find us. Oh, oh stop it, mate. Actually, the fakest kill screen of all time. Oh. The back air hitting the flashing mat punch. Extra. Space. Moving on to the top eight winner's side, Tiff. Not being able to do it. No. She still has a chance in losers. Absolutely. But her top eight dreams have slipped Away, just not a touch. Quite. No, yeah, just not a quite, touch. Not quite. She went from two. She went from two hand grip to. So she went from, like two two hands on the ledge. She went like, from two hand grip. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? So, what are you doing? Played one too many hard solos. What are you doing, man? You always do this. Make things weird. I was gonna say up next. I don't know. I saw Slim Boy walking up, and I was like, "Fuck off." <laughs> no way. Did you make it out of pools, man? Up next, look, we're gonna be just as surprised as the viewers are at home. Heaven and Con Gaming, again, big win for South Australia. Wow. Yeah, no matter what, South Australia punching a ticket into top eight. What is Winner's this? side, might Dude, I add. What is this? This is not a seeding issue. This is just like crazy coincidences. Shit's just happening, man. Yeah. <coughs> Wait, how's my hair looking, chat? Is it looking weird or am I crazy? Is it I've looking been weird or am I just simply insecure? <laughs> I've been wearing a fluffy orange hat all day. Same. <laughs> While Look I'm at gaming. This. Look at this hair hanging down on my head. Jeez. You've got the curtains and I've got the... <laughs> thing is, the curtains just like keep closing and I want them to stay open. Let the, let the light in, you know? Dude, how angry the other stream runs going to be if I have to go to the bathroom? The, th the crazy thing is, I also have to go to the bathroom. Shit. I think we're locked in, man. I think you got to hold strong. Oh, no. How many um, top eight qualifying matches are there left? Sweet. <laughs> I'm getting done over right now, so hard. That's all right. Holy shit. You want to ask him one more? Yo, how, how many um, top eight qualifying sets are there left? How many top eight quals are there left? How many more have we got? Just one. From winners, and then four and losers. Okay. Jesus Christ, Christian. We're about halfway through. You better hold that in, bro. Hold. This hold is like line. when you're going on a road trip with your parents and you're a bit of a young lad. Yeah. And dad's pissed off. He's had a bad morning and you just got to hold strong. Next servo in at least 20Ks. We're you and I, we're looking at a good like <coughs> hour here at least. Nice. Oh, don't tell me that. 
But you know what? This this kind of helps us get in the mindset of the players. Up there, they're being pushed to their limits on the sticks, and we're getting pushed to our limits in other places. Getting a little bit sweaty, though. Really? Yeah. That bad, huh? Wow. Well, according to Little Z, if you need to go wee or shit, like, during a set, yeah. apparently your primal instincts kick in and it helps you play better. Interesting. I don't know Does if Does it help you commentate true. better? Guess we'll find out. Yeah. Maybe I'm a bit more quick to the punchline. Yeah, trying to just get the words out. <laughs> I think there will be more of a sense of urgency. Right. I mean, this matchup in particular feels quite frantic, urgent, you know? Lots of interactions happening, but also maybe not. Maybe not oh, a lot of interactions a happening. Selfie. Oh, look at them go, huh? Saying, look at us, mum, we made it. Look at Con's jawline, Jesus Christ. You could cut a diamond on that. Looking like. Look, like at, a look filter, at my jawline. You know? Like a face app filter. It literally looks like the face app filter of the jab. Yeah. But it's just him. How is that genetics, actually? Do I don't think it's just genetics. It's like quite a low body fat percentage. Can, okay. We're just going to be your tum tum showing in front of all the streets. Whoa, whoopsies. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry, I didn't realize. Stop the battle. So we're Sticker looking at. Symphony. We're looking at weekly vac number 165 right now. Jump Bumbo's been eliminated before top eight. Tune in next week to see this exact matchup happen in uh, losers finals. I don't know. Can we pull up the head to head? Is that a thing we can do? No, I can't. Nah, sweet. Huh? Okay, oh. yep, no worries. Alright, if there's some SA, not, no, no grass toucher, hit us up. Lawmaster is what you should say. Drop in the comments below. Head to head on these fellas. Not gonna lie, I have seen quite a few con clips on Twitter. A lot of them involve. Maybe Evan. we'll be a part of a con clip. Yeah, possibly. G'day, con Twitter. Excited, How you doing? excited to showcase the clips that um, will be appearing. Are you calling con. it? Well, we gotta wait for gravity to get confirmation on that one, mate. Oh, immediately. Jesus Christ, Foxman is so cool. Yeah, I love that though, reflecting it into cancel the lag and follow up with a like combo. That's how you know they've played plenty of times. No Con matchup inexperience. It's big cheese. Oh, but there might still be a little bit of cheese. Hell, bro. Big cheese for a reason, just catching that jump with a dead stop going at 50%. Con is definitely more of a patient Fox. Yeah, like I wouldn't call him a con artist despite the name, right? No. Oh, jeez, but that There's was... There's a bit of a robbery there, That though. was a bit of a robbery, though. Beautiful drag down. But he's definitely a lot more patient. Wow. Happy to hold his ground in front of people. And also, like, not just, like, always running in. Yeah. I think he's really good at using one of Fox's, like, the best parts of Fox, which is his movement, right? Mm, yeah, exactly. I think that sort of gameplay is good at a major because, like, a lot of people are going to be nervous hitting a lot of buttons, and it's like... And you're playing like a Oh my oh, gosh. Jesus We're talking about the patience from Con as he just flies in to the legs of Ken. By the way, can I just say, Heaven is coming off a DD win. Yeah. Seed one of the tournament. Yeah. And Con is like sitting there. He's not wanting to run in, but hey, mate, you're down two stocks, brother. You nice. gotta do something about that. Parry up smash, mate. That's what we do. I think that's what he was waiting for to be able to your parry up smash. Such a top player thing to be waiting for. I'm just gonna parry the next move that comes down. Okay, man. I'll be lucky if I shield it in time, let alone parry, you know? <laughs> so trying to go for down. a footstool. Not coming out in time. Heaven able to recover. Oh. The con artist trying to go for some cheeky shit. Breaking his again. focus right there. A few lasers, yep. Playing it's a bit of laser tag, Con. Making me nostalgic, honestly. Dark Zone. The birthday parties at Dark Zone. Playing a bit of laser tag. It's also very clear to me that Con is, like I said, good at this pace game. And Heaven's trying to keep up with that pace as well. 
But it's a lot. It's evident that Connie's just comfortable in that position, you know? Yeah. I think Kevin's going to have to find his footing in future games instead of just trying to play to this pace. So you, you, think, you think despite Heaven's stock lead, clear dominance of this game, that he needs to adapt? I think, I think, think the right on the wall and cons. Hey, I think in future, he's had a good advantage there. I'm just saying, in yep. neutral future games, right. he can work on that, you know? Yep. Oh, waiting it out, but not getting the turnaround. Nice Con, a bit slow on the trigger, mate. Oh, thank you so much. Got a fan just coming past. Didn't quite hear. He said he loved what our podcast. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Maybe we'll, you'll see what I mean in the coming games. Okay. I think, yeah, you see what I don't see. I'm just saying. Hunts and Collectors could, playing do a little you see what I see? No, I don't actually. He's um, playing patient as well, but it's like, when they're both playing patient, Con's getting more openings, yep. and getting more percent off it than, than Heaven. I think that's just more of a, like, that's more indicative of a character difference. Fox is going to get a lot of openings, mm. maybe a few less, a bit less uh, percent off those openings. I think it's also a case of Con picking his moments better. Okay. And Heaven's more used to like the pace of the game. Okay. Yeah. You, you, sir. <laughs> Source, trust me, bro. You know what I'm... But like... Because Con's happy to play patient. He, that's where he thrives. And it's evident that that's not where Heaven's comfortable playing. But Heaven's okay. trying to play in that realm. So Con's controlling the pace of the game. I think... Even though he won, he's he got a few early stops. He's controlling... Yes. There so was that down air read, yeah. He's controlling the pace, but he's very much... Flinging himself at Ken, and Ken loves that, mate. This is definitely a matchup of like Con getting more of those interactions, and then when Heaven gets in, it's like he just gets a stop. You know yeah, yeah. I mean? You, I mean, you see that, uh, I don't even want to say F2, but whatever like kick Ken just did, huge crescent range kick? on it, man. Is it, uh, wasn't it, I don't, it didn't look like a crescent kick. That's crescent kick. Oh. And that's what I'm talking about. That's the nature of this game. That's when Heaven mate. gets in, that was like two openings, and then yeah. that's Fox's stop. That's what I mean. It's like Ken has two modes. He has. In your face, aggressive, I'm nearing onto your shield mode. And then he has sentry turret mode, where he just stands there, and his tilts just outrange everything you can do, right? And when Con's flinging himself at Heaven like that, mate, that's, that's money for Heaven. That's Heaven for Heaven. F smash, nice, setting up for the edge guard. Of opting to not go down there and get him. Oh, wow. Focusing through the back air. Really I nice love the stuff. weak dash attack. Oh, love that as well. Some hungry box DI on that up smash. <laughs> Wasn't ready for it in time. Con, hungry for that kill, man. He's that was so a, good at hitting these up smashes, right? That was a beautiful opening and ledge trap from Con there. Yeah. Really making me shut the fuck up on what I was saying before about how he's getting his damage. Yeah, very critical of Con. Did you lose to him or something, man? No, I haven't played Con ever, actually. I'm not critical. I was praising his I know, I know, I know. Son of a bitch. That is a poke, though. Something that is interesting about this matchup yeah. is that, obviously, Fox Recovery is bad, but the Shodos can't really just run off an edge guard like normal characters, you know what I mean? It's very much a read to run off down there, you know? So it's like, Connie's just... The recovery's a bit easier for him, which is something that's yes, nice. absolutely. But the trade-off is just Ken's insane advantage state. <laughs> I think another thing about it is... For a Shoto to go off an edge guard, they give up their nice. amazing like ledge trapping. Yeah, exactly. Action, right, risk reward, and like we saw just then, um, Heaven cute. was able to get the stock just by ledge trapping. No need yeah, to exactly. run off. These players are loving the right side of the stage. Left side feeling a little bit left out. Maybe like the yeah, third just wheel. a little bit. Forward oh, throw though. Uh, Con showing up some love. Here you go. Give him a little house tour of small battlefield. Let's see who thrives on the left. Heaven. Looking like it's his home, actually. Yeah. Back to the right. Back to the right because oh, oh no, that's the do it. focus. That was fucking filthy. Con looking left heaven. because heaven is not treating him right. <laughs> <laughs> Going straight into game three. Two zero up heaven. Man, the expression on Con's face is just like fuck. <laughs> like you've just sat there for two games. You've been given the mitts, and you're not really sure how to combat it right now. But also, could trust me, bro. Trust me, man. Con's got this. <laughs> Jeez, bit. No, I what did Con do to you? He did nothing to me. But just, I, I did. I still don't get what you were saying. What your point was? Let's talk about it, man. I was talking about how Con would pace the game in game one. My initial understanding was that Con. Able to control the pace of the game 
I you think he patient. wasn't able to control the pace of the game there? That, uh, that, that was Kevin's show. Yeah. I mean, game one, he was able to control the pace, and Kevin, instead of like fighting with his own pace, was like trying to be like, all right, bro, you want to play like that, I'll play like that. Exactly. I think and Kevin's I think, approaching a lot less with the lead. And I think it was like evident that if they were to play a whole game like that, Con would come out on top, <laughs> and Kevin would have to change that and not play that patient. And as we saw in the last game, yeah. Kevin didn't play to that pace. He played to his own rhythm. His own, he beat of his own drum. Yeah. And he was yeah. at, that seemed quite, that seemed a lot more effective. I feel like what Con, <laughs> this is so funny to say, but I feel like Con has to get a lead, right? What? If he goes down, Stop in, it. if he goes Don't down, he's going to take three stocks as well, brother. <laughs> Can you shush? I have a point to make. Well, if, Con's oh, gone with him. Oh, okay. Uh, wolf pack. Is it the third wolf in top eight quals we've Must seen? Must be a rough matchup. Um, oh, the stream runner was quick on that character I, change as well. Oh, shout that's off to production. Um, what I have, what I was gonna say is, uh, if Heaven's got a lead, he can just go again in that one mode of Ken, a Sentry Turret, right? Yeah. And it feels like it's gonna be the same thing with Wolf because again, there's a, there's a few more disjoints, right? But still not, you're not gonna outrange that. Uh, Whatever, medium F tilt or whatever it is from Ken. You know? That is another move that's like a kitchen sink. It does everything for you. Yeah. Oh. He's open game three with the same stock. Yeah. He took game two, if that makes sense. Like, speaking of kitchen sink, he's just throwing the whole kitchen sink at Con. <laughs> oh, that is filthy, that trip. <laughs> now, here's the thing, right? Con, forced to approach. Heaven. Just chilling, right? Just dashing back Sentry and forth. Sentry mode. Look, he's throwing out that little kick twice yeah. now. And now suddenly, you're on ledge! That fucking, no. I told you, that F2 does everything he wants. Yes, you're not Con on ledge, you're actually dead. Con looking disbelief that he was like, you fucking dude. Yeah, little, little smile. I wouldn't be smiling, man. I think at this point, he's kind of gone, fuck. Yeah, he's, he's like, oh, yep, yeah, you got me. But anyway, big win for SA. One of their players will make it well, through top hey, come eight, on, man. win his side. It's not over yet, are you serious? I'm saying regardless. Oh, oh okay. hold up. What point are you making? <gasps> Dang, Heaven trying to end it in style. Oh my god. Ripping it just a bit too long. Con barely Not getting out of that chase. deep dark path. Oh, the way. Ah. Back here in the wrong way. You got out of that crazy like string. Oh my goodness. Press situation. And then you just got to ledge against Ken, you know? He's covering everything right now. It's honestly impressive. He's not getting too over eager to do something cool. Oh, the tech as well. Wow. Heaven ready for everything, mate. Heaven doing a lot of jumping. Obviously trying to get one of his aerials. Oh, wow. Crescent kick. Wow. And no pop-off. Just stoic fist bump. No. Jump's done. Crunching his ticket into top eight winner's side. Congratulations Heaven. to Heaven and congratulations to South Australia. I'm liking this big cheese. Yeah. Same. Getting a lot of um, variety in the plays in top eight. Usually, yeah, man. just like Victorian Central. And it's like, oh. And there's Ghost, who's playing Steve. Yeah. But this one, we're getting a bit of a... Uh, bit of a... Well, it, it's platter. Bit of salami. Yep. Bit of WA. No, wait. No, not yet, actually. <laughs> bit overly Fingers there. crossed. What do you know? More Victorian players. There is a lot of them. Why are we always just, like, if it's, if a Oz Smash Major is a Sunday yeah. roast. Wait, wait, we got to get off now. It feels like, oh, what? Hold on, I've just checked the chat. Everyone's saying, oh, stay. Stay, stay. Do we actually need to get off? Oh, what, oh, we're okay. done? You know what? Wow. It felt quick because the sets we got to commentate were just absolutely spectacular. Time flies when you're having fun. So I just saw Jason standing like, you right? Like, can I help you, mate? <laughs> Oh, All right, <laughs> we had fun. Hope you guys Hope had fun. At welcome. Home. See you later. Enjoy the rest of the stream, team. You got a even better duo coming on.
Dude, oh, and they've chopped. They did not wait for us. No, They're they didn't. In. And they've done Millennium Blade. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, like, we're so back. <laughs> we're so back. Wow. All right, well, great to be on with you, Jason. Yeah. Do on. And straight into, like, the Vic v Vic. Yeah. They've got us in for a, a long haul here with these And teams. this is, like, actually a boss battle for Beat because yeah. he is known for his his pure hatred and disgust of all things Luigi. Yeah, he's, um, so this is pretty much like a Dark Souls we've been for ages. Like, he just didn't know how to do it. Uh, and then he's worked it out. Uh, more often than not, he takes it over Harry Malakoff. But we're going to see if, uh, I mean, he's looking pretty good right now. It's, it's a challenge, because I think you work it out, but the scars remain. Oh, yeah. You know, like, like the wounds. It's like Dark Souls. It's like every time you die, you, like, remember the attack that killed you. Yeah. You know? And when you get hit by it, the reaction is visceral. By the way, I love down B slide off. It's, like, such a cool option. Yeah. Like, you down B, and then if it's like, oh, I'm going to get punished, I'm just going to leave. And he's just like... Like, I'm gone now. Yeah, yeah, See you later. it's like, like a that, magician. And look at that, there, there goes Beat, like a magician. Send you to the blast zone. Back air? Okay. Crazy, the combo break with that down B. Down smash? Oh. Not dead. Okay. Interesting option, but I liked it. Dude, that was such clean movement. Back air? Okay. Nice reversal from Beat. Oh, he's done. Yeah, See you just later. actually the cold blooded killer. Yeah. Like the that was the McCree. Like the revolver at the hip. Like bang, you're dead. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's weird because Falco obviously just like Luigi, big combo, big big time combo player. But now two socks down, or one sock down rather. I just feel like even though Falco like has the big combo trees, um, in CQC like Luigi just has the advantage. Oh yeah. He has all these buttons that are just like obtuse actually, like these giant buttons that you have to respect and that he can keep pressing. Might hit him with the dark tech here. No. So Falco can like, oh nice. That's so good. Falco can like fare against the stage, it's really good. Oh yeah, I've yeah. seen that. That would be pretty crazy. Beat's looking a lot more comfortable now. Like Yeah, he's done. Yeah. That's actually Wario Dare. Yeah. But they, they put yeah, it on it's Falco. Actually, it's the same idea. Um yeah, I did that to Vendeavor at Floating Point and he beat it every time. <laughs> pretty <laughs> insane. Oh, oh my no. god. Beat my meat. Okay. Sneaking through that web of hitboxes. Very Dark Souls. Okay, yeah, get out yeah, of there. Just gotta leave. And you know what? Oh, no. Oh, guaranteed. Wow. Wow. So I had the jab reset. Decided to not risk it. Go for the extra down tilt. It's... Uh, ring rolling. It's, yeah. It's good. It's good. It's tried and true. But hey, that could have gone either way. Um, these guys are very clearly... Like, the push and pull is very visible. Yeah. Um, especially, like, I feel like the first half of that game, uh, Malakoff was just so comfortable using that Battlefield platform again. I feel like Beat doesn't take him back to Battlefield. No, I think we're right back. You think we're right back? Like, Malakoff looks so good on the ledge. Like, keeping that ledge trapping going. Really? Damn. I don't know. Maybe, maybe my brain doesn't work the way yeah, that I these mean, guys... I think, if, from my perspective... I don't think stage did uh, was the reason that he lost his game. Like, so he I, goes, I don't think All so. Right, comfort, battlefield. Yeah, comfort. Yeah, that's true. You you can't under overstate comfort. You can't understate comfort. Damn this plunge. Oh no. Oh. Bit of strife. Yeah. Really. He's just and so comfortable out yeah, there. Yeah, dude. Like, uh, Harry plays a bit differently in majors. I don't know. I mean, that being said, we watch. I hope he doesn't watch this one back. But the last two games of him versus Borrow 1 was the worst I've ever seen a single human being play in my life. <laughs> but he's brought it back. He's in here. I'd say Harry, he's got the, the Rebs thing. There are a couple of other players who have it. Um, your mental is really good because you enjoy the game a lot. 
Yeah. I think. Like, you'll regularly see this guy, like, lopping during sets and stuff. I think it's, um... It helps a lot. Okay, good tech. Nah, you can't do that. Oh, no, no. Yeah, Patch is kind of getting, like, I don't know. This ledge. No, like, the pressure down here, off stage, on the ledge, Pat can't escape. And every time he gets put on stage, he gets sent oh, right back God. out. See you later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, their yeah, reaction. Pat doing the face, everyone's thinking. Visceral. Like that, oh that I'm like, he the axis through the laser. That was crack. Nuts. Oh, I might be in trouble. Yeah, I don't know about that. Fair. It's okay. Your Pat, Pat's very good at, um, you know, pulling it down, making it like locking in. Like that's been a bit all weekend. Yeah, He's locking in. Locking in. He's very good. He's a pace setter. Yeah, for sure. Um, and that's like something that is very valuable when you play against a character like Luigi. Like, Luigi can't set the pace. Like, if you run away from Luigi, what's he gonna do? Oh, look at this. Dark Tech. Avoids it. Might be in a bit of strive. Oh. He's done. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Actually put in the ground. That's basically what happened to me. <laughs> like every single stop. Just now, like... Now it's really hard. Yeah. Now, this is, this is actually the lock-in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... You can actually hear it, like the brainwaves, like to himself. He's like, okay, he looks, he's still lock the... in. That's like the Federer, or like the Nadal, like the the mouth thing, like you, you know, like you clean your mouth up after a set. All right. I feel like people have done that. Okay. Like tennis players. All right. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm insane. <laughs> That's. Yeah. You know, we've just watched so much heaven, like these crazy block strings. Yeah, right. You know what? Luigi down tilt does it better. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, it's it's nuts. What do you do? Nice. I like the money. I like just like going back to the center of the stage. Like, let's not let Malakoff have this this off stage game. Dude, okay, yeah, keep look it going. At this. You're fine. Inconsistency from Luigi Cyclone. I definitely... I, I hate getting in your own head about stuff like, oh, like he died to the the Dark Tech. So he's not going to do it again, right? But I think you just got to trust, like... Oh, no. It was a nice idea with the Reverse Nair, but... Oh, oh. Like, Pat just can't get a stock lead. That's fine. He he finds the stock here if he's... If he's yep, very nice. Keep this going. I would almost say too much respect. Oh, no. We saw the SDI there. Like, yeah. he's really, really trying hard to fall out of this cyclone. I mean, this is it, man. He's got to. If you didn't SDI at all, now's the time to do it. Nice. You actually don't care about 42%, I reckon. Nah, not really. 72? Yeah, it starts to get. Like, this, these interactions, well, the interaction, guess, yeah. yeah. The one that set him off stage was crucial, right? Yeah. Like, iframes ended, like, he, he was no longer invulnerable after getting off the Angel platform, and then he was off stage, oh, and that was... Done. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, he's down to the fruit jab, weird. Nice. Off stage, you need something here. Very nice. Okay, this is good for Pat. I'd go for it, man. I mean... Like, you got nothing to lose here? No, nah, like, it's so hard. Like, now it's... Now it's fucking hard, because it's, it's over, yeah. You gotta give it up. That was a very well-placed dare from... Like, instead of doing the thing that everyone always does, which is wait for the Firebird... Yeah. Like, he was like, oh, I know how, like, the physics of Falco Phantasm or Falco Illusion work. Yeah. I know that he drops into that spot, and I'm going to go there and place my dare. It was... Very good example of punishing Falco's weaknesses. Some of you in the crowd might take a few tips from Harry Malakoff. Oh, ooh, ooh, okay, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, yeah. It's hard. It's it's like I mean, it's hard. I mean, and they've played so much as well. Yeah, these guys are like two of the 
of the thinkiest players. They they like to think they, they are. like to think they are. <laughs> they they they're in their heads a lot, in their own heads. Yeah. Um, definitely doing a bit of mental acupuncture. I think. They and they've thought about Falco Luigi a lot. Especially Pat. Pat. Oh yeah. Pat like Falco Luigi. I think if you were to you know the um the Pepe Silvia meme, with like. Uh, that's always sunny. It's like Charlie, and there's like the wall yeah, of, the wall. and he's like, he's like this. He's like, yeah. you don't understand, you know, like that. That's like Pat's wall at home, and it's all pictures of Luigi and yeah. darts and little strings, and that's that's what he's got. He's like the cyclone, and when the cyclone comes off the platform, you can up tilt. Yeah, yeah. Crazy though. It's got and, a good. And Harry's just like the monkey. <laughs> yeah, Harry's red is like the symbols. Like yeah. Uh, Nah, but both those guys are um, like putting in the hours every week. They're really yeah. like we saw the push and pull, and it's it's looking like Zav versus Finn. Yep. Zav's like getting off stage. He's okay, going for Zav a walk, saying hi to Cloudy, doing a bit of collusion. Yeah. Bit of preset coaching. Oh, Cloudy's coming up. Yeah, it's a blind pick. Oh, it's the blind pick, of course. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the Xavier. They're both multi-character specialists, multi-character generalists. Yeah, but I think they're just going to end up Peach Snake. I, don't, I think that I think Zav's tried to bluff it out, but that's, I think it's just Peach Snake. That's Giga Brain, though. Yeah. Like the again, the big thinky. Yeah. Like why? Why not? You know what I mean? Like take the advantage. If yeah. he falls for the trick, then then you're happy. And if he doesn't, well, then we're back to square one. As, like I watched Zav fight Bradley, mm. and then I played against Zav, and I was like. Well, Peach is playing on another level today. Yeah, he was looking really good. Yeah. I watched. So I think I think it would be silly to swap. At least off rip. Even his I mean? like set versus Ghost was like so night and day, you know, like. We'll see, we'll see which characters these guys lock in once they. And Finn's gotten here with Lucina. Ah, uh, with uh, Snake. With Snake, yeah. I, I feel like Finn's Lucina is like a little bit sparser these days. Mm. Like at least with the past couple of majors, uh, Snake seems to be old reliable. Yeah. Um, Lucina is like the little, a little bit of spice sometimes, but like there's so much to be said about play having that character like like Snake in your pocket, which is like a rock solid game plan. Rock solid game plan filled with explosives. Yeah, uh, I think so. These two played at BAM. Yeah, I and can. And Finn won at BAM. Okay, yeah. yeah. I think if there ever was a player. I mean, it'd be so interesting. Do you think. Do you think Zav swaps for Snake? Do you think Zav swaps to Min Min? How does Snake Min Min go? Like, Min Min's good there, I right? I don't know. Min Min's good. I feel like the boomerang, break the zone, it's kind grenades of, blow up. Personally, from my experience, I don't like <laughs> Min Min Snake, shocker. Yeah, no, fair enough. But, um, yeah. I don't know how he feels about... He plays Min Min into Kanga. Yeah. Like, I... I would think... Maybe we are just seeing Min Min Snake here. I think Min Min Snake is, like what Zav because because like look I don't think like I'm, I'm gonna be real I love Xavier he's like one of my one of my closest and dearest friends mm -hmm. but I don't know about his mental breaking snake zone <laughs> you okay. know like I don't know about having like 10 grenades and the up smash and Nikita and Zav with his like puny little turnip and his little rainbows yeah like like it's gotta hit you um I think we will be seeing character swaps no matter what even if there's even if there's Peach in this first game. But let's see, where does the blue hand go? It's like Dora the Explorer. You ever thought about that? Character selection. There we go. Oh, okay. on. Yeah. yeah, I thought oh. about it a bit more, and I remember him going like, wow, Min Min Snake. Like, Kanga is getting owned. Yeah, I and mean, so there are so many, not a lot of characters, but there are a few characters in this game that have buttons that, like, just dismantle snakes like zone yeah um and and boomerang arm is one of them i would i would and laser is probably another one of them yeah so you know what 
Like, it doesn't matter. Pluck your, pluck your little explosives. It's really hard to, like, even get a zone going. Oh, my God. All right. Yeah, Tomahawk Nikita. Say less. Oh, wow. Okay. This is custom Smash Bros. It's hard to get back here. Yeah. Yeah, and using the up B as well. Yep. The bouncy castle. Take me back to my seventh birthday. Do you ever have a bouncy castle? Yes, I do. Crazy. At my um. Oh, it's a great question. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve. Ten. Nuts. I can't remember exactly. Well, I bet your bouncy castle did not have grenades in it. I would not damn hope not. No. Oh, my sister got a bouncy castle as well. I remember. That's nuts. I had a bouncy castle and a clown. Oh my god. You had a clown. I hated that clown. I don't know why my dad got a clown. I was like, yeah, I just want a bouncy castle. And he's like, oh, there's like a deal. We get a clown as well. Can you imagine that? Clowns are inherently terrifying. <laughs> like, I agree. I, I agree. Oh! Yeah. Zev, looking like a bit of a clown, rolling into that up, bit, up tilt. Great oh, patience. Wow. Dragon arm, noodle time. Okay. That is wow, really so. What a crazy sequence! I don't see that from Min Min often. Like the quick double arm to cover both yeah. platforms. It was like a true combo. Yeah. Yeah, actually, the second arm okay. hit yeah. into the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was wild. But hey, one stock all. Oh wow. I do think the redeeming factor in this matchup, even if Min Min is like okay with breaking Snake's zone, when Snake goes like proper high, Min Min can't do much. No, you have to cover like, you know, because you have such great yeah. horizontal work. You have to catch him, but once the Cypher goes up, up, like he tried to get up there, he's like, yeah, I'm leaving. Oh, okay. Damn, the up B though. Such a great tool actually. Okay. I don't like that. Oh my god. Yeah, right. Wild. Now. Always gonna kill. Megawatt Nair. Yeah. The mace. Okay. The Did Grand you? Abolisher. Known by many names. Yeah, yeah that's. <laughs> that's the that's the Megawatt Nair. Medieval combat. Warhammer Fantasy. So pretty sure Finn's staying. So a thumbs up. What is this? It's like All a right, jelly never mind. thing. Yeah, that's fine. Let's like, I was like, what is going on? That's fruit right. jelly. Yeah, that's awesome. Who, who's? Do we know who's fruit? It's ours. It's. That's crazy. No, I'm all good for the jelly, but thank you. Lovely, lovely work, by the way. To, like everybody, the Big Cheese has been such a fantastic major. It's been so good. Um, like, and production quality has been insane as well. I'm loving. I'm loving the cheesiness of everything. I'm loving. I'm loving stages. I'm loving um, the venue. I'm loving. Yeah. I'm loving everything, except the PS2. Dude, Snake on this PS2? Wait, is like, that, are we on PS2? Yeah, okay, oh, thank okay, you yeah, yeah. <laughs> there has been some, yeah, a little bit of controversy there. Look, I think it's no worse than Lilat, but like having an extra stage that is like a little bit controversial, you know, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, yeah. I actually can't open this jelly. Yeah, bad luck, mate. It's so lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. like an intelligence puzzle. Speaking of, that's that is normally what like fighting against Snake is. Yeah. But Min Min is like you know the kid who like has the metal puzzle and he just bends the metal to like untangle the, the yeah. pieces of metal. Like that's what Min Min is. Yeah, or the kid who takes the Rubik's blocks off the Rubik's cube and like rearranges the them. Yeah, the stickers. Could like, learn a thing or two. Dude, just rearrange the stickers, mate. Like that's actually the swap to Min Min. Why play Peach when you can rearrange the stickers? Still threatening high. I actually don't know where I've seen the C4. Okay. No one's in any danger. What an inner like I like like Finn's game plan there, which was like I'm slowly going to make my zone get closer to you. Yeah. Yeah. Just wow. not enough room to land. Oh! That was a really cute idea from Finn, but the grenade didn't didn't pop in time. Where does he go? He keeps trying to cipher up. 
he gonna? Okay, nice. Yeah, just just get on stage. And the thing is, is that resetting to neutral versus character is so hard because like, oh, I'm in too good. Nice. Yeah, he just wants to go up. Man just wants to go up. It's like that Disney movie with the bird and the house and the balloon. Yeah, yeah and the dog. Yeah, that was crazy. I think the main character is like what Jack will look like when he's old. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, oh, oh wow, that, that laser not, not enough. That's crazy. Turn advantage. Interesting. Okay. Look, when Snake gets in there, it's fine. It's just you can't. Hellfire. Wow. I think Finn's very lucky to be alive still. Zav's got it down, man. Like I was saying. Really not looking good for Finn here. I wonder if we'll see a swap. I, I'm honestly got surprised. Uh, I mean, that's... Oh, man. And, like, I feel like a lot of these little plans that Finn has are so close to working. Oh, no way. Wait. Yeah. He died so early. Wait, he died at like 60. That was like a three star. Yeah, like a prop, like a good three star. No, no rubbish. Yeah, no like SDs or anything. It was just like, oh, you're just going to keep getting hit by these arms. Keep trying to reset to neutral. Keep getting caught. Even when you go high, the up B's coming out. Well, I mean, I think you'd be insane to stay. You'd be like, crazy. Snake's normal game plan demands so much respect. And, like, Min, Min just, like, literally does not care. Like, pluck a grenade. Be my guest. Be one step close to this shield break. Yeah. It's crazy because Lucina Min, Min is, like, traditionally bad. No? Is he staying? You think? Yeah, he's, he's picked it already. Like, we you do it before stages. That's, um... That's crazy. Look, I think look, maybe he really doesn't like Lucina Min, Min. Look, I'm... I tell you what, I'm, th I'm thinking, go down with the ship. Yeah. Like, that's all I can think of. I won't. Or, you know, maybe Peach Lucina is just like so, it's even worse than this. Yeah, but then you know at least I mean? you get to play the character pick 50-50. Oh, no, you don't. It's a character pick. What no, am I it saying? Is a yeah, pick, it's yeah. completely a character pick. I'm, my brain is, is much. Yeah, where's the... Yeah, it's so hard. Like, he really wants to go high and get down. Because I feel like that is the answer, but Zav just ca calling him out with the upbeat every time. That's not going to do it, yeah. So hard to break zone, man. And, like, in a situation like this, Snake, um, you really see the, s the slowness of this character yeah. actually punish you. You know, like, a lot of times, Snake doesn't care because he's always the one setting the pace with his magic B button, but here... You are so, like, landlocked. Okay. But hey, I mean, if MKLeo's Byleth can do it. Wow, that doesn't blow up. Like, that's what I mean, man. It's, uh... Oh, he's dead! Wow. It's just so hard for Finn. And Zab like so expertly assembling this wall. Yeah, I mean, there was a game plan for sure, and he's pulled it off. No signs of life for Finn, really. Okay, like trying to use the platforms a little bit more. He's cooking, but have the customers left the restaurant? It's fallen off. That's insane. Oh, man. Neutral get up, min min grab. And the scoopy. I mean, what do you want? Wow. Two three stocks. He's done it. Like, what do you do? He's fucking done it. That was such a sweep from Zav. And that's that's locking him in for top eight. Yep. Congratulations to Zav. Made his way made his way right into top eight. Yeah. Look, lost winners round lost his first set of the day. That's true. Who did he P9? That was P9. Yeah. Insanity. Well, look at that. He stuck his little tongue out. Zav, really, his, like, skill tree, the development of his character and his player, um, I think took a dramatic spin when he went to Japan. Yeah. Um, 
but I think it's proof that like you know it doesn't matter which path you take if you stick to your guns and you put in the work like you, you can make it there you know even if you divulge from the peach a little bit of Min Min he he definitely believes in that character like he believes in Min Min for so many of these matchups. I mean, it's, yeah, it's 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 weird because <laughs> only one, only person I know that can be so Duma and like also like very hopeful in like the span of like ten minutes. Yeah, like such an emotional roller coaster sometimes is Zav, and yeah, he's put it through. It's really uh, cool. I, I think a lot of our like Victorian talent, um, a lot of emotions on the sleeve. Like, especially compared to some of these other states who have... Like, not that, you know, every other state is super chill. Um, but definitely there's a lot more people, I think, who are yep. kind of like... Who play the game more as a hobby and just kind of chill out and aren't as competitive. Um, but I think there is something like... Like, when you have the dog, when you got the dog in you, yeah. you know, like, it shows. Yeah. That Min Min had the few, dog. Speaking of a few dogs, mate. Yeah, oh my gosh. Dogs, the SA team kill on stream. Dude, so I got a bit of insight into this matchup, mm. like this player matchup from Con. Oh, yeah. And we could be seeing a, a wide variety of characters here. Mm. From the two, like, from primarily the two solo dedicated mains. solo mains. Nah, they they, they, right, they be swapping. He's, he's got an incineral for the Fox. That's so funny. Con plays Wolf and also Ditto's Brad Taicho sometimes as that well. That is so funny. Yeah. So we could be seeing a wide variety of matchups. I hope I, so. I assume, yeah, Instant Fox, yes. I assume we'll be seeing Instant Fox to begin, and then who knows what could happen. Might I say, like a little bit of a divergence, but two incredibly handsome young men. Okay, I'll give it up. Like these guys, like drip the fuck out. Yeah. Um. Taicho's looking fantastic this weekend. Same with Khan. Like, these guys, they're, you know... Yeah. Just gotta hand it to him. Just, you know, when they're watching the stream back... Like, I actually already complimented Taicho on his outfit. I think it's, like, very nice. And and Khan, I gotta say, I wish I had that coverage for my beard. I gotta shave here, because because I don't get the coverage. Yeah, he's got... Yeah. And, like, the jawline. Like, man. Anyway. And he's, I hope we see some wacky characters. I'm like, very keen. Oh, Brad Tarch is not on the setup. What? Brad Tarch is not on the setup. Not on a setup? Not on the setup. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> not being on the setup at your tournament. That's <laughs> like, crack. Yeah, it, it'd be like that. Nah, I'll, be, I'll, I'll get there. Like, whenever I play sets at Temple, it's always like, yeah, I got it better put my name in. <laughs> <laughs> like And I gotta say the Valhalla music's like so good. I totally like they it's really good character select screen music. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't ever select it for in the middle of a match. Yeah. But as like vibing while we're like on the on the CSS, yeah, I'm I'm down. There it is, the Incineroar. Oh yeah. yeah. There's the money. Incin Fox. And not to make it a, a wider Australia versus the world rule set discussion, yeah. um, but I think the fact that counter picks can exist in our like thing is just another proof that like yeah, you you have to do characters before stages. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. this is what counter picks are about. Counter picks are about not liking the character matchup. No, counter picks aren't about cheesing the stage list so you have every available good stage to every yeah. character. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bit of strife. Yeah, that was that was almost COVID city. Revenge neutral B. <laughs> I gotta say, this uh, this Taicho Insin? Yeah, it's no joke. It might be the wave. It could be the move. He told me, like, I only found out about this yesterday. And I was like, oh, I thought you were playing Insin all. And he's like, yeah, we both had the same idea. That's so funny. Insin is actually, like, the renaissance of Ultimate. 
Instant is like the return to the classics. Like we went through the dark age of Min Min, Steve, Kazuya. Now all these random Instant players. Yeah, they're polluting the streets. Yeah. They're actually like, yeah, this is this is classical Smash Bros. It's like you kill with one big aerial. Like that. Dude, the Nair in this matchup is so, so good. Last time I played against Corvid, oh my god, the Nair in this matchup. Fox actually pops. Like, like, you hit him at 60 anywhere. So the reason, yeah, so the reason, one of the reasons this matchup is bad is if you get hit by Revenge, you're in a tech situation, there's nothing you can do to stop it. Yeah. That is nuts, actually. I hadn't thought about that. Revenge, and he can, like, run off stage oh, Revenge wow. every time as well. Like, yeah, it's pretty good. And Fox doesn't necessarily, like, own Incineroar either because of that, like we said, the Nair. Mm. So good. And, like, you still have to play the, the Incineroar 50-50s. Like, these, like, um, the side B's on shield, um, like, the dangerous, like, down tilts and, you know, like, the stuff that, like, kind of pops you up and you're like, oh, do I just die if I get back hit here? Do I have yeah. to air dodge? And then you get F-smashed and you're like, oh, I guess I'm double dead. Should lose two stocks for that. So good. Dude, Connor's so good at grabbing, actually. Mm. I know it sounds dumb, but, no. like, especially when you're playing Fox, like, it's so easy to condition The micro-movement. Like, look at look at this guy. Look at how he's spinning around yeah. and walking. Like, he might be the GOAT, actually. <laughs> like, just, like, so... Hey, look at this, dude. Like, so many Fox players are just... They like, spend 50% of their game stuck in initial dash. Yeah. You know? Like, like going 100 to 0. Like, they get their advantage state combos. But, like, the neutral, they don't abuse Fox's insane acceleration and walk. Yeah. And, and the other thing with Fox is he threatens, his threat is so different whether he's facing you or away from you. You know? Oh. Like mixing yeah, like it up. Yeah, dash attack and up tilt mainly, right? Yeah, so dash attack, up tilt and grab as well. Like dash grab. So there's just like, yeah, it's crazy. Wow. Oh, like, like the wall, so dude. That being said, this is incineral and <laughs> the angle. Oh. Why does it sound like that? Side B. Dude. Bit of strife here. Oh, he's done it. He's actually done it five times in a row. Hit every single one. <laughs> it's like <laughs> this is my tournament. You know, <laughs> like, like that's crazy. I mean, like you throw here. It's a lot easier to hit that. The up B going to the left. Yeah. I would have opted for a more of an angle instead of going straight on. I understand you want to mix up the timing. Mm. But, um, hey, barbecue chicken for Brett Deutscher. It's also way. like, um, that Incineroar down tilt is so consistent. Like, it's one of the best down tilts in the game for scooping people off the ledge. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, I, I think, actually... It is such a contributing factor to Incineroar's relevancy in this game. I think if he didn't have that down tilt that scoops so many recoveries, like I've watched it scoop like every, I've watched it scoop Palutena teleport, I've watched it scoop Ike up B. Like this, this move just wins. Yeah. Like little kitty paws. Man. But hey, that was that was in the in the palm of Con's hand. Yeah, I mean that was Con favored for the most part. Um. But, I mean, that's just how it's all plays, right? Mm. How don't, the dice don't, falls. Don't need much. And the same music. It's a little bit anxiety-inducing. It's really, like, intense. The drums. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Dude. This CQC. Brad escaping momentarily. I think uh, Fox's directional air dodge as a ticket out of disadvantage um, is like a very unique option. Yeah. Because he falls so fast, 
So you can air dodge in any direction and you hit the ground very like shortly after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like some characters where if you like commit to a left or a right air dodge, you're like inactionable for a long time. Um, with Fox, you can air dodge left, right, or even slightly up, and you're still gonna hit the ground very soon and, and be able to like get out of there and reset to neutral. Comp loves fair from the ledge, man. It's actually insane. We're watching him versus who is it? Him versus Rebs. He's God, he loves some some fair from the ledge. Fox right, fair. Right. See what I mean? Always a tech situation. Did you see how menacing Taicho? Dude, darkest lariat. <laughs> That's the neutral B. Yeah. It's called um, with revenge. Yes. Yeah, I said the name in the move. <laughs> yeah. I just had to. I remembered it. The I had darkest like a, lariat. A Jimmy Neutron brain brain blast. <laughs> I was like, "That's the name of the move." The Alolan Whip. Alolan Whip. Yeah. Nice. That's actually... Next situation, yeah. Too good. When the Victorian Math player pops off, that's the Alolan Whip. <laughs> so bad. All right. <laughs> Back on this ledge with his down tilt, putting him in mad work. And Con knows. Now Con knows, right? He's had a big lead game one. He's got a big lead again game two. But That's man, so that, uh, funny. The darkest lariat. It's like to punish the up work. tilt. To punish the late up tilt as well. Knowing knowing where you can break out of these box combos, either with something like the neutral B or even with like a revenge or just, you know, a defensive option. Yeah. Um, is so important versus Fox. Because otherwise it feels inescapable. Like if you don't know. Dude, I think he's only hit this move the last four times he's won neutral. Well I mean, if it works. Or if it's all you can get in in this case, maybe. Oh wow. Con definitely going for us match there. Not getting that trade. I mean this is the same scenario in the last game. Bit of a charge. Not gonna kill. Is that Oh, he's so dead. Yeah. Wow. Back air like is is the wave. Oh yeah. That's actually like such a good little trick. Um, versus any of these characters. Uh, it's the reason why light goes for it so much, right? Like that just like back air, um, back air at the ledge. Yeah, I mean it's the idea. It's like the idea that right. This back air is like incredibly difficult to punish. Mm. If we it's the only move we use, mm. we're gonna kill him with back air eventually. It's true, and and also like Fox. If you're not finding back air, like up air and up smash, like they can kill at reasonable percents, but most of the time they're killing like. Like 150 on Incineroar. Yeah. Like they're taking a while. Whereas a good back air at 100 on the ledge, you've saved a third of the work. You know, you've cut the corner. If I could get away with doing one third less work with a like almost lagless, unpunishable l move that you can use in a ledge trap, yeah, I would. So fast, man. And we're on Battlefield. This is Brad's pick. Um, I'm obviously not an incineral uh, connoisseur, so I don't really have an idea. But I would figure that this is this is this is great for Fox. It is oh, definitely wow. great for Fox. But Incin does at least again the neutral like. Wow. Wow. The crowd is hollering. This is a sick set, by the way. Like, this is some really good Incineroar gameplay from Taicho. Like, he really clearly knows the stuff. Yeah. Like, very clean with it. Yeah, what I was going to say is I think that Incin... All right, yeah. Great recognition. Like, you got to find those when they get given to you. Yeah, I think Incin, Incin up air on a stage like this is pretty nuts. Um, catches you shielding on flat... Oh! oh my god. Dude, every time Kong uses up B, he's actually gotten, like... Punish for it off stage. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, right angle. Yeah, just like sliding up for a little bit of delay. You don't want to be trading all these blows with the cat. You need to suffocate him. Another trade again. And this is nice. 
I'm liking like how much lower commitment Con is playing now. Like. And you're so fine with that. Oh, is that it? Oh. Look, getting out of this situation. Dash stack. Yeah. That's the bad DI. And Brad yeah. looks like he's warmed up for it now. I mean... I know I said before yeah. that we could be seeing some like different character picks from Con, but... Man, you come inside the Fox, I think it'd be... It'd be unfortunate to swap off. Look, we saw a pocket of greatness there. I think that last, like, minute, um, when Con is, like, able to kind of hold stage control, like, threaten a lot, and, like, play that non-committal Fox, um, it's pretty good. Like, it demands respect, and on a character like Incineroar, even more so, um, you really don't have the ability to, like... You know, like, if you play the Rock, Paper, Scissors with Fox, like, Fox has dynamite, like, always. Yeah. Like... This character is super sick, but he definitely has the ability to cheat the RPS. Um, and I think that's Con's saving grace in a matchup where if you lose the RPS, you die. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you don't even have to play it. Yeah. Parry jab. That's damage. The main thing, I think, I mean, obviously this, this matchup is like... Some people think it's bad, some people think it's like fake bad. I want to see Incineroar on the ledge more, man. Like, it, I understand Con's idea. He always wants to be in a certain space. Mm. But I think you got to go aggressive on this ledge trap. you got to keep Incineroar on the ledge. you got to make sure he's staying there. It's just a lot of respect, right? And, like, oh, yeah. Incin obviously oh. has... Yeah, see, that's not killing at one, like, 130, like, when he hit it. Or 125. Um, need to be a little bit higher, even when it's super fresh. Oh, wow. I think, like, respecting all of Incineroar's, like, kind of goofy options, like, ledge drop Revenge, like, ledge drop Darkest Lariat, like, like, ledge drop Side B, um, like, Con really just does not want to get hit at all costs. And I can, I can see the oh. rationale. Money. He's at 150. This is up smash. Easy. Oh, my God. He's almost like a dash but attack. That's maximum rage for Brad. He's angry. Brad's been angry a couple times this weekend. <laughs> Running a tournament definitely takes a lot. Oh, for sure. And the suspect DI is going to get him that stock. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Watching too many Dawn balls. A little, little bit one. slippery. Oh. And you're actually living a little bit longer now with there's no rage on the... Uh, on nice. Oh. Wow. That's fine. That's fine. The oh, early up getting a bit lucky. Oh. A few lucky interactions into an unlucky interaction that they're taking it out. That's the thing here. Like, as soon as you bite off more than you can chew, you are taking so much damage. Oh, he's in the and, uh, It's even. It's even. Two moves and it's even. 72. Con freaking out disadvantage a bit. I don't like these high recoveries, man. Yeah, not on battlefield. I know you've been getting freaked out from the, the down tilts. The thing, the thing versus Insin, I think. Oh no, he went for the smash ball. Right angle again. That was an insane recovery. Good angle. Perfect distance as well, like snapped barely. Okay. The thing here is when you land on a platform and shield, Insin still has access to a Lolan whip. Like you're not even safe landing on a platform. Okay, going Big. for it. Oh. There you go, the mix up. Okay. Nice. Really nice. Oh, he's done it again. Yeah, like I said, Con loves it from the ledge. Brad Tacho, he plays Con a lot. He knows it's coming. Yeah, exactly. It's so hard now, you need to kill. Every dude, he's at 50! Yeah, I know. He's what at happens. 50! The numbers! Oh no, the up smash. I'm in shock. Neutral B's first hit does like 20%. Oh, he went for it all. Nice. I'm liking this little micro movement. No, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. I mean, I understand. Oh, trust me, I understand. But are you really gonna risk your tournament life on that on that off match working? And I think I might be it. No. Oh. That trade again. That's what's gonna do it. You 
got to be careful for that Nair just coming down. Okay. Oh, Cons dropped something. Cons, Cons literally dropped something. He's like dropped his watch or phone or something. Yeah, crazy. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Reset. Get this mental back. Okay, dash attack. Trying to go for the fair kill. Like, that would kill there, but... Well, the, Nair. This Nair is going to kill, by the way. Back at back the eye. That's going to yeah. do it. Wow. Taicho Incineroar. Oh, and he is going Super Saiyan. You can't see it on the camera, but he's stomping around having he's a great time. It. Oh, look at that. He's done it. Yeah, the big man himself. Look. He's he, fucking done it. He deserves it, I think. You know, you run a tournament, you get a win. Yeah, he was so like, close last year as well. you got to be happy with that. Um, by the way, what's with all the dark-haired men with beards? Like it's an Adelaide, great. It's a Greek Adelaide thing. Yeah, like I, I get it. Like I, I get it. No, hey, I'm Greek. I'm a bit Greek. Yeah. I like. I actually am. I'm not. I'm not joking. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, my uncle's <laughs> name is is Leonidas. <laughs> it's true. Okay. So so let's let's like let's drop some respect, but but like. Man, that's, that's, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty sick, actually. It's also, like, we all wear black shirts as well. Have you noticed yeah. that? Yeah. 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 They've disconnected the switch. Oh, okay. Rebs have been a good boy. Uh, Rebs is, Rebs is such a little sweetheart. I love him. You know, I drove up in the car with Ryan, and this guy, he is actually an angel. He's yep. actually an angel descended from Singapore. Um, come to come to grace us Australians with his presence. Too good. He's such a sweet guy. He has so much fun playing the game, like constantly laughing, even when he's losing, even when he's not, you know, probably should be a bit more locked in, yeah. as, as has been the theme for this weekend. Um, and Tiff with the, with the ears as well. This is this is the furry setup. Both players, I think, being furries. Do you know that? Rebs is a furry. Ernest didn't know. We were in the car. Oh really? We were in the car and we were talking about what animal everyone would be. I don't know why, it's just a road trip, you yeah, know, you yeah, talk yeah. about things. And then Rebs is like, guys, I'm a furry. Like like what do you mean I would be like I can't remember what we gave him. Oh, we like gave a him, frog or something. Yeah, we gave him something. He's like, I'm a furry, man. I'm like a dog. Like that's like by the way, not to not to call out the furry community, but my hat goes off to the people who have like the really interesting personas. Like it's awesome to be like a dog or a wolf or a cat. Yeah, like, I that's, get it. That's awesome. I get it. But when someone's like an owl or like a like a lizard or something, good. like that's sick. Yeah, I, I'll give it up. But I get it. I love cats. What are you? A, are you a dog person what? or a cat person? I'm a dog person. You're a dog person. All I right. do. I do have a cat though. Yeah, right. Yeah. Is that your cat or is that um? No, it's David's cat. David's cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I have a family dog. What's its name? What's the cat's name? Maui. Maui. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that Maui like just based on Moana. Maui in general, or is it is it based on like the Moana? Yeah, it like is the Disney Dwayne movie. Johnson. It yeah. is Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, right. yeah. One hundred percent. Imagine going home and like Dwayne Johnson is your cat. <laughs> it's <laughs> like we have our talent like. Our calendar, yeah, and it's Dwayne the Rock Johnson. That's calendar. crazy. Imagine if your cat started talking, like you know, like the Cat Returns, or like like any of these like movies where the cat starts talking, and it's like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I think that's a thing. And it's like, hey, Jason, you know, no. like you know the Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I voice? think that's like, a thing already. Really? Dwayne like, Johnson's like an animal that talks. Yeah. That's a movie that's he, already exists. That's a movie that already exists. You know what? Like, you're probably right. Is Dwayne Johnson Bolt? Maybe. He might be Bolt. I can't he, remember. Dwayne, the, Dwayne Johnson is so funny. But we're going to see some some wrestling moves from me, Brawler. Oh, for sure. Like, this character's got the suplex on deck. Like, right there. Um, but not as good as a Lolan Whip. That's my call. Pretty crazy. We're in Big Cheat. We're, we're in Adelaide. This is a classic Adelaide matchup, actually. Actually, yeah. This is... We have Adelaide at home. Yeah, literally. Well, we have Adelaide in other states. Not really at home, but yeah. And crazy that Ghost Mike wasn't really on the brawler that much today. No. Um, or like this week, this week in general. Um, and we didn't even see Taicho playing Greninja last set. No. You know, you... 
Head up and up. Adelaide can oh. take the Brawler Greninja away, but you can't take the Brawler Greninja out of Adelaide. Yeah. Also, they're are. both in pink. Looking pretty. Okay, Trump Bear. Haven't first Trump Bear of 2023, but it's sick. Yeah. First Trump Bear of 2023. <laughs> Tiff has been looking so good on the ball, oh. by the way. Like, very clean with the conversions. Hey, double jump. I'm not gonna lie, man. But I mean, I know I've been... <laughs> I know I say it every single time. But Red's back to want to play Greninja again. He... He's just one of those guys, you know what I mean? Like, watching watching someone who's really clean. Now, I was just watching Con and thinking, like, damn, I want to play some Fox right now. Yeah. And then the next set after, I'm like, I'd love some Greninja. It's, it's crazy. Uh, Rebs really makes this character look so good. Um, I think he is like... It comes from... Oh, no jump. Okay, anyway. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. It comes from like having so much fun with the character. Like a lot of people criticize Greninja. Um, they say he's, he's too linear. All you do is dash attack. All you do is go for those silly little 50-50s. Rebs does not do that. This guy is... He's, he's tricky. By the yeah. way, nice recovery. Always using that water shuriken to cover. Oh, wow. Living. I think Revs also has really expert usage of bear. Something that, like, is one of Greninja's maybe, like, slightly more difficult tools to use well. Oh! I think up throw kills. Yeah. Nice. Like he really uses Greninja Fair like Cloud Fair almost. Yeah. In that he's like constantly landing with it, um, threatening you, making sure that you stay in shield, and then he gets stuff like uh, like Tomahawk grab on Greninja on a character that has like the frame eleven grab and is constantly just crossing up your shield with dash attacks and stuff. Oh, and Red decided to move in here and like, been last stuff. Probably maybe Roller so scary. Is he here? Let's jump in the air. And as well, his micro, like the way that he spaces his down tilts and stuff, is so scary. Oh. No double jump. Yeah, he looked for the super soaker. That's damage. Yeah, oh, it's 81. So much damage. Maybe kill percent on the ledge versus this me brawler character. Might as well have shotguns in her fists. God, I don't know if that even works, man. Like, she's been going to do it all day. It works versus so many characters, but... Oh! oh wow. <laughs> the frog is slippery. And I've been saying this to a lot of people, man. Rebs in the last hit scenarios, he's so clean. I don't know what he does, he turns it up. He's a closer. It's, it's this fair that he's been threatening all game as well. That's the other thing that he does in the last hit situation. It's like the whole no game... Way. I did that. The whole game he's been showing you the movie he's gonna kill you with. And then Rebs, this beautiful Singaporean. I he's been in, he says, shake my handler. <laughs> I think again, I think just like last time, I think I throw kills now. Bit of a pummel. Oh, jab. Okay. See something like side B here, so <laughs> the double wow. side B. He's so custom. He did it so much as well. And then when it mattered, lands it. He actually. I mean, I actually. Th the craziest part is that I saw him do it a few times. I said, like, "Come on, ribs. Bit of day one tech. You're in top eight qualifiers. Show a bit of respect. I get hit by the last one. Hundred percent. I had no idea it was coming. It's it's pressure and it's. Like, this guy plays like a ninja. Like, he's super slippery. There's all this stuff hitting you from every direction. Um, I don't know. It really... It actually makes me love Greninja. I, I think, like, truly, I did not like Greninja as a character until I watched Rebs play him. He always felt a bit hollow to me. But yep. this... This is Greninja. 
Like, sorry, sorry to any Greninja mains that I've offended. Um, but I love, I love Reb's Greninja. I love this. And I think a lot of this stuff as well comes from being a player from a smaller region. Um, we see it a lot when people like uh, Shrix or like Bradley go overseas and people say like, oh my god, how do you use Wario Bike like that? Or like, sh like oh, yeah. why do you plank with Sephiroth it's like, like that? Um, it's this thing with Australians, man. It's like, uh, the weakness definitely isn't like neutral. As funny as, funny as that sounds. Mm. Like, Australians have like developed their neutral so much because well, every other facet is like actually weaker, like being cleaner, combo extension, mm. like ledge trapping. But neutral wins, Australians need that, man. We need new and creative ways to win neutral, like mm. we've never seen. So Wario, he's just gonna use bike like a projectile, man. It's and Reds, he's gonna do his uh, his, nin his ninja, ninja tricks. Yeah, his ninja tricks. Ninjutsu. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think like. Coming from Singapore, obviously, um, somewhere oh, wow. where I, I know Rebs has expressed his concern to me about like the talent pool there and about yeah. how like now that he's gone, it's like Terrarian and then like a big gap um, between Terrarian and everyone else. And I think when you're in like a small region like that, you tend to innovate. Yeah, you yeah, tend yeah. to have to be creative. You can't just be like, okay, I play the next best person and like and get good. Crazy though. What a move. The the McFlurry. Oh, you're gonna have to explain that one. Because it's like flurry punch, and okay. you work at McDonald's. So it's just a uh, me thing. Well, I mean, like I said, I called it before because I was trying to think. There was like the funny name for it, like the Fortnite Flash or whatever, like the tech that's called the Fortnite oh, Flash. Flurry's way better. But, uh, but I think like I was, I was thinking, and I was like, what's the move? Oh, the McFlurry. <laughs> um, and I think, and an Aussie major as well. Like, good wins get good desserts. For you sure. get the McFlurry. Who's getting the McFlurry? Who's getting the McFlurry? I literally had one last night. Oh, my we, we god. We went through the drive through after because Jacob Reisel hadn't eaten anything. And oh, oh, my god. Oh. That's shaking, shaking me. And now, I mean... Look, you can't count this frog out. Or maybe you can, with 46% and off yeah. stage. Oh what? my what? god. And Tiff with a little pop-off after that. Like, you gotta pop off. And look, Rex is smiling. He's like happy. You know, like, that's the cool thing about this guy. Yeah. I will, if you haven't seen much, obviously he's kind of been in Australia for a couple of months now, but if you haven't seen much of him, if you're from another state and, like, you didn't realize that this Singaporean is now a resident of Victoria, I think, like, you know, tune in. Like, lock in. Lock in for this guy because he's, we love having him here. And, yeah. um, I mean, he has, he has well and truly integrated himself into, like, the Victorian Smash scene. Like, really like, he's great. he's just around. Yeah, like, he's you go to a tournament and you go... And he's, he's so friendly. You know, both of these players, like, Tiff, Luma, um, long time, long time Smash veteran now. Yeah. Um, and also having been, like, originally from Tasmania and then moving to WA and, and now, I don't know, there might even be other moves in the works. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah maybe, right. maybe. Yeah, who knows? Um, but, like, both of these players just, like, incredibly friendly faces to see around the scene, and uh, it's great to see them both here, like, having a great set. Oh, oh we've all tapped. Yeah. But <laughs> and, and just like that. And we're back. And we're back. Yeah. Okay, already Reb's looking a bit better here. Yeah. Thrupa is so crazy. That yeah. hitbox at the ledge. Oh, okay. Bit of tricky movement. I was a bit worried there for a sec. Yeah, it's, oh. it's a show you, right? Like, it's just gonna... That's how you have to treat it. It actually... It is and more. It is and, like, the final punch hitbox is so big. Oh, again. 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 And we know. Tiff knows. Like, Tiff. it's just... And just thinking about it in my head, that makes so much sense. Always reactable to move. Yeah. Let go of shield. Guaranteed. What Guaranteed are you do about and it? run off dare. And, like, Luma in the space of, like, two minutes, has made that perfect. Oh, all tapped again. Has straight away made that perfect. And now, Rebs. I think, I think when one of your ninja techniques, like when the, yeah, when the secret, out. Oh, the secret of your clan is discovered like that. Yeah. You know? 
Okay, going for a bit of cheeky suicide, trying to end the game three quick. But uh, Rebs, oh, but not speaking of ending it quick, this damage. And we know that Luma knows how to do those proper finishes. This is the thing I was going on about in my set versus Luma. I was mm. too worried thinking about the thruppers. Yeah. We haven't seen a single one yet. There are s there are many more assets in this character's game than just like the, the combos off the top, right? It's true. Nice patience from Rebs. Luma in complete control. Again, no way. Oh, another time. Rebs. It's really hard because I think that kind of thing hasn't really been done to him before. Um, and now he's got this muscle memory that he is drastically fighting against, you know? Yeah. Like, he's got these recovery patterns, and, like, normally it's fine because you cycle through, you rotate. Yeah. But when one, like, quarter of that, when the, whenever the clock strikes, Shadow Strike. Shadow Snake. Shadow Snake. <laughs> Shadow, sorry, I'm mincing my words. Um, whenever the clock strikes, Shadow Snake. Um, yo, it's actually game over. Like, like he, he has to just like remove that, um, or at least make it way harder to. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's. I mean, <laughs> I assume you would have tried by now already. Like, if there's any other way to deal with that. Um, but we'll see what adaptation uh, Rebs can get. Hey, I do think as well, very smart player Rebs. Adaptation, uh, definitely one of his strong suits. Hey, small battlefield. This is the Thrupper stage, by the way. Like, I know we were saying that it, it doesn't come out as much anymore, but if there was a stage for it to come out. Rebs really needs to take this into the game five. No way. Oh, okay, okay. got a bit down. Was that... Oh, it Oh, uh, it's still done. Perth popping off in the crowd. But Rebs. Against a character like Me Brawler as well. Like, Me Brawler, maybe not having huge disjoints, but really good at I mean, playing so, hard to hit. So fast, right? Yeah. As well. Oh, that's. Damn, that was such a dangerous down throw. Oh! Okay. Another ninja technique from Rebs. A little substitution jutsu. I don't know what's happening in the venue. Something's going on. I think it's melee. Oh, okay, yeah. I can't even think. It must be, it must be. Oh. oh. It's like, these ledge scuffles are like so ugly, and that's really bad if you're against Mii Brawler. Oh, like, yeah. Mii Brawler wants it to be scrappy and ugly. Um. This character does so much damage and has so many like great single hits like that back air. Whereas Greninja needs like just back air doesn't do it for you. You need yeah, these no. these starters. You need these. Da oh, oh wow! Pretty much guaranteed. Oh. And it's looking good for Luma here. A little bit dire for Rebs. If he wants this top eight, he has to find something. Double dash attack. That's pretty good. Oh, he's looking a little bit locked in. Yeah, he's locked in. Maybe, maybe the jinx, maybe the commentator's curse. Oh, oh that was wow. almost a frame trap. This frog's looking a bit more slippery. He's up to it we haven't seen yet. I uh, love like, the tongue. You know, me brawler landing with these. Oh, oh yeah, look. No way. Wow. Wow. Just like... I know what to do. What a set. Yeah, that was brilliant. Uh, by the way, WA, you can see the camera. WA team getting around Luma. Um, actually, they're all, what, like LGE esports. Yeah. It's the... So yeah, Luma's first top eight. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's been so good for so long. Yeah. I'm astounded that that's her first top eight, but congratulations. Oh, post, post. Oh, post-COVID. Post-COVID. Post -COVID. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense. Um, 
All right, I was informed by a little bird. Yeah. That we have a trailer. Oh, a trailer. Yeah. A trailer, you say? A little trailer whaley. <laughs> a little trailer whaley. Oh, little, what's happened here? A little bit of video <laughs> watching. Off to the side, I can see they are currently... They are currently streaming the stream control window. That's so insane. <laughs> There's a bit of technical difficulties going off on the side. No, nah, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, no, grab your grab your popcorn or your little snacks. Um, you know, put some subway I've, servers. I've, I've seen the Google Doc, and I've I've spoiled myself. Oh, uh, now you. The trailer video. Okay, well, I don't know what the trailer. I'm not looking. I don't know what the trailer okay. video is. Um, so I'll I'll get to watch it, fresh with fresh eyes. Um, yeah, but, you know, get, sit tight, sit tight this trailer. Oh, I'm not going to lie, coming up. the boys to my left doesn't, they don't know what's going on. They actually don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, they don't know what's going on, so they're trying to, no, that's fine. Look, that, it's always like this. You, you set up the, um, set up the thing for games, and then it's like, oh, I have to put the video on, and then it never works the way, and it's like, oh, but we had it set up. Oh, yeah. You know, it's the same. You know, if anybody's been in been in school or university you've had to give a presentation to the class and you're like oh yeah I got it on this USB and then there's no USB port and it's like alright let me just uh, email it to you and then you email it to yourself <laughs> and then yeah, you know it's like no, every I, single time I'm so and then it's like it's, it's, not through, it's not coming through it's not coming through and then it's like oh the file's too big and then it's like oh my god and it's like have you got Dropbox and it's like no but you've got Google Drive you know it just like it never ends actually guys this just in the uh, stream is not 1920 by 1080 Crazy. <laughs> it's a bit wider. It's a bit wider. So that's than why that. they're having a bit of trouble. All right. No, it's yeah, a bit wider. Yeah. But um. But yeah, I think we're we're getting close. Oh. Getting, getting a bit close. Very exciting. Brad Touch has done it. But yeah, sit tight. Here we go. It's it's almost trailer time. It's almost trailer time. Oh. Oh, they got a oh, full screen. Is it not playing? What's going on? You can hear me as well. I'm getting off. Yeah, like just like let's just put the mics down for a second. It is. We can hear. You can't hear it. Okay. Yeah, we can hear okay, it. Okay, good. 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 Yeah. Start again. <laughs> oh my, <God>. my bad. <laughs> so I hear you are coming to this Christmas for English Egyptian seal. You heard wrong. Who told you that? <laughs> Who the hell is bringing me to Pismas? Father Pismas with a dollar dono. Hey boy, congrats on becoming the best gamer. I heard you are. What was that coming to Australia? I'm thinking about it. Maybe for like BAM. Coming to Christmas for I, I can Australia? Hear. No, no, I don't know what that is. In true Christmas fashion. Guys, we're still here commentating. I don't know if you can hear us. Yeah, look, it's. <laughs> can, you, can you hear me? Is that working? I don't know. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. It feels like my microphone. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know sure. What's going on? Man. I'm going to piss this fool in Australia. No, no, I don't know what that is. What is that? <laughs> Since you fear Matt saving the train? Thank you. Uh, I am not going to piss this fool in Australia, sorry. Yo, Adam, so good to hear you're coming to piss this fool in Brisbane, Australia. <laughs> Thank you, Father Pismas, for the two dollars. What a legend! So, Father Pismas, uh, I don't Pismas for in Australia, but you know what? Maybe if I was born now, we could have a discussion about that. Just maybe, man. Pismas for sounds like a pissing good time. So I hear you are coming to Pismas mm -hmm. for in Brisbane, Australia. <laughs> I think that's three hours of streaming already. We're gonna stop streaming. Uh, I got something to do, like in an hour, with my girlfriend, so I, I also want to eat before, so I should get going. You know what time it is. Time for another Christmas major in Brisbane, Australia. Featuring players confirmed from all around the world, competing on an international scale. Got games for everyone, from ultimate singles, ultimate 3v3 crews, HDR singles, melee singles, melee doubles, P plus singles, P plus doubles, piss bet. <gasps> And a huge crew battle you won't want to miss. Australia versus the world. 
Will we defeat our totally confirmed guests? Kony, Armada, The Buzz, Hbox, Void, and MK Layer? Our only one way to find out. Register now for Pissmas 4. Dates are on the 2nd and 3rd of December, and you can find us at the University of Queensland, St. Lucia. Look forward to seeing you there. It'll be a pissing good time. So that was a journey. At, in, at Twitch chat, did you guys have sound? Yeah, let us know if there was sound. Actually, that yeah, might. Yeah, because I, I want everyone. I think we might have been the only two people <laughs> who heard what was actually who had, going on. Who heard what was going on? And you know, it was really funny. <laughs> everyone in the crowd was like, "Oh my god, confirmed!" <laughs> okay, they had sound. That sound. Okay. Pretty sure none of those people are coming. Dude, like, I saw Connor so and Christian, I saw Master and Chef pop off when they saw the confirmed screen. Because <laughs> no one in the venue had sound. So they were like, oh, all six of these people are coming. <laughs> Confer that might be the only possible way. Oh, absolutely. Thank oh you so much. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Big Cheese is amazing.